out some of those, cutting them out and appliqueing them onto those planar fabrics. The scope that you've got with this is phenomenal, but the quality is tremendous. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, Ben arranged these so beautifully, and I've come along and just, in a moment of minutes, I've just completely trashed them. He doesn't mind, though, he's good. Me and Ben go back a long time. Oh, look at these. Oh, look at that pop of red in there. It's a nice one, too, as well, isn't it? I like all of those. I like that price, though, £25.74. pence. Fabric of this quality, I think you'd be looking at probably around £15.99 a metre. Yeah, 15.99 a metre. But here you have got your eight fat quarters. Incredible value for money. 32.99. Now 16 pounds and 50 pence. That is a half price deal. Now you might not have a reasoning to, or a purpose for these at the moment. Of course, craft price up. Sometimes we drop these things on you, and it might not be a project that you're thinking of. But these are perfect to have in your crafty stash. Oh, look at that one. That's a nice one. It's like a block paved effect. Now works out at just over two pounds per piece of fabric. Could you imagine recovering a chair for two pounds? You still have fabric left over. If you've got something like some um, chipboard or cork, uh, not cork board, well, I'm not very good with my DIY, but you can get that board where you put the um, your wadding or your foam on the front of it, put this over the side and actually staple this onto the back. Straight away, you've made yourself a fabulous notice board with these. Bags as well. This is a nice one to work for a bag, isn't it? If I take that in half, add a bit of lining fabric to that, maybe even using the green that you've got in this set, you can make yourself a nice little beach bag with that, couldn't you? Now, bringing the quantity in. I've only got nine chances for you to get involved with these. Don't forget, if you want to go for multiples, you can do. Then you'll be doubling up on each of those. So you'll have your cushion front and your cushion back, perhaps, with these. Again, using these as linings, making tote bags, those shopping bags. Because well. I mean, you could quite easily make, take a couple of those, and you make a fabulous tote bag to give as a gift to somebody, or maybe sell. £15.76. pence. Tremendous price. Six chances, six opportunities to get involved. 133217. Lots of you taking advantage of these already. I do get excited when we have our fabric here at Croft Price Drop because I know we're going to bring you some amazing deals. Four chances. £32.99 is what you were paying originally with this one, but it's dropped to below half price with these. It's no wonder we're down to our last three. Now, don't forget, if you're thinking of doing the Aurora Plique, so you know when I was talking about getting your PVA glue involved, don't forget we're going to be bringing in our star buy at some point. Do make sure you get hold of that because that would work alongside with those fabrics perfectly. One opportunity left, one chance, and it's been snapped up. Thanks to whoever took that last Price one. Lock. Yes, thank you to whoever that was because, of course, that locked the price in for everybody. Less, way less than £16 for eight fat quarters. Amazing value. Oh, star buy. Hey, hey. Da, 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 da. It's star buy time. And this is going to be a brilliant deal. Whatever style of crafting you are working with, this is definitely going to be something that's going to get you excited. Now, got the details on the screen there. £56, you've got 30 pieces in here. Now, when we say 30 pieces, we're not counting these little squares individually. You're getting hundreds of those in there. But you are getting your foam pads, double-sided foam pads. You're also getting your glue sticks there, as you can see. You're going to get your wet glue with these two as well, PVA glue. Fabulous little tape dispenser too as well. Low tack tape feature in that one, must have. Um, of course, you've got things like your uh, PVA glue with this as well, your clear glue too as well. So, details are on your screen if you want to get involved. Get involved now. That is not the price you'll be paying though. Not like £56. Maybe bringing that price down here a moment now. 891749, that's the item number for you to get involved. Definitely get involved with this one. Adhesives we all use, whichever style of crafting you work with, but straight away, boom, <whistles> half price deal, £28. So in here, you've got your fabulous, this is your clear glue. So 
Um, with regards to this, you're going to be able to use it. Move, obviously, you've got your applicator in there as well. So this is going to be one of those ones that gives you a little bit of moverability, if that's such a word. You know when you lay your items and you want a bit of wiggle room? That is the one to go for. Then you've got your PVA equivalent glue here as well. So that is a white glue that's going to dry clear and matte. So that's perfect for you to use, perhaps with those fabrics. If you want to use it with the fabrics, as we mentioned, dilute it down to. Then you've got your double-sided adhesive rolls here, as you can see. Low tack tape in a dispenser, and of course, I'm not going to pull it up. I bet I'll, I'll break it if I pull it apart. Will I manage it? Will I manage it or not? I better not. I don't want to break it. Um, you can take it apart. It, it does come with a little roll on there, standard size roll, but of course, low tack tape, incredibly usable. Just be careful. You have got a steel cutter on there, and that is a really good quality cutter on there. So it's a metal cutter there, allowing you to cut that tape off. Makes it nice and easy. Down the front here, you've got your glue sticks. So perfect if you're working with younger crafters. Again, um, always useful to have. Um, and uh, they do, again, allow you a little bit of movability. But then the foam pads. Getting 15 sheets of these. And there's 400 on each of those. I'd like to say I've sat and counted them, but I haven't. A little voice in my ear has told me that. But look at that price. <gasps> Phenomenal price. And you know what? With these, I've just noticed as well, some of them you've got different thicknesses. So I don't know the different thicknesses, but these, if I put those two together. I think those are the top one, I think is slightly thin. Is it slightly thinner? I think it is slightly thinner. Put them side by side, you'll be able to tell better. Yeah, they are. You've got different gradients with regards to these. So you've got your thicker ones and your thinner ones. If I try and put them side by side, it's not the easiest way of doing it. I think you've got, yeah, you can see there, one's thicker than the other. And then the finer ones, even more so, are in the packs. So those are kind of wafer thin ones. And that's important if you want to get different depths, different build ups, especially with your decoupage. Nice bundle. Lots of adhesive for £26.48. That means you're paying less than a pound for each of those items. You've got your clear adhesive in this one. Oh my goodness, less than a tenner. <gasps> That is a better than 80% saving. Oh my goodness, you cannot afford to miss out on this one. This is a brilliant deal. Again, working with your craft, um, your craft groups. Down at the bottom of the screen, you can see the details of all of those. So you've got your fast drying and multi-purpose glue. You've also got your phone pads there, as you can see, 400 squares per pad. Mini rolls of tape, you've got those in here as well, double-sided tape here. Then you've also got your transparent um, roll cutter where you can actually pop your um, rolls in there, reusable. Now, don't forget, you've got your solvent-free, solvent-free, <laughs> solvent. The Solent is it? Is it the Solent a river? <laughs> no river water in them. <laughs> it's solvent, you're solvent free. Um, and that is brilliant. Look at the size of these bottles. They're huge. Loads in here. Lots in here now. Chevrons are in play to show you the quantity that we're left with. 14 opportunities. Lots of you taking advantage of these already. Less than £10 for all of that adhesive. Two bottles of adhesive. You've got your clear um, solvent free. Then you've got your um, fabulous PVA in there. So useful in so many different environments. Double sided tape in here as well. You've got your low tack tape there for your positioning of your dies and things like that through your die cutting machine. Your adhesive um, sticks as well. Little uh, glue sticks. Brilliant value for money to have those included. You've got six of those in there. And of course you've got all those foam pads. 400 foam pads on each one of those 15 sheets. There's loads in there. And look at that price. £9.69. We're down to our last opportunities. Now, this is a kind of bundle. If you want to double up or even triple up on this one, you can do. Because when you've got a saving like that on your screen, £56, that's what you were going to be paying originally. But not anymore. Now, we hit the nail on the head when we decided this was going to be our star buy. Because you are loving it. Literally flying out the door, as you can see there five chances just a handful of opportunities if you want to get involved you need to do it sooner rather than later people taking advantage of these getting doubles triples of these it's entirely up to you eight nine one at seven four nine that is the all-important item number three chances left before we get that price locked in and everybody pays that lowest price whichever stage you got involved you'll be paying that lowest price along with everybody else we're down to one chance now one opportunity and Alison, you snapped that art. Oh, gosh, you got in there by the skinnier teeth. 
Oh my goodness, Alison, that was a close call. You very nearly missed out on that one, but thankfully you didn't. Now, somebody else could well have missed out because they weren't fast enough to check out the baskets. Check your baskets out as soon as you possibly can. And I understand that you might not want to risk it. You might look at that time, that price when we bring the auction out. And you might think, you know what, I'm going to wait till it gets to a comfortable price for me. And that's okay. Just make sure when you get to that point, you do check out your basket. And then that way, when it drops even further, then you know that you're involved. Tonic are back. These are nice sets. These are useful sets. Again, perfect to work alongside your cards. I'm going to give, give you some lovely decorative edges. Now, you can see the centre panel here. This gives you a description of how you can be using it. I'm going to move those dies just slightly to the side there. Um, down at the bottom, it's giving you details of the sandwiches um, with your machine. So, I don't, I'm not talking about cheese and pickle. I'm talking about, it depends on what type of die cutting your machine you've got. You've got rounded arches and you've got your horseshoe arches with these. And these are brilliant because these allow you to create your bases. Now, using the instructions actually on the packaging, you position those dies to give you the ability to create some fabulous colours. Now, there might be cards that you're using as like a side stepper card, or it might be that you're simply cutting your card in half. This is an embossing folder, so this would normally be, I think it's 9 dollars and it's only right for this. So, in here, you put your full A4 sheet, no trimming your card stock down, pop that through your die cutting machine, and instantly it will give you all those score and fold lines for you to create your cards. And then you decide which of those decorative edges you're going to use. So comes with the sheets here, so that's going to explain to you. The decorative edge dies would normally be $12.99 each. But there you go. Now we can see. I thought it looked a bit cloudy. It was tucked away inside the embossing folder. There. It's better now. You can see what we've got to do. So you can see there, step one, step two, step three, and so on, dependent on where you want those decorative edges to lay. So this is going to turn your plain, ordinary cardstock, into a fabulous base that you can then start adding your embellishment. Have a look at those dies in a moment, but have a look at the start price. $9.99 you'd normally be paying for the embossing folder, $12.99 for each of those, but already we're dropping that price down. It's going to go even further. The chevrons are in prices dropping down. Where are we going to land with this one? I don't know. No idea. Now, this is now £24.99. Double that up, you're looking at £25.98. So, now, that embossing folder, that really useful embossing folder that would normally be $9.99, you are getting that as a bonus. The price on your screen would normally get you those dies. These two dies, now these dies are brilliant because you've got lots of um, elements within here. So, you've got your decorative edges. This one's your horseshoe one. So, again, it's going to cut in a variety of different ways. You've got different dies, put them together, use them together, or use them indi um, independently. But it's going to give you that shaped edge. And that shaped edge is going to be where you get that decorative detail. Now, bear in mind, horizontally, you're going to have the score lines already in place because you'll have used the embossing folder. And there you go. That's your finished card. Two fabulous panels where you could be stamping your sentiments, your verses, using your toppers and instantly creating a beautiful card. And that's just one of those dies. Second die, very similar, just a slightly different style with this one. A little bit more simplistic, perhaps, with this one. There you go. What a lovely rounded shape. Now, £25.20, well, sorry, I stand corrected. £25.14p. That's where we're at the moment way less than the price for those two dies together. Good deal. Amazing deal. Price is coming down further though to make it even more attractive. Talking tonic, tonic dies always so, so useful. That's what they make their designs on. Try and get the most out of those elements. And look at that. £15.43. That's amazing price. What's that, what's that saving, sorry? Almost 60%. Oh, that's the kind of saving you like, isn't it? Don't forget, £9.99. That's what you pay for that embossing folder. A4 embossing folder. So useful in its own right. I mean, don't forget, you don't have to cut anything else out if you don't want to. That is going to allow you to score and fold. You could just take your craft knife, put your straight edge in there, or use those dies if you wanted to. Now, bear in mind, £9.99 you'd be paying for that. For less than a fiver, in addition, you will get those two dies. That's phenomenal value for money. Way less than half price. 
much further than that. You can see the details on the screen. We've got 24 chances left. Now, we've been busy for these ones already. If you fancy getting hold of these, now is the time to do it. Now, you might sit there and you might think, oh, do you know what? 24, there's ages yet. But have a look. The jumps are getting bigger and bigger. We've got lots of people getting involved with these ones. For less than £15, you are getting that um, fabulous embossing folder worth £9.99. The dies alone, these were £12.99 each. So whichever way you look at it, whether you look at that you're paying, let's call it a tenner for the embossing folder, and then less than a fiver for each two of those dies. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? Less than £2.50 for that die. Less than £2.50 for that die. Oh, it's no wonder they're proving to be popular. Or you might look at it and think, you know what? £12.99 for one of those dies, and I'm getting everything else just for an extra couple of quid. Whichever way you look at it, it's a phenomenal deal. Started off at £35.97. Very useful set. Don't forget, nothing here is saying Christmas, nothing is saying autumn, winter, spring, nothing saying um, that it's a, a male themed die set or a female or babies. A, very generic. You can use them in so many different ways, so many different occasions. And sometimes, you know when your crafty mojo's just kind of left you for a little while and you're not sure where to get started? Well, by creating your card base and then looking at your embellishments, looking at your additional dies, these are perfect for you to get that crafty mojo back. Maybe you've got inky textures. You know when you do your mop-ups and you get create those gorgeous backdrops? Then this is going to be the perfect way. And you can see there, in so many easy steps, you are going to be able to create some phenomenal card bases. And of course, as we always say with Tonic, if you're making to sell them, that's not an issue. They encourage you to do so. Dyes like this are going to make it so much easier for you as well, because it means that you're creating cards other than just your straight folded cards. This is going to allow you to add that interest, to add that dimension, which of course, when you're selling cards, is something that is so important for people who are going to be paying for them. Three chances. We had 24 of these a few moments ago. And that's what we were left with when we brought the quantity in. So many taking advantage of these. Snapping them up in your droves that were down to that last one. And it has gone, thanks to everyone who got involved. Price locked in there. Oh, the deals that we're bringing you today. £14 and £62, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, of course, we've spoken about people who don't have die cutting machines, so it doesn't matter what deal we bring to you, if it's dies, it's not necessarily in your market. Well, this is perfect. Whether you've got a die cutting machine or not, sometimes die cutting, you want to make a card quickly, you don't want to get your die cut, um, dies out, you don't want to set your cards up, then this is perfect because you've got card bases to start with. And these are phenomenal. They're all pre-scored and folded. And these are really clever. Do you know what? We could actually use these as base templates too as well. Oh! I like that. It looks like a bit like a tiered cake, doesn't it? Now, you can get five cards. You can get your five envelopes as well. You've even got a template there for adding your papers. So five cards and envelopes. The pack this is on the packaging. So when you actually get yours and you take it out of the packaging, it will look like that. Flip it over and you've got your pattern pieces there for you to actually cut out your, fab um, not your fabrics, cut out your papers and then you can actually lay them down in place and get that perfect position. So don't lose that, hang on to that. But what paper shall we use? Ooh. We've got an abundance of papers to choose from here. Talking hot off the press as well, a company well renowned within the craft industry, an American company that bought us beautiful collections. And when they bring a collection, they want to make sure that everything works together. So you've got background um, papers. You've also got some fabulous paper ribbons with these die cut elements as well. So you don't even need to take your scissors out the drawer. You've got loads in here. Now, in the steampunk set alone, 91 pieces. But you're also getting Playful Grace. Playful Grace, look at this. 107 pieces. There's loads. Absolutely loads. And then, of course, you've got your triple step cards. Um, loads within there. So, of course, you've got things like all oh, your embellishments. So, you've got your die cut elements in here. Got a little bit of an inspiration sheet here. So, laying out some of those items. But the beauty is when you start working with those. These are the kind of cards that you could be building up and creating. Gorgeous pink tones in this particular set. Now, the steampunk set, I like this one because it's almost like a vintage look. Sometimes steampunk can be quite dark. Well, not with these. Gorgeous teals, rust tones in there as well. 
and just simply taking a plain card and build up your design fabulous now 22 pounds and 49 pence was our original start price don't forget you're getting both of those collections in there we'll have a closer look in a second but that price on your screen there you need to do something about that we need to bring that price down That's exactly what we do now 22 pounds and 49 pence being the start price coming down now to 14 pounds and 91 pence wow what a deal already now which one should we look at should we have a look at playful grace gorgeous colors in this set kind of berry colors in this one as well some muted tones there now you are getting 107 pieces in there so you're going to get your die cuts 71 of your die cuts with these you can get 29 of your cutouts with those two as well and seven papers as well and these gorgeous so obviously that's your packaging should we dismantle all this again i'll get myself into trouble again happens so regularly um so these are your die cut elements so you can see you've got paper ribbons in there it's a bit tricky for me to show you those without actually popping them out but each one of these elements has got a little die cut they're already cut ready for you to pop out then oh look at these these are your sheets you're getting two sheets of die cuts butterflies buttons tags labels paper ribbons all features oh actually you're getting three of those and each one being different oh that's nice gorgeous papers as well nice tones with those now these oh they open out oh okay nice berry tones nice like these what else have we got with these oh pretty pa very pretty papers with little florals on nice oh little tags as well so you can actually cut these out and use them on your cards as well that's nice as well i don't like that put together like so so you are going to get all of these and that's just one of those um, sets because of course you're getting two of those sets you're getting steampunk as well as your playful grace playful grace the die cut elements things like butterflies your paper ribbons in there your tags your toppers all amazing value for money pop that back in there is that going to stay Ta -da! it's saved 14 pounds and 27 pence amazing but it's going to get better Amazing Grace. Ah, see what I did then, Ben? Amazing Grace. <laughs> I'm here for the whole hour. Um, look at that. £10.97. Better than half price. That's what we like. As crafters, we love a bargain. We love getting value for money. And if you are a novice crafter, new to crafting, or maybe just crafting and you don't have a lot of time, this is a fabulous set for you. Die cut elements that you can literally pop out, put together, and the colour theme is there. There's no hunting around, no looking for all of those elements. They are all there within that pack. Everything that you need, your toppers, your papers, your sentiments in two different styles. £10.93. Don't forget, the second of those is your steampunk. And again, this is quite often we'll use these for guys' cards, won't we? Male theme cards, but lots of ladies like their steampunk. I was in, in Stratford at the weekend. They have a fabulous um, waterside market every Sunday, right the way through to December. And there was a fabulous couple walking around, and they were all decked up in the fabulous steampunk outfits with the goggles and the top hat. They must have been absolutely roasting because it was about 30 degrees, but they looked incredible. Such a popular way of um, crafting and looking with uh, that steampunk theme. Five chances five opportunities for you to get involved don't forget not only are you going to get your two packs with your steampunk with your playful and um, playful grace you're also going to get those card bases as well pre-scored and folded with their envelopes you're going to get five of these portrait landscape however you want them to craft with these you're going to be able to create some fabulous bases and of course use the template trace that out and then you can use it over and over again three chances for you to get involved though Time is ticking away. Our hour is ticking away as well. Of course, 11 o'clock every single morning, we bring you craftpricedrop.com, and I will be back tomorrow morning with even more savings. But we've still got this auction here. One chance, and it's gone. Thanks to everybody who got involved. Price lock. And it is indeed. That price has been locked in. £10.89. Fabulous saving. Do you like that saving?
brilliant so it's good to have your company today oh i mentioned about um, us being here every single day 11 o'clock online craftpricetop.com main shows are going on at the same time and this is a kind of it's a bit of an exclusive club you can watch us via Facebook or via craftpricedrop.com. Um, but what you can also do is catch up with our Craft Price Drop shows on our main channel as well. So I'll be back in about 24 hours, 23 hours to be pre precise. Um, um, but don't worry, you don't have to wait that long for your crafty fix. We've got another show coming up with Dave, 7 o'clock this evening. He'll be bringing some amazing savings. And then tomorrow uh, morning, bright and early, um, you'll catch Charlie at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I know lots of you love tuning in to um, team up with our Charlie. He gets up to all sorts of mischief during those shows. If you've not seen him before, make sure you tune in. But before we go, we've got more auctions to bring you, including this next one. Spellbinders. Now, this is a fabulous set. Set of four dies. Some of them come in from the um, Imperial um, Ro um, Gold collection. We've got contemporary elements in here as well like that i do like that it's a nice um, swirl with your little art deco over there oh these roses these are really clever because it's going to cut out all your different petals for you to create your roses then you've got your um architectural accents as well gorgeous elements there as well and you've got a die that's going to make your boxes and you know how we love our boxes now i've got boards to share with you as well but should we get that auction underway should we get that price dropping then we'll look at the boards in a second 742 if you want to get involved already we've started dropping that price down to 68 pounds and 61p oh good teeth back in Haley. um they're dropping down already but that's like a little, little sneaky, sneaky drop we don't want sneaky drops we want big chunky drops that's what we've got. Chevrons are in place. That price is coming down less than £50 now. Talking four different dies, and obviously bundled all together, £68.74. Um, this is how we got to that figure. Um, you create a rose, £12.12. And 12 pence. You've got your diamonds there, um, your accents, that fabulous simple gift box at the bottom. Now, the saving that you've got on your screen at £49.13 means that that last die there, that box die, is coming to you as a bonus. And that is a really useful die. Shall we have a look at those boards? Let's start off with that one then. Because it's going to allow you to create pieces like this. Now you've got a couple of panels with regards to these. So you'll cut them out. It's cutting out your little handle at the top there. So you've got a cutting edge at the top and the bottom, as you can see there. The inner area here, it's not going to cut that away. So that means that you could be using your pretty papers. You could be using your inked up papers. You've got a flat bottom. Oh, we like a flat bottom, don't we? Um, and then you've got this little uh, tag. You can see it's shape. You can see here where, again, you're going to be able to create your depth dimension. Little tags and a little eyelet cover there, too, as well. And these are your different elements here, as you can see. But look at the area that you've got. It's got loads of room there. Loads of room. But then you're going to want to decorate your bags and your boxes. Now have a look at this. This is brilliant because it's going to create all those fabulous little petals. Put them all together. I forgot which die it is. It's that one. It's going to mean you're going to make those fabulous little roses. Look at that. How pretty is that? All of the elements in there. But then, oops, I'm knocking things over again. I like this one. Look at this one, this is nice. Because you've got, again, nice open areas there. You, you can imagine putting a little embellishment in there, cutting out those apertures. You're going to end up with loads of little squares as well, very useful shapes. But you've also got your square die in there, so you can mat and layer that too as well. Contemporary diamonds. And then the last one that you've got, got loads of dies on here. Look at all of these. These are gorgeous. You've got corners in there, borders, accents gorgeous 47 pounds and 70 pence that is the price on these dies at the moment considerable saving already 47 pounds and 58p fabulous set on back price is dropping again oh i do like craft price i love bringing you bargains we all like a bargain oh that is a bargain 26 pounds and nine pence now those dies when we were looking at them a few moments ago one of those dies alone was around 26 pounds wasn't it i can't remember which one it was now but um yeah it's as if you are getting a couple of those dies as a bonus so there we go yeah 23 pounds and four pence the architectural accents that's not bad is it not bad at all 
I think we're talking, is there around a 60% savings, something like that? 742-992, if you wanted to get involved, this is the item number that you need to get hold of these. Fabulous set of dies, um, you've got lots of dies within these. Each one of those individual dies is made up of multiple dies to create that final look. And you're getting all of them for £25.99. And you can see there, that fabulous little bag, you've got a little inspirational bag on there as well. You've got your accents showing you how you can use those on your cards. Your um, contemporary diamonds, again, inspiration on the packaging, as you have got also with that gorgeous rose as well. But you know what? You've only got four chances now to get involved. Time is ticking away. £25.93. If you want to get involved with these, now is the time to do it. You will get all of those die sets, all of that creativity at a fabulous discounted price. For um, 742 992. Now, if you're watching us via Facebook, jump across onto craftpricedrop.com. That's how you can get involved, or of course, you can give us a call. Different telephone number to our regular one. Details at the bottom of the screen, but do it quick because we're down to the last one going to go somebody's going to snap up that 25 pounds and 87 pence what a fabulous save look at the decent dollar price oh! and it's gone thanks to everyone involved price lock. fabulous saving brilliant thing 25 pounds and 87 pence now taking you on a bit of a crafty journey backwards when i started crafting as many people do you don't always go for a die cutting machine as one of your first things that you buy quite often you start off with punches and i had loads of punches because it gives you the ability to kind of get that die cut element without having to invest in a die cutting machine well this is what we've got with our next set that you've got versatility with these because we're talking about border punches so these mean that you can actually cut and move your cardstock along to get a really pretty border but you know what is teamed up with some little spaces that you've got here as well which will help you create your gorgeous designs all comes in a wonderful carry case so you've got a little housing there for you to actually put your die cuts or die cutting machine your a punch machine as you can see there you've already got a little die in place there gorgeous accent and then you have got your positionable elements that work alongside that just over here now but the details up on the screen already 24 pounds and 99 pence for that i think it's brilliant when you are storing this incidentally just take that out and that will allow you to pop everything in pop it up and there you go good to go now 24.99 brilliant price to start with you've got five fabulous punches in it. you've got a happy birthday in there you've got merry christmas in there you've got some fabulous little characters here you've got a snowman and snowflakes little stars there as well don't forget, when you are punching these out, you will have a little bit of confetti, so to speak, the fall away. And it's all contained in here. Look, we've got a few little snowflakes in there. You could be using those. Cut that out of your, your mirror card or something like that, your mirror paper. Then you can get some lovely results. I wouldn't use anything too heavyweight with these, to be honest, because they're quite intricate designs. And punches sometimes do struggle with intricate designs and heavyweight cast up. But let's have a look. That price is coming down, £24.36. Now, let's get a price of plummet underway and then I'll show you how these punch out. Chevrons are there. £12.50. Are you having a laugh? That is an amazing price. I'm like, what's that whole high pitch and screech then? I do apologise. Um, at 316 at 491, if you want to get involved now, is the time to do it. So, in here, you've got your base plate. Base plate has got your positioner on here. It's got little sliders on there, so you know exactly where you are going to be putting the, your positioning, those repeats. You've got little rubber feet on the back here, so you know you've got the stability when you're actually working with this. So, let's go for one of these. We'll go for that gorgeous little accent there. This is one that you'll be able to use all year round. So, all you do, pop this, oh, somebody's been busy with this one already. Look at all of that in there. That would be Charlie, wouldn't it? Not tidying up after himself again. Nah, just joking, love Charlie. So, just make sure when you actually pop it in, um, obviously keep that cover on there because you don't want them all falling onto the floor. Oops, wrong way around. Hold on, no, I did it the right way around to start with. Slide that back in place. No, I didn't, it's that way, there's a little arrow. Hold on a minute. No, it's that way. Oh, I do make life difficult for myself, don't I? Which way around is it? Oh, there. Oh, gosh, Hayley, what are you like? Oh. It does slide back in. <laughs> We're running out of time. What I wanted to say was make sure that when you actually put it into your holder, to make sure that you're putting it in the way that the cardstock can actually go in. Because if you put it in the wrong way around, your cardstock's not going in at all. So pop it in so you've got the opening to the side like that. 
Then all you do, I'm gonna pop this down because you need a, a, a base to push it down with. So take your cardstock and position it. So it might be that you're popping yours in like so. Oh, now you've got your little um, markers, haven't you? So let's pop those out as well, if I can get into those. So this will allow you to create your continuous border. So, oops, that's the wrong one. I'm popping them all out, but the one I wanted. Come on, out you come. Oh, it's been a bit persistent, that one. These slide in and they allow you to create that repeat design. So I just need to make sure I've got it the right way around. Is that the right one with this one? I'm not sure I've got the right design. Oh. That's the one for that one. There we go. That's the one. Because it's easier to slide these in. So slide those in. They go into the sides like so. Is it that way around? Do you? Like so. And then this side as well. You've got a little curve on there, so it'll help you. I'm doing this kind of speedily for the telly, so excuse my crudeness when I'm doing this. Again, that slides in. Little bevels there. Then all you do is you position that in the middle, like so. Punch down. Keep an eye on that price. Price is still dropping as we're working with. Then you move it along, and you've got your little elements there, so you just line up that design, and then you will get that perfect positioning, which means that every single time they are going to be lined up. You've got little markers in there as well, making it nice and easy. And there you go. You can see perfect positioning. Of course, you can close up that gap if you want to, but it makes it really easy. And then, of course, you've got your little container there with all those elements underneath. 13 opportunities for you to get involved. 13 chances. Do not miss out on this one. Seven are back in play. Price is coming down yet again from £24.99, which is a brilliant price to start with, to less than a tenner way less than £10, £9.71, phenomenal value. Now, think ahead to um, Christmas gifts, perhaps you've got birthdays coming up for crafters, maybe Secret Santas, things like that. If you are a Freedom member, you've got nothing more to add to that price because, of course, your membership is going to cover your post and packing. So for way less than a tenner, which could be that Secret Santa threshold, you could be getting this and passing this on to one of your crafty friends and, boy, they would be thrilled to bits. 316 491, seven chances left. Seven opportunities for you to get involved. And don't forget, you could be using your mirror car and um, paper with this one. Don't go too heavy with those. You've got intricate designs with these, so you don't want to go too heavy with those. Don't really, and if you are working with a punch and you find that it gets a little bit kind of uh, stubborn, don't force your weight through. Don't force it to cut because you could find that you actually jam that stone, that punch. Two opportunities, two chances. That we're down to one now. Who's going to snap up that last one? Who's going to lock that price in? Well, thank you to whoever nice. locked that price in. So there we go. Our craft price drop session has ended with a deal for less than £10. That's regularly what we do here at Craft Price Drop. Don't forget, Dave Bradford, he's going to be back with us 7 o'clock this evening on our main channel. So do make sure you join him. And then Charlie um, in the morning at 7 o'clock, all bright and early. I'm going to be back with you about 1 o'clock. Um, well, definitely spot on 1 o'clock because I'm teaming up with Dawn, Bibby and the One Day Special. So it'd be lovely to have your company over on our main channel. But if not, I'll catch up with you later. some of the creativity and some of the designing that I've been able to bring to you through my designs. Flexi Order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi Order? 
When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for a Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, I'm Sue Baker, the founder of Imagination Crafts. We're delighted to have partnered with Crafters Companion to bring you an even greater variety of crafts. I hope you'll join me to experience the joy of mixed media crafting together on her channel. Hello, uh, welcome back to Ho Chanda. I've got to say, this is uh, going to be, uh, I think, quite an important hour for many of us, especially if you've got a messy craft room. I'm joined with Gordon. Gordon, welcome back. Thank uh, you. This is, this is good because when we are being creative, it's uh -huh. important to have a think organised. Is that right, do you think? Uh, normally it is, yeah. Best people in the world are, are organised, and most people are limited by space in the craft room. Yes. We see everyone's craft rooms, and honestly, most people have got it crammed into a tiny space in the back of the house. Yes. And garage and yeah being organized is important and being able to get storage systems that fit those small spaces is important I yeah. see so we're yeah. making use of a vertical space that's the thing here. yeah so what I would like to say to the people at home right now have a look in your craft space yes get measuring the space you have okay yeah if you get got a measuring tape go around measure that space you have where you may be able to put some storage items. And as we go through the program today, I've got my trusty measuring tape here. Yeah. We'll give you the measurements of the boxes and show you how they stack, and then you can make the decision on which ones might help you. That's yeah. a good idea. That's yeah. a good idea. And you know, maybe you spend quite a lot of time fumbling around looking for things, but this um, is going to be much easier, much easier. We've got yeah. a big amount of boxes. We've got a lot of storage solutions, but we would love to see your craft room. Mm. In fact, the messier, the better, <laughs> or the tidier the better. Email it yeah. through studio at hochanza.com. Seriously, I would love to see your craft room, either the messier the better or the tidier the better. That'd be brilliant. Mm. So, <laughs> Colin, shall we start? Let's go through these. Now, we've got yep. this configuration first. Right. What kind of items do you think we'd like you to put inside yeah. here? Um, all sorts. Of, but before we start, just Go a on. quick, you know, I've become an expert on plastic over the past yes, few okay. weeks. Just to let people know, okay, the boxes we're showing people today are high-end, high-quality plastic boxes, okay? Yeah. There is a massive difference, as I found out, in the quality of plastic boxes. It's all been explained to me. Yes. And plastic is made up of different things. There is actually uh, oil goes into making plastic. Right. But one of the most important ingredients that people will not have thought about okay. is polymer. And the amount of polymer that goes into the plastic dictates the quality of the plastic. Okay, this is interesting. So okay. if you come across plastic that's quite brittle and, and can broken, you hit it with a hammer, it will break. Yeah, that I've is bought the, boxes right, like that. That is incredibly poor quality plastic with virtually no polymer in it at all. Okay. Oh. The more polymer, the more expensive plastic becomes, because yes, yes. polymer is not cheap. All of these boxes we're looking at today contain a lot of polymer, which means they are incredibly sturdy and incredibly flexible. So Not we're looking at high-end boxes today. That's Very important. Fantastic. So yeah. I have bought a lower-end box with those stories, whether it's things in the attic, I've yeah. got other tools, things like that. Yeah. And they get they break. I put even if I put yep. them down too, nope. no, to start it too hard. Yep. Oh, the shatters. I have tested all of these boxes in our warehouse by standing in them all. Have you? And in most of these boxes, I've stood stood on up to ten boxes in a pile, right. and I've sort of wobbled on top to see what happens. Even though they're not and designed for that. Yep, <laughs> we've had no instances of breakage. That's how we test things now, especially plastic boxes. Yeah. Because for us, 
sending them through the post to people can be quite difficult. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, I mean, we want them to get to the other end and perfect. So we have been very careful about how we've selected these systems for the quality, the sturdiness of the plastic. Very important. So this is all high-end plastic. This is quality it's sturdy. It's all been tested sturdy to destruction plastic. by us, trust me. Well, there yeah. we go. And yeah. you put you testing this rigorously, I know. Yeah, right we then. do. <laughs> what have we got then? So the first item, we've got this stack of three boxes. This is, hand this is handy shapes already. Yep, so this is a stack of three boxes. But the good thing about these is, if I take that top one yeah. and do that, you have a snap-on lid. Ah. Yeah. We have these ridges at the side, the lid goes on the top, you push them down, push the clips down, and they're incredibly sturdy. So, this you know, box you can, you can, you know, It's a click of confidence. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that sound good? Oh, do you know what that is? Yeah, well, you that's can hear the click. Yeah. Oh, that's a good quality. It's not just it's not just hanging in there. No, no, it's no. It's locked in. Yeah, that, right. that, that's the beauty of all of these boxes. They all lock together. They all stack together. It's a fantastic way of, of you know a storage system. It's very high end. It really is. Well, John, yeah. let's whiz down because we've got a lot of items mm -hmm. here. Uh, we've got many ideas what we're going to put in these boxes. We're going to yep. share those later on. Right, twelve pounds ninety nine. It's these three five three four five nine eight. Don't forget, you can multi buy this and you can stack more on top of each other. You might. Get you, two want. Sets. you might just put those into each other and who knows? <laughs> yeah, you, look, like? you can keep going, you can stack uh -huh. these as high as you want and they're incredibly sturdy. They're sturdy. That's yeah. a good thing. We're yeah. seeing that. So again, £14.99 is the price now for the colourful boxes, which we've got right here. Now yep. these are really good. Now, Joe, you have got, you did have an idea, many ideas. Yep. What are these good for? Well, all sorts of things. Think about paintbrushes, scissors, etc. But yesterday, as we were getting ready for the show, we suddenly realised they were good for something else. Yeah. And that is, oh, alcohol markers right. for example. I'm glad you showed this. Go on, open it up. Open it yeah, up. well first of all, the lid snapped on. Let's do that. I'm just holding a bit, again, just to show you yes. how strong these boxes are. They're if you drop it, strong. for example, it's not going to spill no, over the carpet. No, honestly, they will not break easily. We've hit them with a hammer, we've jumped on them, we've done all sorts of things. Right, okay. So if I open this one here, again, the lid just snaps off. Okay. Yeah. So and inside there, oh, perfect this, the whole thing is full of alcohol markers. I should have counted them actually, I didn't think of that. That's a good amount four, there. That, that is a good amount there. I think there's, there's about four, 35, six, 32, the, the, 32 you're 35 not far in there. Off that, I don't yeah, think, yeah. one box. So you've got four boxes, so, poten so potentially you're going to get, what, 130 alcohol yes. markers if you want to use them all. So that, that's in there. I, I, just, I just pushed it on. Yeah, I yeah, pushed yeah. it down to yeah. a click. That's it. It's yeah. very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. Uh, right then. So you're getting these four. These are the items we've got. We've got longer paint brushes and things. Gorgeous, paint brushes, imagine. scissors, anything like that. Absolutely perfect. These rulers. Yeah. These ones are. Hold on, my trusty tape measure. Like it. Yeah. I got my glasses on. Well, it's an old that? bunny. Yeah. Just over 14 inches. 14 inches. About 14 and a quarter yeah, inches. There are not many paint brushes that are longer than that, are there no, really? So most paint brushes and things will fit in there. It's yeah. pretty certain with that. Right, yeah. so those four, <laughs> 14 pounds 99, 814854. Good box of these. Oh, we've yep. got lots more, lots more. Don't get, keep, keep your emails coming in. Uh, we're busy on the show already. A holiday surprising. If you want to get organised, and like you said, this is making use of vertical space. And again, if you've got your nooks and crannies, you might have yep. one bit of shelf left. Suit the box is going to fit your space. That's I the think thing. we've got a size box here for just about every space in everyone's yeah. craft room. There's and many something to suit well. everyone. Yeah, there really is. Yeah. Right, and what we've got here then, Gordon? Again, now this is a smaller size version of this box here. And in this selection, we get four of these boxes. These four. Yeah, okay. they do. And again, like these boxes, they all stack on top of each other. You can stack as many as you want, you know and what? they all have the snap on lid as well. You know Look, you can even see there, it's always been reinforced on the base. Yeah. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is, that's a strong piece of plastic. That's yeah. strong. Yeah, so these are high-end plastic boxes, yeah. How wonderful. There yeah. we go, again, £10.99. Okay, what kind of things have we got in here, then, So actually? that one, uh, what have I used that one for? I can't remember, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ink pads, for Memento example. Memento style inks, those things. Yeah, yeah, there. mini ink pads, things like that. Oh, all all sorts of things. I reckon Your you mini get... Tim Holtz ink pads, fantastic yeah. as well. Yep, you get loads of them in there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 46, 18, 20. So you're going to get, if you've got the Tim Holtz ones, you're going to get about 26 in one box. Oh, okay, you can, can't you? Okay. Yeah. And you know, we're talking about crafts, of course, but other items as well, just everyday little bits and pieces around the home, little well, DIY. you know, they're storage boxes, whatever you have. Yeah, <laughs> put them inside there. There we go. Uh, again, £10.99, it's be creative. These are strong boxes. It's at 736-827. So there we go. Uh, any questions? 
Email us again, studio at hochanta.com. How messy is your craft room? Don't be embarrassed. We want to see the messiest room, don't we? We also want to see the tidiest room. This is brilliant. That would have to be my room, actually. Is it really? You can't. <laughs> we need to get some storage box. Uh, you, now, um, now, I know you're a big fan of these. Uh, I know you're a big fan of this bundle, too. I love this bundle. really do love this bundle. So you've got, again, the similar boxes to these ones and these ones in a smaller size. And then we've got the three sets here of the boxes with five compartments in each box. Okay. These are fantastic for little things like, you know, uh, what do you call trinkets, buttons, embellishments, yeah. etc. Jewelry making. Yeah, but actually we found out that the, again, the mini ink pads fit oh, perfectly perfect. as well. Yeah, yeah. So again, there's a million and one uses for these, especially these little boxes as well. So many different uses. And as we said, if you're really, really limited to space in your craft room, you would not have a problem getting those in. No, you can, you can yeah. tuck these away, can and you? And again, like the other systems, they have grooves on the top. Those like ones it. stack like that. Those ones all fit into each other as well. Oh, so you can buy more and more. You can stack them as high as you want. They're you really incredibly can. sturdy. You really can. Uh, yeah. get, and you can colour code them. So uh, mm -hmm. you, know, you might have the orange one for... Uh, you might have uh, a set of inks for... Uh, bright colours for the summer, yeah. perhaps as well. You might have more tunnel colours going in one of them. You can you can organise colourways within bundles. So yeah. the more you buy, the yeah. more you can. I say the good thing about all of these boxes, the lids all click on. Yeah. And if you shake them about, if you drop them, etc., the lids will not come off the boxes and very easily. It How takes nice. quite an effort to take them off again. Do you know what? I can even tell that because I used to do a lot of DIY. I had a box like this for screws and yeah. nuts, bolts, all those kind of things. Yeah. You drop it or they mix up. Yeah. But I can even tell when I press that down, there's no gap. Yeah. There's, there's no gap. It yeah. can't, they're, they're divided. But think well, about truly. your hu husband as well. If you have your husband who's into fishing, for example, a lot of these boxes, as we were discussing yesterday actually, are great for all your fishing tackle, yes. your fishing hooks and Good things idea. like that. So they're not just for craft. They can that be used for perfect, all sorts actually. of things. That is yeah. perfect. Yeah. There we go. Uh, right, so we are getting uh, three of the ones with the compartments and then four of those. So basically, if I'm out of the way, it's these right here. Yeah. £12.99, 810 one brilliant idea there. Joel, we've got lots more, lots more. Joel, maybe your artist trading cards actually fit inside there when you're storing them. Yeah, they will actually. Take them yeah. for uh, uh, you know, all business cards and things. You still do. Are you into artist trading cards? Uh, still uh, I, I know. I see many of them. I see many of them. But that's going to be perfect. <laughs> anyway. I, I love them actually. They, ATCs. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're talking. Yes. I, thought, I thought you were talking about the old bubblegum cars there, sorry. <laughs> no, I've just... <laughs> I've still got them as well. I, mean, the... I, I, I do like those as well. I'm a big fan. But the ATCs, there would be... The ATCs, yeah. There. I've got lots of them, yeah. Well, look, uh, now we've got other boxes. Uh, this is uh, great dividers, great divides in here. Yeah. Perfect. So, I mean, what would you use these for? Being a man of many crafts, what would you use these for, for example? For, for us, in, yeah. the, in the shop, we would use them genuinely for embellishments and things like that. That, yeah. Of which we've got lots, you know, charms and all sorts of things. Little pots of embossing powders inside there. You get embossing so. powders in there, uh, all sorts. In this one here, actually, uh, we thought oh, an idea, we put some sewing things in there. So we've got some sewing reels and buttons. You get your needles in there, measuring tapes. You know, when things just fit yeah. in perfectly, it's so satisfying. It? All these place. boxes have multiple uses. Right. I can't tell people what to put in them. We can give you a few ideas and show you, but, you know, th there's a <laughs> a whole host of things you could put it in these boxes. I do yeah. a silly thing, really, but um, again, if you've got, if, if you, let's say you put multi-bought this, if you bought quite a few of these, you can ob see through the lid, obviously, to say, but if you're identifying that particular button, that colour thread, you can just quickly sift through yeah. the boxes, look yeah. through the lid, that yeah. them. And again, they have the grooves on the top, so you can stack them up as high as you want. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Very impressive. Well, there we go. Uh, again, ten pounds ninety nine for these two. Five three three eight seven five. Now, don't wait for Gordon and I to go down the counter. Shop head on our website. We've got larger boxes. This is just the start. These yep. are brilliant. <laughs> now, this one I think is going to be the most useful. It's one of those sizes. It's also got easy access too. It's excellent. So this is the A5. It's actually slightly bigger than A5. So if you fill the drawers with A5 card and paper, well, you actually still have a gap to be able to get your fingers in to get the paper out. Oh, uh, well, of course. Yeah, I think we filled that with some things just to show people. And look at this. You, you've had fun filling these, haven't you? So, oh, look, at, I mean, there are all your inks there. They fit nicely, yeah. All yeah. of your inks. Distressing we can pads. label the front. Yeah. And look at that. And we've got some A5 card and paper. I love these yeah. this. Uh, you can, John, you can fit a lot, actually. Yeah. It's got a good depth. I mean, there's a fair few sheets there already. Yeah. But, uh, so you're taking that, man. 
<laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? Yep, so we get again, one of these then. Incredibly well made. Now, if you take the other box, put it on top, show people how they stack together. Oh, we can stack they these. come as a set of three. But oh, again, I like you it. Can oh, this buy is more smart. than one. Yeah. So well, you, can, you can have towers going around the side. Yeah. Obviously, don't so want how to much? Long. How much room do you actually need in your craft room yeah. if you're going to stack these up two or three sets high? Well, you might Not have two rows and, uh, yeah. and uh, no, two or three high. You stack them on the floor. No yeah. problem at all. Doesn't you could. take up much space. Well, right. no, and you're, if you buy things like card, it can mount up. Mm -hmm. It's keeping it protected. Yeah. It's protecting right. your items too, not just for easy access and organisation. Yeah. Well, fourteen pounds at ninety nine four one zero five seven seven. That is one of these grey storage towers with uh, three drawers. That is fantastic. Now then, another item. This is also stackable. Is that right? This is what we call the modular system. This is A four, slightly bigger than A four. The right. beauty of this system is you can buy as many as you want and they all click together. If I take that one away... Right, okay, here's we one have, we filled earlier. We oh, have two, two of them here. Oh, I just thought I picked up one then. Yeah. Oh, right, they, they're probably locked in then, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, if I just hold that one, if you can see it on the top here, there are a couple of little notches just on the side of the box here. And what happens is when you put them on top of each other, they click together. I so see. they do not come apart. There you can see the notch. Uh, where are we? So I, I, actually, I actually thought I picked yeah. up one then. <laughs> no, no, no. They really click together. They and do. as you've just found out, when you pick them up, yeah. they do not come apart. I, I think that's safety as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't want them to be top heavy anyway. No. But, uh, but that, that, that that's locks in, doesn't it? And these are made of very strong plastic as well. They're incredibly sturdy boxes. So you, can, you can feel that. Yeah. So I have bought a lot of boxes. Mm -hmm. I've got all, all kinds of things in my house. But this is. Uh, I've become a bit of a box snob, and I'm amazed <laughs> that I have. Uh, uh, I'm amazed how much you can spend on boxes, and I've realised today we haven't got to spend extort extortionate amounts no. of money to get quality plastic. No, this is no. this is happening you right don't now. Really. No, that's right. Right, so it's one of these boxes, fourteen pounds ninety-nine. That's a good price. It's five nine five three nine six. That's brilliant. Now we've had a picture come in from Sharon. Sharon, thank you very much. Shall have a look at this. Oh, now well, that's that. That's a tidy craft room. That's organised, though. Look at this. That's excellent. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Sharon thinks it's a mess. <laughs> really? Sharon, that is not a mess. I can tell you this. <laughs> No, I chance, think that's right? pretty good, actually, because she's, what she's doing is making the most of the space she has. You can see that. And looking at all the paper on the back. Oh, that is, yeah. that is a studio. But you know, Sharon, I can see some little tiny spaces there. You can still, still fit in some more boxes. Absolutely. The little yeah. compartment boxes back Yeah, I there. can see some of those bottles and things you've got lying around there could be better put and, in the box. Yeah. Uh, Sharon, uh, you know, if you like some more storage, <laughs> go for it. Sharon, thank you very much. That's very, very kind. But do you know what? Craft, it can be, it's the sort of hobby that we build up. We yeah. build up more things and more things as well. Because the more tools we got, the more yeah. possibilities we have. Yeah. And uh, again, even if you're just getting to start up, while we've got these prices, while we've got all these options, all these things, uh, then get ready for when you're about to buy things. Yeah. Have them ready to go. Right then, now we're talking about them being sturdy plastic. Right. These are particularly strong. We call these the strong box. Right. If I had a hammer here right now, trust me, I would hit these hard with a hammer. It really? would just bounce off. I could stack, now you may want to do this, but if you stack them up like that, trust me, you can jump on them. Really? These are incredibly tough. Now, these boxes are made, you can store them in a basement, you can store them in a garage, you could store them outside. Right. Your husband might want these to store all his tools, nuts and bolts and things like that. Yes. These are the strong boxes. A pair boxes. of sacateurs inside there, maybe some yep. gardening gloves. Yep. Something to have on the shelf, you know, uh, on, on the garden shed, those kind of things. Yeah, yep. these perfect. are incredibly strong. Oh, so if you've maybe even got something heavy or something you need to really protect in whichever way, these are the strongest boxes this, we have. This, this, seriously, this is this is strong, isn't it? Yep, I could throw it at the camera right now; it would bounce off. We, we wouldn't do that because they're quite expensive. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but uh, so, God, that is that's impressive. Right, so it's yep. these three. Twelve pounds ninety-nine. Four nine five eight seven nine. So there we go. Strong. You can hear it, can't you? Yep. It's like I'm knocking honestly, on the door. Yeah, yeah. And you're not seeing the lid go like this, are you? Yeah. And again, they've got Sturdy. those really strong snap-on lids. You really have to snap them off like right. that. Yeah. And then if I put it back, you'll hear it, hear it click back click together. Click it Yep. They're very strong. It's sturdy, isn't it? It's absolutely yep. sturdy. Oh, by the way, those details, they're coming up next. But just to remind you, if you would like 
these three boxes, 12 99 4 95 8 7 9 so it's th that's the right price for these boxes. If you'd like to shop ahead on our website, then do so. But um, uh, what, what, what ideas, or maybe you've got um, an abundance of ink pads, or uh, you've got some threads, or yarn. Uh, who knows what you've got? Let us know what you've got. I'm sure, Gordon, we'll be able to advise you which, which one to be suitable for. Yeah, we can try. Yeah, yeah. Now, these are the most intriguing. I have it's to say well that myself, Justin, Helen, uh, Jane, all the people who work with us, these are the favourites. Okay. These, these are, are by far the favourites. Now, I had a look at these earlier, I was intrigued, but yeah. they're, they're, they're just, they're just very practical. Yeah. So, how does it work then? You can just wind you it You can around. do that, then the whole thing will wind round. The lid will turn round if you pull the lid, or you can turn the box like that. Oh, I see. And then you open each, in the, you open the lid when you get to the compartment. It just pulls open like that. Isn't that great? Yeah. So you're not going to pull a whole lid off and everything pings no. out. You're just sliding. Yeah. Where you got so it, it's going to be ideal. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely for this, isn't yeah. it? So definitely that one's full of beads and things. But what to do with that one, Charlie? As long as the lid's shut, turn that upside down and sure. give it a shake. Sure. Just take it around a bit, side to side. Yeah. Then well, turn it back go. over. And you'll notice one thing, That's the impressive. beads haven't gone into the other compartments. That's impressive. And Joe, we got small beads? Yeah. Right, come on, let me make sure the lid's They've shut. They've all stayed in place. Right. That's impressive. Yeah. That is impressive. Yeah. So we have here a small box, a medium, and a large. And the other good thing is they all stack on top of each other. That's a really good idea. Yeah. I'm impressed. Jo, I am impressed by that because you've got tiny little gems inside yep. here. Jo, if it's for uh, jewellery making and so on, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Yep. So we've got the three different sizes here. Yep. And they all stack on top of each other. You've got the circular bit underneath here. You see that yeah. piece oh, underneath yes. there? And then on top of the other one, see the circular piece on top? So that one will just sit like that, and yeah. that one sits like that. So it's a very good way of stacking them like that. You can nice. keep them very simple like that, which well, is great. It's going to be stunning. It's quite yep. smart. It's just good for easy access. It's a yep. box. It's fantastic right. box. Right, yeah. 12, sorry, 24 pounds at 99. That's 492567. That's 24.99 for these three, the small, medium, and the large. Now, quickest way you can order it again, it's our website, hochans.com, the fastest way. Here is their thing we got on the show. We, we scroll across. My favorite, I really like the gray, uh, the gray storage tower with the three doors. I think that's brilliant. Yeah. 14 pounds 99. We've got seven mini rectangular storage boxes uh, with the three compartment boxes, 12 99 These are good, good prices. I don't think, because I, I, when I've walked around to like, retail parks, you know, the sort of shop you find in a retail park, you know, the big office stationery stores, I've seen boxes there. I think, right, I want to get organised. But not for those prices. Absolutely not. But this is sturdy plastic yeah. for brilliant prices. This is, this is impressive. Now, next items we've got for you, I'd say for your stampers out there, this is going to be brilliant. Gordon. Okay, Perfect. well, we have the big box. We'll come to in a second. We've had the big box on programmes before. Yes. But a lot of people have lately have been asking us for a smaller storage system. Okay. So this is what we have done. So this is about got. half the size of the big box. Right. However, it is a deeper box than the big box. So uh, it's smaller widthwise, lengthwise, but uh, it is a deeper box. Okay, but again, the same quality as all the other boxes, incredibly strong. Right. Um, but what we have for this box is we have the inserts for your stamps. Oh, I see. So with this box, you're getting two double sided cling boards. Fantastic. Now, the boards at the moment have got that blue film on both sides. Oh, so it's going to be nice and pristine. So when you, yeah, when you get them home, you take the film off both sides before you put your cling stamps on. How nice. If you like to open that box, this Go is just on. to show let's people. Have Let's have a look. Hold on, let me see. Just, I just come clip it. That nice. Way, really. So that shows you. You've got all your cling mounted stamps in here, whether they be rubber stamps or clear stamps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you shake that and see how strong, how, how well the stamps cling to them. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, they're that, incredibly that, that, strong. That does cling. Yeah. That, that, that's why I call it Your cling. Your stamps will not come off until you want them to come off. How impressive, John. Yeah. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, they are on there. Mm -hmm. They are on there. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not yeah. a struggle, but no, no, you want no. them to be properly on there. Because when, you, when right. you're moving them around, you don't want to fall yeah. all over the yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might have one box, because you, you get one for, again, for £13.49. If you did want to stock up, one for Christmas stamps. Yeah. One for yeah. weddings. You, know, you can label them on yeah. the side too. It's yeah. going to be smart. So, so you've got box. two cling boards with the box. Yeah. And then you can buy 
uh, sets of additional cling boards to add up. And I think you'll get about between six and eight cling boards in one box. With Dep stamp Depending on the thickness of your stamps. Yes, of course. You'll get more if they're just the clear stamps than you will the thicker rubber stamps. Yeah, depends yeah. if they're foam mounted, I guess, or larger. That's right. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. there we go. Uh, one box, two of the uh, uh, of the cling boards, £14.99, six six five uh, seven seven three. So they go £13.49 as a free member price. Well, uh, now we've got a larger box right here. Yep. This is, like you said, we bought this back because it's been a firm favourite. Yeah, think, absolutely. Um, and uh, people seem to love the colour, the pink colour we have. So right. we've stuck with the pink colour, tried to colour coordinate the boxes. So people will like that. This is the big box. So in here you have a section which is A4 in size. Oh, this is great. And then round about it you have the smaller sections. So this box here either comes with... Uh, one of the double-sided A4 cling boards, yes. and today we're also giving you one bonus double-sided. Oh, yeah. So really getting two. So you're getting two today. That's fantastic. Yeah. So it's a good day to get it. Good day to get it. Now yeah. is the time to get it. Yeah. And look at this saving here, saving five pounds ninety-nine again because yeah. you're getting one. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Yep. So you get £19.99. Say my number is uh, 870050. Select cling board, but we can also select the magnetic. Yep, and today you're getting one additional bonus magnetic board uh, with the box as well. So instead of the normal two, we're giving you three today. That's brilliant. Three so one is a bonus. Beautiful. Yep. I beg your pardon, different item number for this. So it's, it's, the, it's the same box, uh, and for this box, you're getting these three. Again, £72.50, it's £19.99, 829020. So you know this, I think this is a kind of box you would take to a workshop, or maybe you like to watercolour on location. You can put your pads down there, your brushes down here. Uh, you can even put water inside, like a little well. That'd be absolutely perfect. Great well, idea. Here we go. Hello. Right. We, oh, we, we, we are, we are well organised, Charlie. Look at this. <laughs> so if I hold that box up, there, it's. Uh, look, there, don't I've worry. The boxes it. are strong. Don't worry. I've got it. That <laughs> is smart. Look at this. Look, all your stumps there. Yep. Oh, the another thing is as well, to show you how good these cling boards are that we've had manufactured, uh, some people, you know when you buy a set of cling stamps like our own cling stamps, uh, come in a nice packet and they're yeah. all fastened to the acetate, and people say, oh, I don't like to take them off the acetate because it's got the image of the stamps on them. I see. Well, look, can you see that? These are our multi-layer stamps, and we've kept them on the story sheet they come with. Yeah. And would have gone right onto the cling boards. How good! So we haven't had to take them off the actual sheets still themselves. Nice. When you, so when you can you... still see the images of the stamps on there. Yeah. And we put them straight onto the cling boards. And again, incredibly strong. They That's will not come good. off. You've even got like some foam stamps here. Every as type well. of stamp. There's rubber stamps in there. Everything's yeah, in there. Look yep. at all those. Yeah. That's impressive. That that's a lot of stamps. And we've got embossing um, powders down here as well. Little spatulas, tools, yeah, of course, little brushes. Yep. Pokey tools down there. Yep. Right, there we go. If you like to give one of these boxes, if you like it with the cling boards, detail side of the screen, uh, and that's nineteen pounds ninety-nine, otherwise nineteen ninety-nine for the magnetic. If you like the one with magnetic, details bottom of the screen, eight two nine zero two zero. Right then, um, we do know be created for wonderful essential items. We also know them for the wonderful creative events. So one coming up in Gateshead, take a look at this. Hochanda have yet again partnered with Create It Events to bring you the Hochanda Hub, the inspirational craft, hobby and art roadshow. This is a one-day event where Create It have lined up many of your crafting favourites, including Be Creative, Stamp Addicts, Chocolate Baroque, Crafty Individuals, Dolly Dimples, Powertex and many more. There will also be opportunities for you to get crafty with a fantastic selection of demonstrations and various make and takes. So come along and meet other members of the Hochanda family on Saturday the 8th of September at Gateshead International Stadium, Tynham Weir. Get your tickets here today and we'll see you there.
They go at four pounds before the amount you're going to see. Great value at two four three two eight. Well, this is a new venue. It's a large international centre. Right. Wonderful new venue. Uh, we stand holders are still booking at the moment, but we've got some wonderful people there. We've got Don Baby there, for example. Of course, yeah. And Don will be showing you some of her new items at the show. Chloe, well, Chloe's taken over half the hall because that's really? her home ground. But she takes her to the <laughs> studio, actually. <don't she? laughs> Chloe's got all sorts of things on the go at Gateshead. Wow. But we've not only got paper crafts, we've got some fabric crafts, we've got power techs there, yes. all sorts of things. And this is a brand new event for us in Gateshead. We're all looking forward to it, bringing something up to the northeast for the first time. How wonderful. It's looking good. Yeah. We're, we're looking forward to that. Looking yep. forward to that. Uh, there we go. Any questions, email us. Whilst Gordon's here, he's running the event, uh, email us in if it's about the event or anything to do with these storage solutions just to let you know we've got one which is going to be your favorite this this is already your favorite on the show well good why do you think that is why is this one of the most popular do you well, think? i think because of the size of it because yeah. remember what we said the problem is is we have we seen on that 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 uh, snippet that lady sent in that photograph yeah everyone has limited space in the craft room yeah. nobody has got huge amounts of space so most craft rooms have to make use of what they got and and it's going up the way yeah, that's yeah. the good thing so this is just that sort of size you can sit it on the floor on your desk and you can stack it up high. But make so it use of vertical space. Yeah, the actual, I tell you what, let's just measure the actual, uh, what, the footing? Uh, is it was Sharon who emailed yeah. us in earlier with a photo. Sharon, so thank you very know. much again. In fact, Joel, we can remind you, if you just joined us, this is Sharon's uh, craft room. I think that's very smart. There's yeah. always room for more storage. And, uh, yeah. uh, it's the little bits now, I think, sometimes, isn't it? We get yeah. the big things out of the way, it's the little bits. Yeah. But Sharon, uh, thank that's you it. very much. That's yeah, brilliant. everyone's trying to fill that little bit of space. So if we measure this box, for example. Well, then. So height wise, remember you've got a set of three here. Yeah. Uh, in old money, it Just over comes 11 to inches. 11 inches. In new money, it comes to. Uh, 28 20... of those new centimetre thingies. Yes, <laughs> just, uh, just over 28. Was under so 20 that's the yeah. height. Uh, Width-wise, depth. depth-wise, we have got, can you see that? That is 24.3 centimetres, uh -huh. or we got nine point, well, just over nine and a half inches, yeah. Okay. And so the other way here, we have got... Approximately. Um... Eight, yeah. eight inches. Yeah, like yeah. Eight inches. Yeah, which is about 19 centimetres that way. So you see the f actual footing of this is very small. Yes. But we can go as high as we want. It's vertical space. That's what we're making use yeah, out of, isn't that's it? Right. Uh, do you, yeah. I, can, I know a lot of shelves. I can just fit on the back of the shelf. Yeah. You know what? I, I can, I can, uh, you know, I can, I can demonstrate that. Yeah. Just, just, just quite nice. <laughs> Demonstration of the edge. You like that, Gordon? Well, it's in situation. <laughs> anyway, more about that later on. I'm going to leave it there quite happily. What, should we have a look at these ones uh -huh, next? Yeah. Now, if you just join us, we're going to recap them all for you. Yeah. Well, regardless of what you want to store, I think it's safe to say we're covering most crafts here, yeah, a lot of crafts, but mm -hmm. uh, other, other, uh, just general bits and pieces around here. This is actually as good as that because it actually takes up almost the same amount of space. It's actually just slightly smaller, this one here. So just to give you a quick, uh, this one is 19 by 19 inches, uh, which is, no it's not, it's uh, seven and a half by seven and a half inches, 19 by 19 centimeters. Okay. So this is actually slightly smaller than the other one, but this one here you've got individual boxes and each box has a snap-on lid. It's great. So they're all individual, and that's a good thing. If you were to buy this twice, for example, if you did, so you might have these boxes together. Yeah. Well, you might have those together, you might have large ones on the floor, you might have these ones on your work surfaces. Yeah, that's right. Who knows? It's nice to have the variety. Yeah. Well, the beauty what of this one is you can take the boxes apart, just take one box to where you need it. Yeah. Whereas the other one, you, you the whole thing's joined together. That's the only difference, so what, really. What, we've got a lot of cards in there, Gordon. Um, well, then this one here, in the top one here, what have we put in here? The one well, tool. here we have Justin's Whizzy Tool. Love it. Yep, and all its accessories mm -hmm. fits in there perfectly. So you might want to use it for that. I think you would get things like small link pads etc in there as well yeah on the big box we got here oh my god oh that's organized oh, organized like this, this is an organizer here we are <gasps> and it's full of card samples and things this is helen who did this helen, thank so you. all sorts of things in there because uh, sometimes if i've got a birthday or an event coming up at the moment mm -hmm. you can still make all your toppers ready this could be where you store them for now this you one's the next one this is the medium box and then here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten little We've got 28 reels of ribbon that's in the medium box. That's a lot of ribbon. Yeah, that's a lot of ribbon in one box. So fantastic for all sorts of things. But I said the thing I like about this one 
is they're all individual boxes, so you can take them apart, take one box wherever you want to, instead of having to take the whole lot. Well, I and then they all stink. Uh, lovely points there. Uh, mm -hmm. Organisation, I think. But, uh, yeah. you know, some people uh, work in different ways, but I've always been taught, like, tidy, please, tidy mind. I have to say it, I have to say it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think, uh, again, if you're, uh, oh, so and so's birthday tomorrow, you only just found out someone's coming around, oh, I'll wait, quickly make them a card now, then rather than waste time, Fumbling around, rummaging around for that one card, that one stamp, that one yeah. reel of ribbon, you've got it all here. And yeah. it's a simple point to make, but this can really save time because you've got clear signs, you can easily identify what's in there. Yeah. It's very practical creatively, I, I personally think as well. Yeah. £12.99. These few boxes, stack them up. It's a 534598. Brilliant value for me, all brand new today. Now, the next item, this is a, a diff very much of a different shape. This is know? actually one of my favourites because I just like the look of these boxes. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. And we've got the other boxes that sort of match up to them. I love the look of these, but again, the same extra strong plastic, the same strong snap-on lids. And I, I love the fact you've got the different coloured lids on these. I think it's really impressive. Isn't that great? I can imagine. Yeah. I haven't tried it, but it looks like the colour clouds will fit in there. Because I know they're popular, creature expressions. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. so. I haven't tried it, but I wonder if a Tim Holtz distressing will fit in there. Yeah, it probably would, actually. Uh, we have one we have somewhere else. Shall, I try, shall we try it? Hold on, let me get it for you. Can you can grab it. I'm going to try and find it. Tried it. Yeah. There's plenty more options, but things we can use it for, if not. But uh, maybe you've got your oxide inks, so distressings, but £14.99. I wonder. I there we go. Know. Give it a go. Didn't think of that. Oh, oh perfect. Well. Oh, now that's perfect. <laughs> oh, do you, know, do you, know, you can fit. So, how many, you how know, many colours? You get quite a few Two. in there. Excuse me for Three, running back and four. forward, Let's but say it's four interesting. And a bit of space. Four you know and uh, maybe some more. I'm going to keep passing you them so we yeah. can find out. Keep going, on. Right, there we go. Right, I can up. fit four comfortably in with a bit of space at the end. There we go. This is ideal. What are we doing? Because I know a lot of people have these. Now, this is good. This is good. Right, that's, that's all I've got with me. That's two rows. <laughs> Do you know what? But yeah, you're going to fit another row inside there. you are. There. So how many is that going to be in there, then? Isn't that perfect? That's great. You, uh, distress one, two, inks. Three, four, four. So that would be 16 distress ink pads or distress oxides in one box. In one box. 16. In one box. I like this. I didn't think of that, Charlie. <laughs> well, so if you've got your little blending, you know, some of the little very refills You'll get that in the side. Tools, put yeah. that in the side, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, love it. There we go. Uh, now, if you like to go for four of these, details on the side. Sadly, you don't get the hint. Uh, but uh, job for the boxes, yeah. it's good value because they're sturdy plastic as well. Yeah. Remind us, like you said at the start mm -hmm. of the show, because there's a difference between plastics. Remind us there's that. a huge difference in plastic and the quality of the plastic. You look at some plastic boxes, you'll notice they are quite. Uh, uh, um, how can I say it? Sort of like it's a fragile, sort of a thicker, fragile type plastic. As brittle if, is the brittle word. Is the word. Yeah. Brittle. If brittle. you hit it with a hammer, it would just crack. Yeah, yeah. Or if you, okay. if you just, you know, you put it down on the floor yeah. slightly yeah. too yeah. heavily. The heavily more high end plastic. Uh, is determined by the amount of polymer that's mixed into the plastic right because that makes the boxes stronger and more flexible all of these boxes we're looking at today have a lot of polymer so these are high-end plastic boxes there is a massive difference don't look at these and think oh I've seen one along the road at a pound you get what you pay for you really do you know you really do, do yeah. you know what I often I get uh, it sounds well, you think, why is Charlie buying all these boxes but I have bought a lot of storage boxes in yeah. the past yeah. and uh, nowadays I look at the base because I bought boxes where it's just a flat piece. This yeah. is rigid. That's it's almost like reinforced. Yeah. yeah. They are incredibly strong. Well, I say we've done all our tests in the warehouse, jumping up in them, dropping them, etc. And we've had no problems at all with these boxes. They've been excellent. Yeah. Right, £14.99. There we go. It's uh, 814854. That is better. I think for your distressings, that's good. Uh, uh, you can, mm. that, that, this yeah. could be like your ink storage area. I did, your, honestly did not room. think of that. I did not, would never have thought they would have fitted it. And your alcohol ink markers as well. So you've got fantastic there, yeah. That's going to be ideal, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. ideal. Perfect. Now, we've had another photograph come in from, uh, from Karen. Karen, thank you very much. Do you any more? your questions email them in okay oh, oh i like this karen oh that's so organized that's organized as well look at the ribbons at the back yeah i know that is good uh, karen says it's a semi-messy craft room <laughs> i like that I like, <laughs> karen, i think that's beautiful you are a passionate crafter. Helen, if you're watching, get your photograph coming in. Come on, Helen. Right, why? Is <laughs> Helen messy on or...? No, she's got her conservatory turned into a craft room. 
as you, as, every time we go there, she's reorganised it in a different way. Really? But again, she's a bit like some of these people, boxes, are really well organised and, you know, whatever. And so she, can't there's so many boxes in there and you wouldn't, me, I would think, what's in that, what's in that? She knows exactly where everything it's, is. It's organised, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Again, uh, so Helen, if you're watching, yeah, God, we'd love to see. Yeah. I love these photos. Come on, send us in a picture of your carpet. If it's really messy, really tidy in between, it doesn't matter. In yeah. fact, be, I think we need to see a messy one. I think we need to see a messy one here. Right then. We've got more boxes, more boxes. Yep. Uh, so well, why is this size desirable, do you think? Well, again, it's all, what we've done, we've selected these, different sizes, different shapes, to help people, depending on the amount of space they have in the yep. craft room. And remember, these boxes are, are so well made, they're not just suitable for crafts. Think about your husbands and things like that, what they might want boxes to store things. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. all of these boxes are really well made. They all have snap-on lids that don't come off easily. You know, they, they can take a lot of things, a lot of weight, etc. Yeah. They will last a long time. If you're uh, the other half, yeah. uh, uh, girls, guys, DIY, all kind of things, you know, it's perfect. Yeah, that's but right. Or maybe the man drawer's full. Yeah, maybe the man drawer's full. Yeah. Put it yeah. in the man drawer. I've got plenty of those at home, yeah. I haven't seen that comedian for ages. <laughs> you know, you got instruction manuals, you know, you got yeah. phone currency, you know, you got old batteries, you know, keys for a house no longer. And they're you know, I was just going to shout at the TV there, Justin, get tidying the house up. You've got all these boxes at home. Get, yes. But guess what? He's Go got on. a power cut all day long, so he's not even watching us today. Oh. He phoned me a little while ago. He'd be gardening. He phoned me a little while. <laughs> I said that to him. I said, so what are you going to do? I said, oh, you can watch things on your phone. I can't. It's run out of charge. Um, it's yeah. just about to run out and I can't charge it up. I said, oh, you can take the dog for a walk. It's too hot. I said, you can do the gardening. It's too hot. <sighs> oh, Justin. And then I said, here. well, guess what, Justin? Yeah. You should have been here. Then. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, we're back later on, of course, as well. Uh, don't forget, uh, right, so £10.99. It's seven three six eight two seven. Good value for it. These four boxes. And uh, this is an example on one we've had today to show you what you can put inside. Little memento yep. ink pads, that kind of uh, brand. Why yep. not? And again, you can That's stack them as high as you want so they don't take up much. But I tell you what, let's get my ruler out again. Here oh, we are. Well, let's have a look. Let's there. just give people an idea. So widthwise, this yeah. is nine inches or twenty-three centimeters just by uh, yeah. just under five inches, which is twelve centimeters. Yeah. So this is a smaller footing than this one, uh, which means you know if you have a smaller space, you again yeah. you can stack them up. You can stack them up. Yeah, it uh, really, it's, it's, this is all to try and solve space problems that people have in the craft rooms. It is. So we have all different sizes and shapes here that will fit into some space. I think so. Yeah. John, maybe, uh, no, maybe if you're, you know, you've got a long week away in the caravan sort of thing, you know, you still, you yep. haven't got an awful lot of space, but you still want to have your craft, but you still want them protected, because it yeah. can mount up. Of yeah. course it can mount up. It's a hobby. Uh, that yeah. It's worth looking after items. Yeah, and the good thing about travelling is they have got those snap-on lids that will not, so if they fall over in your car or your caravan, yeah. they will not just empty out all over the place. That's, That's a good thing. They're yeah, very strong. Right, yeah. well, there we go. Again, £10.99. It's at 736827 for those four, two of each colour. Right then, now the next item we got, uh, very impressive. This is good value too. This is one of my favourites as well. It's a nice combination. Love these, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what crafts, what kind of bits and pieces do you think we'd like you to put inside here? Oh my god, well, this one, for example, these are ideal for uh, the likes of. I'll tell you what, this one here. Okay. If you, again, ATCs will fit in these. Yeah. So if you're an ATC collector, someone who swaps them, uh, these are fantastic. And if your husband collects old bubblegum cards, fantastic. I like bubblegum. I like it. I like it. <laughs> John, it could be like little stickers for. It could be little toys for well, you know, for children. John, yeah. I think yeah, just for kids. Yeah. Like, little storage organizers. I or actually clothing, have maybe. all. I, we keep all these little uh, bags of uh, mica powder right. in the shop. We do things with these, so I stack all these in here. That's perfect. These isn't are mica it? powders. That's yeah, smart. I get millions of mica powders. Again, I can't reinforce bottoms here. Honestly. Yeah. You can hear, or you can hear legs. how hard that yep. plastic is. Yeah, it's impressive. That's right. So you got four of those with lovely colour lids. You can stick. You can also put if you have uh, the blenders, you know, for your ink pads and things. Yeah. You can put in there along with all the pads and things like that. Um, so many different things. I love these boxes because these again are incredibly strong. They are with that snap-on lid that's hinged as well. 
These are fantastic for all your embellishments, but you will also get your mini ink pads in here as well, as we've done. Again, think of all the small things you've got lying around. This is brilliant. This yeah. is a, but again, but again, they're very tough with those snap-on lids. They do not come apart. Well, you might have, uh, you might have a pack of buttons. You've got two or three left or something. Yeah. What do you do with those? What do you do? Is, yeah. uh, it's a little compartment. These are for your, uh, always leftovers. Mm -hmm. some embellishments gems. There. Everybody's got these little gems. And gems, They tend yeah. to go everywhere. Well, they do in our house. We find them everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, fantastic. Well, yeah. John, we've got these boxes. So you get three of the ones with the compartments and four of these. £12.99, 810921. Now, We've got a picture, but this person would like to remain anonymous. Okay. Uh, and this is why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jack, but, uh, you know uh, what? Yeah, they you need said, some boxes. <laughs> they said, if you want messy, this is messy. You know what, actually? I'm not being polite. I've seen worse. I have seen worse. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, have I. Yeah, I've seen the uh, no, I mean, yeah, I've seen oh, well, that, not, yeah. actually. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, well, it's a state. But this lady is obviously a fabric crafter, as we can see from her sewing machine, etc. Yeah. And of course, fabric um, is a particular problem. How do you store fabric? It's not easy. You, it, you yeah. can fold it up. Cups. So, for this lady, maybe like for example, the the modular system, the A4 system, would be fantastic because you get your fat quarters and things in there. Yeah. I would imagine that a stack of them would be fantastic. Well, but then, but, but then she's got all her small things like reels and things like that. So there's a lot of these boxes here that would would, would help. They're that ideal. Lady, depending on the space you have. Well, yeah. to the lady or gentleman who sent that in, who wishes yeah. to remain anonymous. Yeah, I won't say the name. I promise. Uh, but uh, but I thank think you, you know. very much. <laughs> uh, thank you very very much. Right then, um, yeah. let's have a look at these. Now uh, we've got the larger com compartment boxes right here. So these yeah. are great. And again, this is a very steady for again. Now buttons. You know, you've got uh, reels, little yeah. offcuts. You know, why not? It's brilliant. Yeah. Again, you've got a snap-on lid hinged at one end. You can get quite a few things in this box. I think this is quite a nice size actually. Um, the one we've got there, we've demonstrated it with uh, someone, for example, who might be a sewer. So you get your bobbins and things yeah. in there, which can be quite nice. Reels, bobbins, yeah. Little, yeah. Uh, this could be a little sewing accessory kit. Yeah. And again, like all the other boxes, these boxes have the grooves on the top. You can actually stack them up as high as you want, and they all sit firmly inside each other. So maybe and you've got like children's hair clips, those kind of things, mm -hmm. and a little, a little bit of jewellery, perhaps. Yeah. The one or jewellery makers on the compartment box. The jewellery makers, perfect. But it's not for me. I love my DIY. I got a little little screws. You know, you buy a pack of screws. Mm -hmm. you, know, you only need two or three. But Fantastic you got a pack. for them. Yeah. Uh, or the little screws and washers. Furniture. Yep. All the sorts of things like that. Yeah. Well, wall plugs, yep. those kind of things, are absolutely ideal. Yeah. You know, drill bits. Because well, you know. You know what it's like when you need them, you can't find you them. You can't find them, you can't find them, but knowing where the boxes are stacked up, yeah. clear lid, so you can easily identify what's inside, you're not afraid yeah. of, oh, not in that one, open this one, no, not in that, you can just see them. Ten Do, pounds you, do you have one of those drawers in your kitchen that everything you can't think of where to put it, it, it goes in that drawer? drawer? Yeah, it is. Has everyone got one of those what's in the in kitchen? What's in that drawer of yours now? I've got a <laughs> hammer, it wouldn't fit in there. <laughs> but, uh, you would believe it. And when I moved house, I swore I was not going to have one of those drawers yeah. in the kitchen again. But, but you it try not happens. to, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. try not to, and then <laughs> it's that, that when, a, when the first battery <laughs> goes inside, that game over. Everything's in that drawer. You'll not is. believe it. I can't think where to put it. It goes in that drawer. Yeah. Sometimes I look at it and go, oh my God, I can't believe that's in that. It's you know, <laughs> an old padlock. You've lost a key, but you don't the Everything is in that drawer. <laughs> yeah, it is, there. You can hardly open it. It's so crammed full of God knows what. Yeah. It, it's in there, isn't yeah. it? Right. Do you know what? Um, now, the one the most popular, I think it's still this, actually. Yeah. yeah. It, it is still the most popular. I thought it would be. This, cause this is so practical. Yep. Right then, fourteen pounds ninety nine. Now we've obviously added some bits inside it to illustrate what you might want to use these for. Explain the stacking possibilities. Gordon. Well, the beauty of this one is if I hold it like that for a second. Yes. You have on the top here the groove all the way around it. Mm. There we are. We can see that now. So that means if I take this box and put it on top of the other one yeah. like that. Now remember, this box does not take up much shelf space or floor space. So the footing of this box is very small, but you can stack it as high as you want. You can. And that's the beauty of this, isn't it, you really? Know, it's not just resting on top, it's pretty well locked in, because look, at, I'm moving the top bit now, yeah. the whole thing's using it. It's not just, it's not just going, ooh, like yeah. that, is it? It's no, actually... you know, if you had this on the floor of your craft room, you could easily, to be able to get to easily, you could easily have probably four of those, one on top of the other, yeah, without any problems at all. All of yeah. your cards inside here, your envelopes inside here, uh, you know, uh, maybe some dies, yeah, yeah. maybe some dies. Yeah, wow. all sorts of things, yeah. 14 yeah. 99 for one of these, so it's one time, like this. 
with the three doors. Yeah. I get this out. Four one zero five seven seven. This is great. Oh, this is great. Oh, it's, it's exciting. I love I love a bit of a tidy. You know when you just get organised, you just sort of you reset, you get back to your neutral, uh -huh. don't you? And uh, just when these arrive and uh, multi order, we've got so many different shapes and sizes. This could be the day. Right, I'm going to get organised. And yeah. if you spend a lot of money on crafts, it's not just organisation; it's protecting what you've bought. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Right then. This is the high end box. Okay. okay. This is at the luxury end of a stacking system. So this is the A4 one. It is really high end quality, this one here. Right. And this one has the grooves on the side. And they actually, if I take that one, you can see we've got two there. Look at this. And you're holding the top, I'm holding one. The top one. You shake it up and down. It's, well, it's locked. Yeah. Even full of things, it doesn't come apart. They lock in place. Isn't that amazing? You can, yeah, and you can actually lock them side by side as well as up and down. So this is what we call the modular system. So but this is A4 just slightly card. bigger than A4. Yeah, slightly bigger than A4. Right. Oh, so, yeah. oh, you, so you can get, I can get my finger inside there. Look, yeah. I can get my finger in there. Yeah. You know, pull it out easily, easy, because there's no point having. If you, no. Like, if you can't get it out. No. So this is like the, the high end system, if you like. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Right there yeah. we go. Yeah. So it's one of these, fourteen pounds ninety nine. Brand new Toad Channel today, five nine five three nine six. This is sturdy. Don't forget. Uh, I can't believe how quickly the time has flown by. Uh, seriously, we've got nine minutes left on the show. Really? Shop it. I know. I know. <laughs> go on to the website. We've got more boxes. We've got lots more for your little bits and pieces, for your larger items, for your stamps. For your dies, it's covered. Your yeah. A4 card, it's covered. Your luxury pearlescent card can mount up. Keep it nice and safe in that box there, the modular stacking drawer with clips. Again, £14.99. Those round ones, they're brilliant. We'll come to those yeah. shortly. Yeah. But before we do, let's have a look at something very, very strong. Let's put this out of the way for a second. So, uh, God, talk to about these. Why, why are these such a good Well, box? these are boxes that you can store anyway. You can store these in your garage. They're virtually yeah. airtight. You can store them in your cellar. You can actually store them outside. Yeah. These are the strong box. You can, I mean, I don't want to make a noise, but really, honestly, if I... Go on, go on. We can bang these together as hard as we want. I can hit these with a hammer. I could throw them across the floor. <laughs> uh, sorry about the noise. But they're not easily broken. That, what I'm trying sturdy. to say is these are strong You were boxes. whacking it then. Yeah. You were whacking it then. That. It's your counter all right. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> no, I've been more worried about that. But that is sturdy. You, I can imagine yeah. these on the shelf. Like, you know, you've got your gardening gloves in there. Yeah. You've got packets of seeds. You know, yeah. All if it's sorts be outside, of things. Yep. You want it to be stored. For your garage, etc. Fantastic. Yeah. But even if it's for your craft room, if you've got things that are, say, like, let's say, leaky glues and things, Things like that, you don't want to go anywhere that need a bit more protection, then use these. Use these. And indeed. again, like all the other boxes, they do stack up as high as you want, but it's they're incredibly strong. Right, £12.99, incredibly strong. Again, that's a uh, 495.879. Uh, even when I hit the box, you can't even see it dip in, can no. you? Like no, you could Impressive. fill these really with some Ooh. weight. You could still Ooh. stack them on top of each other without yeah. any problem with a lot of weight. They, they are the strongest boxes I have seen, actually. They, they, they are certainly very strong. Yeah. Right then, yeah. let's have a look at these ones. Any, any more photographs? Please keep them coming through. We have. Oh, can we show it now? Uh, right then. Oh! How smart is this? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, yeah. We're not getting many messy craft rooms, though, are we, today? I like you know? this. I like it. These people are organised. Uh, but uh, who's sending this one in, sorry? Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie, thank you very much. Bonnie said, uh, Joe, you can have to make storage boxes. Well, see, basically, you've got I a lot there. I can see that, yeah. Uh, and this is, <laughs> but this is good. This yep. is good. This goes to show what messy crafters can become. This is, what you, this is what you need to do if you have limited space. You yeah. buy the boxes and you stack them up the way. So you're using the vertical space, not the is floor it? space. This uh, is what it's all about. Bonnie, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. What a lovely craft room. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Right then. Well, let's crack on. Joe, we hung out long. We need to whisk through. Right, just briefly, uh, we've got these boxes. Why are these so good? Well, this is my favourite. I love these boxes. They stack up, they rotate, the lids rotate. You have all the different compartments. You can put all your beads and sequins and everything in there. And they all stay separately. They don't mix together. Absolutely. They're incredibly strong. I just think these are just fantastic. Lovely uh, design of these boxes. I was going to make sure the lid shut. There yeah. we go. This, this is my favourite. Right. Yeah. Divide yourself. Yeah. 
divided. I mean, that, that says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, it so you're getting, the, yeah you're getting the large, the medium, the small. Let's say they all stack up, fit inside each other, don't take up much space, but the amount of stuff you can get in there yeah. is amazing. So yeah. easy accessible too. And this, yeah. this is a fun design. Uh, £24.99, 492, 567. Add this to your basket if you'd like to go for the three fuchsia round storage boxes. Beautiful. Yep. Uh, right then, I had to think about the colour then, and it says it. <laughs> there we are. Um, now then, we change the details for you. Uh, should we start with a smaller box then, Gordon? Start with a smaller box. This is the new box because people have said, look, we love the big box, but we've got limited space. Can you do as a smaller one? So we came up with this box, which is about half the size of the bigger box, but it's a deeper box. Yes. And again, we've designed the storage boards, which are double-sided cling boards to go with the box. So we get two cling You're boards. You're getting two today with the box, double sided so you use both sides yeah again when you get them home just peel off the film from either side and on with your cling mounted stamps rubber stamps clear stamps etc oh, that's gonna be ideal look yep. at those stamps yeah absolutely perfect you can fit a few layers in there can't you right then yep. 13 pounds 49 freedom member price 665773 so we're gonna run out of time this way um oh oh we've had another pitch coming ready for Have this we? <laughs> Helen, Helen sent in Is Helen it? thanks Helen oh that's Helen that's right, right Helen well now, done Helen had a good, now this yeah. is immaculate Helen uh, yeah, I tell you what, she's tidied it up since yesterday. <laughs> well, she's had 52 minutes to tidy it up since we asked Yeah, her yeah, I was there yesterday. It didn't look like that, Helen. <laughs> Helen, that, yeah, Helen, that was rude, wasn't it? Helen, that was beautiful. Yeah. That's gorgeous. That's her conservatory. Wonderful use of space. She's really wet. Helen is organised. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and if you're making cards quickly, oh, I didn't know so and so in birth. Go to your craft room, or uh, even if it's a corner of a bedroom, who knows? You're not fumbling around. That's it's right. all there. Walk yep. in, just be yep. creative. There's a lot of these boxes as well. Yeah, we they actually fit in your wardrobes, they'll fit under your bed, etc. Yeah. Honestly, there really is something for everyone here. But that, that space you've got going spare needs one of these boxes. Right, well, there we go. <laughs> now, if you like this box, the larger box, £19.99. Yeah. Uh, the clean board, free ad or bonus additional, A4 clean board with not £5.99. Yeah. Again, it's. Uh, That's eight. the one for the dies, that one there. So, if this one comes, so just be clear. This one comes this with three magnetic boards. Comes with the three boards. Yep, so that's for your die storage, A4 die. And it will Solid. store the biggest dies you have, the big A4 dies will easily store in there. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. £90.99, saving £5.99. Again. Oh, sorry, now, Harry, that's the clean board. Uh, clean board, beg your pardon. Right, sorry, 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 sorry. Right. It's the one box. <laughs> Same box. With these, with, uh, with the two clean boards. Yeah. There we go. Right, there we are. Two clean boards, one box, £19.99, yeah. There we go. Now, the next item, the next item, we, we have got the same box with the three magnetic sheets. That's it. So you have a choice. You can have, it's the same box. You can have the box with two of the A4 clean boards for your stamps, or alternatively, the same box with the three magnetic A4 boards for your dies. So do you want the box for your stamps? Do you want it for the dies? Or maybe you want to put some magnetic boards and then some uh, uh, the cling boards on top. Yes. So if you have matching dies and stamps, you may want to store all them in one box. Yeah, again, yeah. You could, but you can. It's your choice. Your choice, right. Sta yeah. the, the stackable as well. Again, uh, £19.99, 7250 I guess uh, 829020. Uh, now then, there are all the boxes. You can see everything else you may have missed on the website, Hochanza. Com. The grey storage box, they're absolutely perfect. It's that one there, the grey storage tower with the three drawers, £14.99. In fact, we're going to have a look at a closer look at that grey storage tower. In fact, we'll give the dimensions again, actually, it might be worth doing. But um, again, we will be back later on this afternoon at yep. uh, four o'clock, I believe. Yep. So, yep. any questions? So, have a little look around between the shows. Have a look, right? Do you know what? Let's get organised. This could be the day. There's still time uh, to get <laughs> organised. Right then. Uh, you may be organised. You may be organised already, but uh, yep. we can never be too organised, I don't think. Right then. Um, go on, Chuck. Shall I do measurements? Here you go, Charlie. Yeah. So there you go. So with here, a pro we'll give you an approximation. Uh, it's just under 20 centimetres, just under 8 inches. Uh, the depth here, so just under 10 inches, and that's pretty much bang on 25 centimetres. And then if I give you the height, let's have a look. Right, that's just below 29 centimetres and uh, about 11 and a third inches, to be precise. There we go. <laughs> so, so it's, it's a good storage box. It's yeah, it is. You can mount these up. So if you put that on the floor, you can probably get about four or five of those easily stacked upwards. Yeah. 
So space-wise on your floor, it's taking up no room at all. Well, for your toppers, Jock, maybe you'll uh, maybe you have a production line going. Maybe you just put some stamps. You want to make some toppers for them. Haven't got birthdays coming up for people at the moment. Why not? Or maybe you run blogs online. Have everything lined up, ready to go. And or maybe something's drying. Maybe a layer's drying of a, st a stencil paste. You don't want cats to walk across yeah, it. Put yeah. it in there to dry. Yeah, yeah. Right, uh, £40.99, <laughs> you're getting one of these uh, grey storage towers. £40.99, again, that's 410577. Gordon, it's been good fun. We've got thank a lot you. of storage uh, possibilities. Yeah, you uh, have. We'll see you at 4 o'clock. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks very much. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for all your photographs. Thanks to everyone who bought. Uh, we'll see you live here at Hochanda after this. Don't go anywhere. So if you haven't caught it yet, it's Dawn Baby with Helly. It's the one-day special, then Crazy with Leslie Wharton, Pink Pig Journaling, and then myself and Gordon. More storage solutions at 4 o'clock. We'll see you live at Hochanda after this. These essential sprays are a must for any crafter. Stick and Spray is a universal repositionable craft adhesive for use with rocker blocks. Stick Away is an adhesive residue remover that can be used on a range of surfaces. Stick and Stay is a revolutionary permanent spray adhesive designed for use in all paper crafting. To stock up, check out hochanda.com. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hochanda have yet again partnered with Create It Events to bring you the Hochanda Hub, the inspirational craft, hobby and art roadshow. This is a one-day event where Create It have lined up many of your crafting favourites, including Be Creative, Stamp Addicts, Chocolate Baroque, Crafty Individuals, Dolly Dimples, Powertex and many more. will also be opportunities for you to get crafty with a fantastic selection of demonstrations and various make and takes. So come along and meet other members of the Hochanda family on Saturday the 8th of September at Gateshead International Stadium, Tyne and Weir. Get your tickets here today and we'll see you there.
so gentle, yeah, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Because, okay. of course, mm -hmm. we're talking about Christmas with our one day special. This is your penultimate hour. We've been busy with the one day special, been busy with those individuals, and even busier with that complete collection. Now, we are rapidly approaching 60% of the stock having sold of that complete collection. But of course, the complete collection features lots of things, including the one day special. It does, absolutely. And everything's broken down into individuals, too, as well. So if you do want to pick up and we stocked up, restocked some of those that have sold out. Because not everybody has all that yeah, money to true. spend, yeah, so true. it's up to you to cherry pick. Just to start off with though, it is a free angel policy, so if you're making and selling, and these are particularly good for any um, any wildlife reserves, mm, any yeah, animal charities, yeah. nature, all nature based. Now, they don't have to be Christmas, obviously. You can make them into Christmas cards. This one in particular, with the bear trees and the frame, the bunny rabbits, that will do for Easter as well. You've got the little birds, and you've got the squirrels in here so this is our first option i love it love the way that you um, obviously you've got the the bear trees in the background but you're building up that scene i know on some of them we've kind of got the animals where they're tucked in there hidden behind them as well so you'll find details with leaves as well as you yeah so that well. one crosses over and brings the reindeer in which is from the next kit and it also brings a little branch and leaves into there as well so there's lots of different ways of using them and mixing them together so this one here we've actually used those bear trees and can you see the little bunny rabbit Bits, oh, and sweet. little birds are sat on there. The, the holly, which has sold out now, and one of my new scenes, which is behind there, that's not just here just yet, but very soon. And this one, I brought the dog in. So the dog's out mm -hmm. in the country chasing rabbits, which they like to do. <laughs> they do, don't they? Um, so that's really a beautiful way to actually create it with that branch again. Popping the little animals from behind the actual bear trees, I think, is a lovely way to do it. On this one, I've actually use this and put the inner scene oh, on the inside nice. of the card and then pop the outer one on the front of the card and the little squirrels onto the front of here. So lots of different ways. It is lovely to mix them up and use them together. And you can see there the reindeers coming into this one. Here I've used the village scene, which is back in stock. That's on the website too. Um, Sharon did something quite different here and she used the words, the winter wishes and one of my stencils to emboss the bag. And look, just lots of little rabbits and birds Aww. all around it. And then she used those as well to do an Easter card. All so, year round. Yeah, yeah, because the bunny rabbits mm, would work for true. Easter cards too. So these are some that Sharon did, a lovely lady who uh, does a lot of work online for us. And you can see she's been creating, crafting at home and creating some different looks with the different designs. So really beautiful effects with it. If I go back to this one, this is the one that I did with all those branches coming in, which I think gives it a lovely effect. And then for a completely different look, those bare trees, Craig went into a spooky one to give you that one wonderful Halloween look. So very diverse, you know, you can use them for like silhouettes as well. I think that's a nice, lovely way. Nice one, yeah. Also cutting those branches away and putting it into a different perspective altogether. So if you do want to tie this in, of course, with the beautiful reindeer, so those bare trees can work with the reindeer and the fir trees, then that moves us on to our second one day special. It does indeed. Now, if you're wanting to go for this particular one with the bare trees, it's the woodland squirrel. That is the option that you want to go for. Details are up on your screen. 076927 but of course that same item number does give you that second option which we'll be looking at in just a few moments so if you want to go for this one it's the woodland squirrels don't forget adding the stamps as well for just 11 pounds and 99 pence you can get the stamps as well and we have got the die available um, in its own too as well so check those out on the website but of course complete collection is going to include Ooh, that one one day like special that. with the 11 pound saving as well as this one day special with the 11 pound saving and more which we'll tell you about in a moment yeah so the tree is are lovely. So the two stages in your dies in both sets, you've got the foreground trees mm -hmm. and the background trees. But those background trees are lovely just cut out as well and perhaps put into an oval. And this is nice, just monochromatic with the, the nice, white and yeah. black. I think that looks really smart. And this one is where they've been kept in the circle and the two different layers put in there for the backgrounds. So it is about building scenes. It's about creating dimension on your cars. The reindeer has been so popular on its own that has sold out we have topped up the stock on that for you and you can see there how beautifully is on its own with that detail but if you go for the matching stamps you can put all of the additional detail onto the reindeer now i've got the details at the bottom of the screen for that reindeer die on its own and it did indeed sell out last night we have managed to get more stock of that just talking about an extra couple of days with extended delivery just so the guys at craft buddy can get ready with those ones but dawn was saying earlier may well find their dispatch at the same time as the original stock
stock so you'd probably find that you'll get them sooner than you expected yes and you know they're really lovely using the waste so don't worry mm. about throwing those bits away you're going to find them very useful to use in different ways too so a lovely set very very pretty lovely to use this is our glitter film we're going to have a look at the glitter film on the show as well that's behind the actual cut of the reindeer oh, okay. there lovely now of course your two one day specials each one has got an 11 pound saving so of course the complete collection that we're going to share with you in a few moments will include those two one day special savings so 22 pounds saving as well you're actually going to get a bonus gift as well which we'll tell you about in a few moments but you will get the stencils included now the stencils were very popular earlier they were very sold popular. out again and we did manage to get hold of more stock of these been phenomenally busy for these since we've restocked um 27th of july again we're saying with regards to these but don't be surprised if they do arrive sooner and £17.97 will get you all of these. They're large stencils, drawn. They're A5 stencils. So you've got the beautiful reindeers. And as you can see, this particular card here is where I've actually embossed the stencil with the die cutting machine the you see the is the it's the centura pearl card that we've got in the kits and then i've colored the reindeers with my solvent based marker pens so they've popped out of there and that color as you can see still becomes pearlescent mm -hmm. even though the pen isn't because the card is there so you've got that particular one you've then got the row of trees the fir trees and you've got the burr trees so they are so beautiful to work with if you take a little look here this is how you can create with them so there are 350 micron which means that you can emboss and get that wonderful depth like an embossing folder you can ink through them you can paste through mm -hmm. them you can spritz through them so the trees themselves I think this is very very useful you've got that magical set of trees there and they can look quite dark you can use them in very different ways then you've got your burr trees now I was glittering these up I was doing stencil paste transparent paste and glittering them and I thought they looked phenomenal used in that way that nice, gives a yeah. really magical look to them I love that that one mm, and I've used the gold yeah. the brown and the platinum on there and I think that works really nicely and just gold trees look so nice. smart but embossing with them too works the dream you can see that we've got all the texture in the background of the bear trees this one I spritzed through so actually oh. spritz through there which gives it a lovely look then I've used my pine pieces and dipped them in my chunky glitter to create that beautiful effect sanding the trees down then using the dyes of the trees to actually build more depth into it so lots of fabulous looks with them so stencils are just so versatile they, they are. really are and of course those stencils are going to be part of that complete bundle if you are going for that now I mentioned the fact that you will get a little bit of a bonus with regards to that complete collection it's not a little bit it's a big bonus six pounds and nine nine pence you are going to get an additional little set of embellishments and there's loads in here just wondering our tray in here now you normally be paying 6.99 for these but you'll see when we bring the complete collection up the saving there is saying 6.99 because this is what you're going to be getting but you're also going to be getting that 22 pounds saving from your two one day specials because your complete collection is going to feature your two one day specials your fabulous stencils all three of those a5 stencils and then a fabulous array of um, fabric embellishments here with snowflakes in it I love the golden snowflakes. Yeah. So you've got white, you've got silver snowflakes, but the golden ones, the AB ones there for you. You've got reindeers, bells, holly leaves, Christmas trees, a whole mixture of fabric embellishments. So you can put them onto fabrics, mm -hmm. but of course they're lovely to bring texture into any of your cars or your mixed media it. projects as um, well. And getting the complete collection means you will get these on their way to you as well. And of course your complete collection, as is your one day special, available on Flexi by two payments, which will open up your Flexi order, and it means that you can add in anything else that you like to your basket and spread the cost of those items over two payments too as well. Busy on those phone lines, folks. We're talking about queues approaching two minutes in length now, so if you can get onto the website, place your order that way. It might be a bit speedier, and then, of course, you can come back and join us afterwards. Now then, we're going to have a look at the stamps, because we did bring the stamps to you mm -hmm. last month, because through the windows, they work really nicely, but they were created to marry up with the dies here. So it's a choice of two different ones. So the first one, I will separate this away a little bit, is the woodland so this has the reindeers now the reindeers themselves in the main collection if I can bring this in just for a second they die cut with the squirrels and the reindeers they die cut out and they have the detail into them so you can see there quite clearly that detail however if you marry the stamp up you put even more detail onto them and it brings them to life so I do think if you've gone for the dies it's definitely worth getting hold of the stamps to work with them and of course it might be that you don't have a die cutting machine there's nothing to stop you from cutting around these no not at all up. if you don't 
don't want to die cut but you're a stamper then you could stamp and cut out and I know these have been selling really well and I've checked with Dino we have no more stock at oh, the moment. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness well over 60% of the stock has gone already now that we can know that we're not going to be able to get any more then I can see people going for these ones so yeah, yeah two different options with regards to these ones so the one that we've got on the screen there your festive woodlands featuring those fabulous little deer um, at 0, 0, 1799 pence very um, affordable 18 they stamps. are and they're normally 14 so you've got a great oh. saving that's the size of the stamp set you've got all of the snowflakes you've got Merry Christmas to you festive wishes for you this Christmas you've got the bear trees and notice the little branches can you see one of the little branches oh, up yeah. here at the top I'll show you about those in just a second so let me show you a few of the cards now with your frame this is the frame that comes in one of the one day specials you get all those little circles cut out and they only very cleverly made them as baubles on the bear trees idea. so that works really lovely the bear trees look great through the window dies which is what we did last time if you just want to go snowflake crazy I do think it's really pretty just to put the snowflake cards with you know lots of snowflakes nice, with a Merry yeah. Christmas and I've put one of the big snowflake gems onto there as well using those stamps as she said cutting them out just creating little bare tree cards. I mean, there's so much more that we could do with these. I've just not had the time to do as many as I would like. But you can oh, see just nose. how pretty. I know, just put a red gem on his nose and <laughs> it looks idea. great. Um, if you fancy that set, then you've got the details up on your screen. Now, don't forget, we have got a second set of stamps. So the second set of stamps is featuring the little squirrel, because, of course, you've got that fabulous die with the squirrels featuring within your one-day special and um, one of your two options. Again, 11 99 Again, lots of scope with this, because you've got lots of different elements in there. And it really does make the difference with regards to those squirrels because you can see there the fluffiness of his tail brought to you via that stamp which means you can get some incredible results but 80 percent of the stock has gone now bear in mind dawn did say that i'm um, not going to be able to get hold of any more of these so if you are thinking about getting this one then please do not leave it too late and um, too long because look at the difference that stamp makes yeah i just want to show you that's it him actually cut and debossed there but with the stamp detail on them he does absolutely come to life you've also got the little owl there Hayley, if I can pass you that one, and that's where, if you look, I've used those little branches that I pointed out on the previous set all around the edge of there to bring that to life, so the owl sat in the tree. So really effective. I love that beautiful big tree as well. That's really nice. Naomi's done this one, so stormy sky, looking mm, at those trees. And you've got the gorgeous fir trees. So those lovely fir trees are behind the little houses, which are last year's stamp, from last year's Christmas stamp set. You will find that on the lineup for the show too. Again, another lovely set. If you fancy getting hold of those ones, then the details up on your screen there, 655301 and 1199. Very affordable way. Don't forget, use the two together and you're going to be able to build up some amazing scenes with those. Now, papers. How about creating a gorgeous backdrop? Nine o'clock this morning, we saw a fabulous card created with this kind of pale minty green in the backdrop. Yeah. Look really pretty. Yeah, they are so pretty. These are gorgeous. I have brought you lots of different handmade papers before. This is the selection that Dino's put together and you can see just how glamorous they are. They are foiled. They also have glitter on top of them. They are decadent. They bring luxury to your cards. They really do make them look quite special even the slivers that you cut off the edge if you're matting and layering you've got a little sliver don't throw it away because that would just look so pretty down the side of the card so we've got turquoises in here we've got this beautiful dark teal in here as well we go through to lovely pinks there then you've got your traditional you've got your cream you've got your green behind here as well you've also got the rich red now these do not have Christmas designs on them they have dots they have hearts they have flowers they have different patterns on they look lovely with the Christmas cards however they could be for any occasion any time of year and we get to these black ones which are just gorgeous look oh, at the teals colors. I know gorgeous. I love that um, tail. The beauty of these as well Dawn mentioned um, at nine o'clock this morning perfect for gift wrapping as well so if you've got small gifts and you want to be a little bit decadent with your um, wrapping then this is a perfect way of doing it I think they make fabulous little gift bags as well yeah you've got your midnight blue and then you've got your black light if you'd like to show a few of the cards yeah. I'm just gonna go and grab the other paper because we do have another paper set of the handmade papers that's really festive. Lovely. And have a look, that gorgeous berry colour there at the backdrop. Obviously picked up with some of that satin cardstock. Again, that um, all of these additional cardstocks, the glitter cardstock, the satin um, cardstock. Um, of course, don't forget your pearlescent cardstock. We can help you with that. They're all on the website. And we'll probably show some of those to you a little bit later on. Those phone cues are still...
still there, getting busy, busy, busy. So uh, don't forget, if you can get onto the website, do make sure that you place your order that way, because that way you're not going to get caught up in those queues. Have you got that then, dear? Well, this is another Christmas pipe. This is actually a Christmas paper pipe. Okay. So one of them isn't Christmas, but it is put together as Christmas paper pipe. So this is the velvet and flock one, the velvet flock with the glitter and foil. So this actually, the technique of this is more expensive because you've got foil, you've got flock, and you've got glitter oh, on right. it. Okay. But this is just so pretty, and it does go really nicely with the one day special because you've got the trees, you've also got the gorgeous reindeers down here, beautiful snowflakes. Now this just has three colorways running through this, and you've got a knitted cable, which Ooh, is a little bit more subtle, it? but it's really elegant. So you've got the gorgeous cream, you've then got this absolutely stunning blue i love this like a duck egg blue in here look at the snowflakes in there wow. and you've got silver and gold on here so you know it doesn't matter which colorway you like you've got both of them covered whether you're a gold person or a silver person and then you've got the beautiful beige in here as well so really different it's only 9.99 you're getting 18 sheets of this one but it's just so nice to tie in with anything you've got at home or you can even just make a card just with a square of the paper you don't like have to that, do anything no, else with it. Clever. It's it's so beautiful. Use it with your dyes though. This was the gold embellishment box. I actually cut out the trees and the reindeer here and layered them onto the cable backing. On and this one, Sharon just put little bows on the necks of the reindeers. And you can see just a little embellishment down the side. It's just such a lovely kit. And uh, Sharon actually used it here and made a, a darker scene with our one day special. Beautiful. So very very pretty for you to get a hold so of this one. I thought I'd show you that at the same that. time. Yeah. No, Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, if you add that into your flexi basket when you're turning it into a flexi order, it just works out five pounds this month and five pounds next month. But you'll have all eighteen of those fabulous sheets. You'll be able to craft with the moment your one-day special or the complete collection arrives. Um, at four seven nine uh, six five eight. That's the all-important item number. If you fancy adding that in, then please do so. The course adornments. You want to add your gems, your jewels, and these are beautiful. These are lovely. These are the acrylic leaves, and you've got the crystal clear up here, which actually has silver backing or gold backing and then these down here have a b coating on them so you can see they actually do reflect different pinks and lilacs and blues in there as well so really lovely you're getting tons and tons of these originally i brought you six on a card because they were so beautiful when i first launched my collection with adhesive on and they were 3.99 for six now you've got 80 for 14 pound 96 so the value is phenomenal now you can just pop one on and they look amazing. So this actually has two on, just coming from the corsages of flowers. You can see with the gorgeous reindeer there. We well, can go to town, as I did. I was a bit more decadent with them and put lots of them onto here, which looks lovely. A few just tucked under your flowers again, or even just one under one of the poinsettias. Poinsettia is back in stock on the show as well, if you'd like to get a hold of it. But it just gives that look of texture, the mixing and matching of all the different textures. They're fabulous. And 14.96 for um, 80 of those. Actually, what's that less than 19 pence each one so you don't yeah. mind using those do you? and kind of add that little bit of class to your cards as well so um, perhaps you can ask at a more premium price if you are selling them another way of adding class is the metal embellishments and these are nice because you can change the color of these you can change the color you can paint them with your solvent based pens you can also just dab a verse marking pad onto them and put embossing powder on and heat them Ooh. but need tweezers for that because they get very hot okay okay they are actually moldable so and they're very light you might think they're quite thick but you can actually mold and shape them so if you want them to actually turn around go around the corner of jars or onto books you can oh, actually right. do that okay. with them so they are perfect for you to use and lots of different designs in there some of them are smaller some of them are bigger but very very pretty Oh my goodness, those phone queues have gone crazy. It's about five minutes now. It's only a kind of minute and a half, not long ago. So apologies if you are caught up on those. Of course, if you can jump onto the website, by all means, please do so. But if not, we will be with you in a second. Just bear with us. I've got lots to samples. show you in the meantime. Yeah, I don't know where all the... Oh, that's a sample there. Oh, where they gone? <coughs> oh, excuse me. They've been piled up in different piles. Um, those are the little leaves just down there at the bottom. So you can see those little leaves just tucked under there. And then there's just one popped under the little poinsettia there. And I will show you my coloured ones when we move further down the counter. Oh, wonderful. Pants are getting hold of those. 120. That'll keep you going, won't it? <laughs> 16 pounds and 99 pence. Again, very, very affordable. But so many different designs in there. You'll definitely want to take advantage of those. 
as you will these corners and again these are very versatile they are lovely really nice again you can colorize these with your solvent based markers you've got some larger ones some smaller ones so different effects this one has got them just colored with a soft green onto there uh, Cray went to town made a complete tree from those very which I thought was quite fun <laughs> it has a different look to it this is one that I made yesterday evening and you can see those four corners works nice balancing with the big frame yes. to have them in the corners and I think Sharon has done this one and used them in the corners Gorgeous. of this card. So different looks with them. They're a very useful item, not just for Christmas, of course. These are for any occasion cards, so they can be used. There are some books in the That's, corner, yeah. book fronts and things too. Uh, we've got some fabulous books coming up a little bit later on with Joe John. It might be worth getting hold of some of those to go on the front of them. 16 pence and 95 pence. That's going to get you all of those. You've got um, around 100 there, lots of different colours, but of course you can change those colours using your pens too as well. 308715. But of course, it's a one day special show one o'clock every single day we bring you that one day special and it's the penultimate hour john's going to be back at five o'clock with your last opportunity to take advantage of that 11 pound saving on each of your two options now as we show you what the design team have been up to we do hope that those cues on the phone lines will die down a little bit but you know while you're placing your order why not go for that complete collection rather than just one of those one day specials details are at the bottom of your screen of course either way you can be able to take advantage of flexi buy so add lots of more goodies into your basket certainly got plenty to choose from and we will meet you just the other side of this down at the demo area see you in a moment <laughs> That seemed a bit abrupt end. I know it did, didn't it? Didn't it? I don't know. We just <laughs> came back quickly. <laughs> Um, we have got a whole host of different card stocks on the show, but this is one that was brand new on Saturday, and I just thought it's worth showing you oh, okay. because I'm using lots of different coloured card stock, glitter mm -hmm. cards, and foil cards, and we've got single kits. But this is a fantastic assortment of even my cut bits in here. So this one is giving you a whole selection. Oh, it's first of all, sorts. yeah, you get well, it's all matching actually. So you okay. get the foil card, okay in all the different colors so you've got the purple you've got the copper the silver the turquoise um the pink you've got the gold you've got the green royal blue and red okay Very so you've got nice. all of those in foil card then you get can i borrow your hand i was going to say i think you might need a hand with these <laughs> then you get all of the same colors in the glitter card and then all the same colors in the satin card now i like tone on tone and i love the mixing of textures so this is exactly what this kit does for you so you've got your glitter there it's all non-shed glitter beautiful quality it cuts really nicely as well and Haley's just spanning Ooh, just out to get the, the satin that card. That gold's being very shy. It doesn't want to come out. There we go. Hi. See it now. Look at this. So you've got all of those in one kit. 81 sheets all together. So it's just fantastic. There, look Fair at all. all of those. So you get wow. three of each sheets there. Three of each colour in each style as well. So all of those is coming to you for 19.99. Now that's phenomenal because normally it would be at least 60 pence per sheet. Yeah. So we have got 81 sheets. I don't know what 81 is times 60. Do you not, Dawn? No, I don't. I failed maths. <laughs> I've got no idea either. Um, but £19.99 and is what you are going to mm -hmm. be paying, and that is the price that we're most concerned about. Um, now, normally, if it's £81, and so 81 times 60p, we're talking about 40, 40 plus pounds. £48. £48, pounds, pounds, wow. £19.99, so it's a fantastic value kit. Because... Um, 
<laughs> Definitely worth going for. Mm. Now, something I hope you don't mind us doing, Dawn, is people are going for the individuals as well. No, I think it's worth having a look at them, yeah. Definitely. Have a look, at, give you all those individual item codes because it's not always easy on the website to see everything. That's right. Now, you've got a fabulous collection because, of course, all six of these dyes are part of your one day special and that complete collection, but we're just going to go through them quickly with the details. Every single one of these is going to cut and emboss. It is, yeah. They do cut and emboss, so you can use them on their own. As you've seen already, we do have the matching stamps with them. So you can have that little guy just as he is. So that so was the squirrel. Um, now the squirrels, the little bunny rabbits and the bear trees. Of course this is one of your options. It's the woodland um, squirrels if you are wanting to go for your one day special. Uh, this particular one, you've got lots of different dies. Five dies in total in this one, Dawn. Yep, and they can cut in. The big frame cuts into your card, as you can see at the bottom here, or cuts out with the outer circle. So you get the circle die as well. Then you've got the two birds and the two bunny rabbits. Um, brilliant price at £19.99. So if you do want to go for them individually. Again, the bear trees, I can imagine lots of scope with this one because of course you've got lots of different elements. This one on its own, £23.99, and pence, which maybe you just want to go for this one by itself. Do bear in mind though, you're flexi buy on your one day special, including this. Um, it's around that same price, so you will get those additional dies to work with it, but we bear in mind that you do sometimes mm -hmm. want them. And you've got the own. frame separately there and the circle, which means you can cut the frame out or you can cut the actual beautiful trees, the bear trees out. So you can see the four different options there. Lovely. The reindeers, now you have been loving the reindeers. We did sell out to this one originally. We have restocked. Um, we've just sent a little bit of extended delivery, but to be honest, um, I think they're all going to come out at the same time. Eleven ninety nine. Again, I love this because you've got them. We can build up kind of almost like a conversation between them. Although that one's looking a little bit coy at the moment. I know, a bit shy, <laughs> a bit shy. No, they are lovely. No, we've had so we've pinched some stock from somewhere else. Oh. So we've managed to get a little bit back for you because um, that has been popular. On its don't own. forget eleven ninety nine. You can get the stamps that are going to line yeah, up and add all the absolutely. finer details with them. It does make a difference. If I can just pull that back there, your little reindeer, that's there you go, look. with the stamp and without the stamp. Can you see the difference? You put yeah, that detail on big the two Yeah, it is lovely. Um, now, here you go. This is nice because you've got your silhouettes here with the, the gorgeous little owl in it. Again, lots of scope with this one. Yep, you've got the owl. It has the detail debossed on him. You've got the three snowflakes and then you've got the three trees in the circle or, of course, you can have them cut into your card. Wonderful. Fancy getting hold of that one. The details on the screen again, £19.99. And and finally, but by no means least, this one here, where you've got your own forest of trees and of course that fabulous scallop frame too. Look at them. Lovely. So those are the new ones. Mm -hmm. If you have a look on the website, there's all of the previous ones. So all the arch windows there, mm -hmm. Hayley, the rectangle window, the cats and the dogs, the Merry Christmas words. I've put them all back on the snowman. Perfect. They're all there for you as well. So you can see them. And last year's dies that have been restocked to there. So we've put everything there for you. So you've got access to them all today. Now, if you can't decide, then guess what? The complete collection is going to give you all six of those fabulous dies. So you won't have to choose. You will get all of them with their 11 pound savings that you're going to get with your one day special plus the stencils and of course including those fabulous fabric um, elements as well your Christmas elements um, and it all comes to you for 107 pounds and 91 pence but of course spread the cost over two pence of so 53 pounds 96 pence and perhaps treat yourself to some of that card stock or your scores and, and, and folded cards now we've been very busy for the complete collection during this hour so approaching two thirds of the stock has gone which is a little bit concerning because we've kind of only got one more hour with regard to these at five o'clock. So that's good, that's good though. Hopefully we've paced the day well enough. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the finishing line and we'll, everybody will be able to get hold yeah, of it. Yeah, that's so. Okay, we're going to start off then. We're going to do a card, but what I, I, I want to do is create a bit of a scene. Obviously, it's all about creating scenes. So what I've done, this is actually, this pale blue card is from my 100 mixed card stock, which isn't on the show. I've put everything else on, but not this one. So 100 mixed card stock. I've cut in a brown, a chocolate brown card, the bear trees, this particular one. But I thought behind that, we could have a little bit of a scene going on Ooh, okay. with the actual tree. So in the distance behind, you're going to see more of the bear tree. So I've just popped that onto there. I've already cut my circle. What I could have done, quite often what I'll do is I'll do my scene and then I'll choose which bit I want out mm -hmm. more so. But I'm going to go in this direction. I'm going to use the walnut stain ink and the dioxide and my blending tool and just go through here. So this particular tree is quite a fine tree. Okay. So I've also quite often spritzed through because if you 
do have a spritz that can give you that really fine detail sometimes, Hayley. Okay, so it tends to go, the mister tends to go right into all those tricky bits. Now, so. I've got the details upon the screen for the complete collection, of course, featuring those stencils. Stencils available on their own at £17.97. So if you do want to go for them by themselves, by all means, please do. We had to restock on those. They sold out earlier on. Um, but, of course, that complete collection, one of the most economical ways for you to get hold of everything with the biggest savings. Now, we've got some updates for you with regards to some stamps as well. Both of these stamp sets being available to work alongside your one-day specials. And, of course, those elements all marry up perfectly with those dies. Two different item numbers. So um, this particular one there is your festive woodland. Um, approaching limited stock with regards oh to that my. one. The details on your screen down at the bottom of your screen you've got your magical Christmas guess what that one is approaching limited stock as we well we don't have so any more of those at the this moment is it. So. they might not last until five o'clock so if you fancy getting hold of yours now is the time to do it don't forget you'll need two different item numbers though depending on which set you're going for so the festive collection at the top of your screen just over there and if you want to go for the magical ones these ones at the bottom of your screen Okay, lovely. So I've gone through the tree there. So I've just got that tree on the vertical circle. That's and of effective. course, it is effective. We have got this left over onto here. And you know me, I don't want to waste that ink. Okay. So I'm just going to flip this over and pop it down. I'm going to take that big tree, I want that big bear tree primarily onto there. Okay. And I'm just going to use... Um, I, I like to have a fresh, wet baby wipe. Okay. Okay, and we're just going to press down onto here. And I know it, it doesn't look like there's a lot happening, but this was when I, I was cleaning the stencil that I actually found this technique. And I, we've done oh. it a number of times before. Okay. So I'm pressing through. Now, the stencil's a bit more fragile here. There's a lot more going on there, as you can see, mm -hmm. on this section. So we do need to be careful. We so don't you're want kind to... of pushing down rather than dragging? Yeah, pushing. Yeah and actually pressing the wetness of the baby wipe through the stencil okay and what that does it sort of bleeds a little bit of the ink on the other side and gives you a different effect because i know it looks like nothing right now but hopefully <gasps> there you go look at that so now we've got a completely we've got all of that fraction sort of yeah, coming out and nice. it's just it's a bit unusual isn't it yeah and i've got getting a such kind of mystical look to it exactly now. getting lovely effects with it by doing it that way so it's the wetness can you see how it's sort of bled yeah. where, where i've sort of wet it with the baby wipe has taken it off so i'm just going to take the rest of that off. Otherwise, obviously, you can paste through the stencils, mm -hmm. you can ink through the stencils, you can spritz through them, and we can emboss with them. So we can just take this and put it through a piece of cardstock. So let me just see. Oh, let's have a copper. So any suggestions on nice. what type of cardstock we should be using when we're wanting to emboss them? When you want to emboss them, the pack that I've just shown you, the satin card, the foil card, I love to work with okay. those because they are so beautiful for this pearlescent card anything the centura pearl packs that we've got on the show they are a dream to work with i've, I've really mm -hmm. fallen in love with that cardstock pack and we've got lots of cards so whether you are looking for glitter whether you're looking for metallic whether you're looking for pearlescent then there's lots for you to consider uh the centura pearl we've got the details coming up at the bottom of the screen i'm just going to grab those very quickly because we've got two so fabulous bundles we do pastels and your vibrance with these just to show you i put the stencil down cardstock right side facing it then your embossing mat and then the blue mat here with this particular machine obviously your machine might be slightly different configuration so please do check it as per machine now dawn's working with one it's not dawn creaking yeah, by the way that is one. a die cutting machine <laughs> did you do a little bit of a squeak there and they, um, um, Oh, look at that. Now, that one comes as part of the pastel set, doesn't it, with the pearl? Um, oh, no, no this the is satin, actually sorry. the satin, the one that I just yeah. showed you. I did get it a bit twisted, but look how beautiful that depth and detail from that stencil. So mm -hmm. this is just amazing to emboss as well. Now, this is your pearlescent, your Centura Pearl. That's a name that you're going to know and love, isn't it? Um, now, we've got two different colour collections with this one. Your pastel tones, as you can see there, um, at 324132. But on the same item number, you've got these gorgeous, vibrant, these rich tones coming to again brilliant value for money but have a look at the colors that you've got here gorgeous berry in there that purple is absolutely gorgeous and um, more muted tones when you're going on just kind of you like your creams and you've got kind of like your gorgeous copper tones in there almost like a rose 
gold feature in there and then some of your traditional reds there solid black and then of course you've got your silver and your bronzes too as well fancy getting a hold of these as well same item number and again 16.99 36 sheets for what there Mm, they're beautiful there are some new colors in there okay so we're going to create now i'm going to create the card so i'm making a little bit of an aperture so we're actually going through the window okay so this is the eight by eight card blank so hayley has got buried underneath mm -hmm. here and then you're actually getting up. 50 <laughs> and you are getting the white the cream and the black in here as well because i thought the black would be nice for night sky mm -hmm. so you've got your big pile sure underneath there of there and Sorry, I'm just gonna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this is brilliant because as Dawn says brilliant quality you're getting your three different colorways and of course you're gonna get your envelopes to work with these as well 50 cards and envelopes 20 of each of that so you've got 20 of your cream 20 of your white and 10 of your black as well making it up to those 50 really good weight with those um, eight by eight perfect to work with your one day special dies perfect sizes and again a brilliant value for money because you're getting those gorgeous envelopes with them as well fabulous quality they Give are really nice lovely okay now I want to cut a circle so I'm using the outer circle die that comes with okay. any of the sets and I'm opening my card up if I kept it together it'll cut through both so we'll just have a hole in the middle of our card so we do have to remember to open this up now those and then um, run it through. eight by eight cards look at the wood that you're getting with those as well isn't it quite a lot of weight to that as well so if you do fancy getting hold of those, I don't think there's a fit through my letterbox like that. We have got some seven by sevens as well. So if you did want something that's on a slightly small t smaller scale, then you can do so. But I can get yeah. over that. And pick All them of up. the cards that I've been making are either seven by seven or eight by eight, which is mm -hmm. why I said to Dina, we need the size, right size yeah. of cards for everybody to Definitely. make it easier. So there you go. eight by eights on your screen, of course, it's seven by sevens. You'll find those on the website. Okay, so I've actually got my circle. So then I've got a circle. If I didn't rip it like that, but I can use for something time. else. I can the other way over so I've got my circle through there nice so I have already cut just for speed this the bare tree so then you use the actual tree with the circle and I have cut um, this is the dark brown but I thought just to show you we will cut it in that beautiful oh this is I know nice. we've got the beautiful brown pearl actually no I'm gonna put that one behind and I'm gonna put that over here let's just do it the right way around I give myself that many options that I never know what I'm <laughs> going to do. So that can go on the inside of there. So we've got the trees showing through. Now, if I wanted a bit more of those trees behind showing through, Hayley, mm. what we could do is just cut a couple of the tree branches out of the second oh, of there yeah. to create perspective. Yeah. Now, I also thought, just because we've got it back in stock as well, we've got the glitter acetate film Ooh, that this? we could put on top of that. Okay. okay. So the glitter acetate film is just amazing. Mm. And we can use this if I show you that if you've got a plain piece of paper <gasps> oh you just word. literally put it over the top and it sparkles the whole thing up so any of your decoupage these are some of craft creations um, beautiful prints oh, it just makes them look amazing so plain prints plain paper you can make a really sparkly and this effect is nice, with it sometimes people um, you can have allergies to glitter can't you yep. some people can't get on with glitter so that's a lovely way of adding that sparkle but it is literally um, it's just this glossy finish so yeah, yeah 10 clever. sheets of this as well so what I recommend when you do is pull this back okay so lay it flat on the table and pull the film back and it is like um, it is like a film it's like a, a transparent film that mm -hmm. already has the glitter on it and then what I do I pop my whatever I want to cover onto the backing and then roll it back over because you don't want to crease it you want it to be nice and smooth onto there okay. so we have then got a completely covered glittered scene so now I want to cut that out so I'm going to go back of course the die yeah, and use the die over there and make sure I've got that layered up because this is a film so it can be tricky to cut sometimes you know the film mm. so you can use this with scissors, dies if you've not got those yeah. uh, non-stick scissors you can use it with dies but you need to have quite simple dies so hopefully this won't be too oh, much of okay. a problem mm. for us now um, don't forget if you do want to get hold of that uh, film the details are up on your screen they're going to get 10 sheets for 14 pounds and 99 pence and it's one of those ones that you don't need to use a whole amount for it to give you a brilliant effect now 898-776 keep all those little cutoffs as well though because of course you can use that with some these smaller dies maybe cutting out your little snowflakes with those just on your own right um, and of course if you do want to get hold of those in the multiples then you can do all you need to do is increase your quantity and there's no additional post and packing then too there you go so we've now got that all sparkled up for us put out of there 
So we've now got our beautiful sparkly scene, which oh, is going to go nice. behind the layer of our first window. Lovely. There. So if we open this up now, what we want to do is stick that centrally into there. Oh, so we're going to use my this. glue onto here. Wonderful. And um, put that straight in there. Gorgeous. So that we've got it viewed perfectly through the window. What we could have done is actually cut another frame and put it behind that so you had another frame on the inside of the card. Okay. And then we're going to put the bear trees over that. So if we feel that's a bit too much, I want to see more of my sparkle, I think. So I'm going to go in now with the scissors. Do a bit of pruning. Yeah, a bit of pruning. Bring the bushes back and pop that into there. And here, we just want to Am I doing this the right way up? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, that way. The around there. And that's going to come off because that's obviously off that bush there, off that uh, branch rather. And I'm guessing what you're cutting away you can keep for another yeah, project. Yeah, I've used them on another project. Exactly, that's exactly what I've done. And snip that off there. So now we can oh. see a bit more. So I'm going to just thin that out so it's not so abrupt onto there. So we can see a little bit more of our trees through there. Lovely. And then we can stick that down flat onto that back section. Wonderful. Um, don't forget perfect glue to stick to that because um, it's a different type of surface, isn't it? So you've got that kind of uh, um, glossy finish yep. that you need a good glue for. So Dawn's glue, two bottles for £11.99. p. It's an amazing glue. It goes onto glitter card, mirror card, acetate, parchment, all those tricky surfaces. So that's going to go onto there. So when we open that up, we can see that through there. Now, sometimes these little notches come out, Hayley. Oh, so okay. if they do come out of the tree then you can pop them back in or oh, put a little see, bit of card yeah. behind them. Now what I've done now is I have cut the other layer and I've done this in the chocolate pearl card from the dark mm -hmm. vibrant card set and I've cut it with the frame on it. Okay, so yes. we could have, so instead of here I've cut it with the outside frame. So if I go back to my bear trees here, can you see, you just cut mm -hmm. it with the small frame. Okay. I've actually married it up with the larger oh, frame. Oh, I see, yes. yes. Yeah. So that's actually left it cut into there. So I can now position that right there over the front of my card, and mm -hmm. I've also got the different texture by using the pearl card, okay? So we're going to put that onto the front of there. Okay, now, um, we are rapidly coming to the end of the hour. Probably only got about 12 minutes left during oh this hour. I've got an important update for you with regards to those stamps because the magical set, the one featuring the little squirrel, this particular one, uh, I mean, you've been loving both of those stamp sets. It's now sold out, this particular one. Um, oh, I was about wow. to tell you it's technically sold out, but as we started talking to you, it's gone. Completely gone. So do keep your eyes and ears peeled for the next time that Dawn is here, but for the time being, we're not going to be able to get hold of those. Don't forget there were two different sets of stamps the other set which is the one where we've got that fabulous festive woodland and um, this one is still limited stock we have got stock of these available at the moment but as Dawn quite rightly said we're not be able to get any more of these so we will not be bringing them back on extended delivery today 002177 if you wanting to get hold of those and of course this is going to work beautifully with the scene that Dawn's working with so if you did want to get hold of them do it sooner rather than later I don't think we'll have those at five o'clock mm, okay so we've got our scene there in the two layers okay so we've got the inside of the card and we've got that now we could cut another frame just with the plain circle put that over the inside oh, yeah. to disguise the back of it as well which I think is nice to do so we have got that start off there so now we're going to put the characters onto here okay. so first of all I want to show you how we stamp the reindeer Lovely. so we take the reindeer and this is I found the easiest way to do this is I prefer to stamp I've cut them out so if we cut him out he looks lovely just as he is mm -hmm. but the extra detail we bring on just by adding some ink on to here and I'm just going to clean that little bit of ink off there so it doesn't get everywhere else. Now this stamp set, the details at the bottom of the screen, they are limited in stock though, so if you do want to get hold of them, do it now before we get to the end of the demonstration because you might find that you don't have a choice. Somebody else may well have got to them before you have. I'm just saying, just warning you because mm -hmm. I don't want to come back and say I told you so in a few minutes time. Okay, so I just used tissue to paint, print over. You can see from why, because I would get that ink on my fingers, if not. And then we have the beautiful detail onto the reindeer. Wow. So how pretty is that? That's nice, isn't it? And you could use that with an embossed 
powder or anything like that. You could, you? Yeah, nice whichever finish. way that you mm -hmm. want to, Hayley. You can do it absolutely. So then we can colour him in if we want to. I, I don't know whether I'm going to leave him bare. Okay, Might so have him the craft naked. Card. Yeah, the craft cards are lovely, and we do have craft card on the website. Now I think I'm going to have one back here in the woodland, and I'm going to have him looking for his friend up here at the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to stick him back there. So we could put a little bit of 3D foam on if we want. We're just going to go in with my glue on to here. And of course, because you've got the fine tip, you can get glue on all of his antlers as well. And just pop that onto there. And let's just see where he's positioned. About here, I think. Just there. He's going to stick down. And then this other little guy, he's going to sit on the front of the card, like he's looking for him. Where's he gone? Mm. But this card, I mean, it, it, obviously it's a, a beautiful one. Stick Merry Christmas on there straight away. It looks like a Christmas card, but it doesn't necessarily no. have to be. It could be somebody, a birthday card for somebody that likes their wildlife, enjoys their wildlife programs on TV. For a man, you know, mm, we, yeah. we do flowers all the time, and I love my flower cards, don't get me wrong, but I think that it's, you know, it's not always suitable for all the men and mm -hmm. I think that this gives you that option there so that you can do men's cards with it too so we're gonna pop that there now then I'm gonna bring in I'm gonna have my little squirrel I know where the squirrels have just all gone haven't they well yes the stamps, the stamps. have gone yeah the stamps aren't far behind as well at the bottom of the screen um, oh no we've got the glue at the bottom of the screen now but uh, yeah if you want him to get the reindeers on stamps those ones are limited in stock okay but I'm gonna oh, pop him down no. there because you bought him already so we've yes. got a little squirrel down there at the front and then I think we need to do some of these beautiful autumn leaves so I've started coloring them here now these are effective when you're changing the colours though. Aren't they beautiful? So as you can see, they, they give you a lovely look. You've got gold and silver, soft gold and a silver mm -hmm. in them. But it's really nice just putting those pens onto them. And I have gone, I've, I did some greens, but then I thought, no, you know, I want to keep on sort of autumnal colours with this. And this is all you're doing. It's that simple. You're just scribbling onto them. Um, the moonshine pens are an alcohol pen, so they evaporate and they give you that beautiful coating. They are on the website. I don't think they're on the show, but they, they are definitely on the website for you. Okay. So we can just add that colour onto there, which doesn't take long at all. And then we just leave it to dry for a few minutes and then we can bend and shape them. So I've already done a few up here for the top section and we can just bend into them to bring a bit more dimension. And they are still very light, you know, they're not mm -hmm. heavy. So I think they would work quite nicely just up here at the top and then I might just have a little bit more just coming down here at the side as well so we'll bring that one in now and just pop a couple down here at the side and then maybe we just need a little bit more down here at the bottom too what do you think Yes. Yeah, just around there. So nice. I'll do a dark brown now on yep. this one. Now you are better using a glue gel or your glue gun for this Hayley. Okay. To put them on. And you're talking about using your embossing powders with these as well. So if we wanted to actually get our embossing powders involved, how would we do that? I would use my Versamark ink pad because that's a glycerine based ink. So it's and a little bit wetter. Into that. Yeah, press them into it. And then hold them with a crocodile clip or some tweezers mm -hmm. and then heat them. And it gives them a coating. But it means that you could make them into white leaves if you wanted Ooh, to. Yes. Or, you know, you could do whatever colour. If you wanted a frosty seam, then you could do it that way. And you've got 120 of those leaves that dry to different sizes is variety of different um, styles but lots of scope so you can try the experiment and get your embossing powders involved um, works out at just over 14 pence per leaf how good value is that? You won't mind using those, will you? Um, at £16.99 and pence if you want wanting to get hold of those. Yeah, but this is a card for a special person of course, of course yes. you know and um, there's lots of different things we could do to this. So I've got so many different products. I think this is beautiful in a frame. If you look at the one that Jan's done, she's put it into the frame. Is this one with the little lights? Yeah, and she's oh, lit it up. Amazing. I think that is just so gorgeous look to do that. something like that as a special gift, you know, for somebody. Yeah. Now, I don't know if we're Very in the pretty. position to dim the lights down, but as we dim the lights down, if we can, you will see in the shadows at the back there, we've got a little deer in the backdrop there as well. And of course, the beauty is, obviously, the deers are featuring on here have got their antlers but of course you can snip those away and then you've got a doe and a deer 
Yeah, you could, I could burst into song then. A doe and a deer. A deer, a female deer. Not that great at singing. Okay, so we're going to add. I'm using the glitter pens now, and the glitter pens are on the show. And I don't know where I've put my chocolate brown one. Oh no! Oh no! We had it earlier. It's already gone. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm going daft today. Oh dear. Now these are brilliant because you've got sets. I think they can be sets of threes if I remember rightly. Pick and mix them. Choose any two of those okay. sets. Um, Nineteen pounds and ninety-four pence and you decide how you're putting those together so definitely worth looking at and um, don't forget the alcohol markers we'll have those on the main website too as well so if you do want to mix those up get your sparkle pens and your alcohol markers at the same time then by all means do so but these are brilliant because you're saving four pounds by going for those pick and mixes and don't forget keep a note of the item number because you will want to collect the whole set of those you know how many there are different colors with those drawn oh i can't remember here lots though. of them yeah though, isn't there? yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. So we're going to pop that. Eight different options. So you can go back in and out and dip, um, dip in and out and collect additional ones. So 24 colours um, in total that you're going to be able to collect over time. Okay. And I just I wanted a bird face in the other way. There they are. I knew I'd done some. You know when you know, where's the birds gone? They're flown away. <laughs> They're here. So we can just pop a bird down here as well. Oh, on to there. Well, so you can see how this is starting yeah. to come alive now. And just need those to dry off a little bit with that. Okay. But you can see I've gone for all those more subtle tones on there. But how pretty oh, is that? that? lovely? It really is. Now we could also put pearls in the frames mm -hmm. if we wanted to. We can open that up. <laughs> the leaves are sliding. Oh, it's autumn. The leaves are falling. Yeah, they are falling. But you've got the inside of it there decorated as well. So it's really pretty, but it needs to just dry. That's it. For me now, now. Dawn, do you think we can manage to squeeze another day? I think so, yeah. Okay, let's, right, we're going to give you a, bit, a little bit of a recap. Now, of course, the one day special feature in those fabulous dyes. You've got six dyes in total over two different one day specials. Two options. Details on your screen for those as well. So the woodland squirrels, obviously it's featuring the squirrels and the bear trees, and then a forest reindeer with your fir trees. All those different designs. And don't forget you've got your frames and your scalloped edges with each of those two as well. £44.97 with that is you've got £11 saving. That price is going to go up at 6 o'clock so do not miss out while you have the ability to save £11.99 and of course do bear in mind both your one day specials are available with the stencils and those um, additional embellishments for that fabulous prize at the bottom of the screen. So why not get your order on the system while we check out what the design team have been up to. Each and every one of those examples, perfect illustration of how you can work with your one-day specials. And of course, it's one o'clock. It's our penultimate hour for your one-day special. Final call at five o'clock will mean that you're on the countdown. You'll only have 60 minutes left then to take advantage of these fabulous dyes with their £11 saving. The price will go up to over £50, £55.97. £50 Do you really want to pay a penny more than you need to? I am sure you don't. Now, two different options because we've got six brand new dyes split into two different one day specials to keep that affordability there if you just wanted to go for one of those now of course you've got the reindeers these are beautiful this is your second of your um, one day special deals so this one you've got the fir trees you've got this fabulous reindeers don't forget I think we have got a handful of those um, stamp sets that are going to line up with those reindeers oh they're all oh, no yeah forget that It'll, yeah gone um, so if you wanted to get hold of these now is the time to do them and um, do it two payments there as you can see all
I'll go for them all in one go at £44.97. Second option is this one, and this is your woodland squirrels. Gorgeous, cute little squirrels there. Then you've got your bunny rabbits, your birds, your bear trees as well. And the beauty about this is you can build up your scene. So, of course, you can have that foreground with your squirrels, and, of course, your mid-ground with the bear trees, and, of course, go further back into your design to create your forest. Absolutely beautiful. All three of those, again, come to your £44.97. Now, if you can't decide between the two, then we have got the complete collection at the bottom of the screen. But it's not just the dyes in that complete collection. You're going to get the stencils as well as, as well as those two. Three A5 stencils. These sold out on their own earlier on. £17.97. They are now back in stock. Slight extended delivery. But as Dawn said, they've kind of uh, moved stock around. So they will be dispatched very quickly. So don't be surprised if they don't arrive sooner than you expect. £17.97 for these. A5. Brilliant uh, value for money. And the effects that you get from these is tremendous. Of course, um, you've got 300, um, 350 micron with these, so you're going to get that depth and dimension, giving you the ability. Absolutely beautiful. There you go, that way around. Now, uh, the complete collection is going to include those stencils, going to include your one-day specials, and, of course, your fabulous embellishments. Six pounds and 99 pence, these would normally be what you're paying, but you can see them there on your screen. You've got loads of them there. All sorts of different colours, gold, silver, snowflakes, trees, Christmas bells, you name it, they're in there. 107 pounds and 91 pence. Spread the cost over two payments, 53 pounds and 96 pence. And, of course, that opens up your flexi order. Right, rabbit, uh, rabbit, rabbit crafting. <laughs> Rapid okay, crafting. we've only got two not minutes. Rapid. I wanted to do this, but we're not going to have time. I just wanted to give you the essence of how Craig has done the shaker card here. So this is really beautiful. He's put the little micro bees in the back of here. Very okay. elegant card, very simply. So first of all, the reindeer is cut twice and created a drop shadow. So that's very simple. You're cutting two of the same one and just offsetting it and sticking them together. So you see that little bit of the other colour from behind it. And it just Perfect. makes it lovely. lovely. Now, he's done the base. Here. Now he's cut the circle using an outer circle and one of my circles. Okay. So the circle that comes in your kit mm -hmm. and then one of my actual circle dies. And um, we have is, got those circles. We on do the have website. those on the show, which cuts you the smaller inner circle. Okay. okay. So then you've got your black frame. Then acetate is put mm -hmm. on here with my glue that will hold it. And then is used a strip of the 3D foam around the outside of here. So okay. done it in continual ones so that it's it's not too broken you snip no, into it you can maneuver it around so then you just pile your micro beads in there I'm not going to do this because I'll, I'll leave this to do a proper demo later but you pile all the micro beads into there and then you seal that take them out of the bag obviously pile them in and then you seal those in there with a circle so put it this way around to seal okay, it yeah. then you flip that over you're gonna have your shaky bits and then you're gonna add all of your decorations on the beautiful poinsettias on the show as well and that come that cuts and debosses in one cut. I'll try and show you that later. And then you can just add oh, all your fabulous decoration in Isn't to have a beautiful fabulous. card. I love it, and we might see that at five o'clock. Dawn, thank yeah. you for your thank inspiration. You. Thank you very okay. much. Thank um, you, everybody. I'll see you a little bit later. I'm up with Joe Channel, but we've got Dave coming up straight after break with a lovely Leslie. So make sure you stay tuned, grab a cuppa, join us the other side of this. So yes, Craby is coming up straight after the break. Some fabulous dyes in that one. I'm going to be journeying a little bit with our lovely Joe Channon a little bit later on. And then we are back with um, Gordon and Creative Storage. Hello, I'm Phil Martin. I'm a member of the Creative Expressions team. Sentimentally Yours is my brand of photopolymer and rubber stamps and I also have my paper pads and cosmic sugar products that coordinate perfectly. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all on Oak Chanda so please join me for my show where I can share some of my hints and tips with you. Hi, I'm Dino. And I'm Gary. And we're brothers but we're also the founders of Craft Buddy. We started the business seven years ago and initially brought you a selection of self-adhesive gems and embellishments. We've since grown the range to include paper kits, trimmings, embellishments, dies, stamps, and of course, crystal cards and crystal art. Whether you're a beginner crafter or an experienced crafter, 
we hope that we have something for you to enhance your current projects or inspire you to try something new. Being on Hochanda has been absolutely fantastic because it gives us the opportunity to connect with you, the crafting community. So please do tune in to our Craft Buddy shows where you'll see either myself or our wonderful team of Craft Buddy presenters on Hochanda. Hello, my name's Sandra Rushton. I'm an artist, a colorist, but most of all, I'm a crafter. From a very, very early age, I can remember drawing pictures and turning them into cards so I could send them to my friends and family. My artwork is mostly steampunk inspired, anything to do with clocks and cogs, but I also like that little bit of fantasy, that little bit of something different, where you're more curious and you want to look a little bit deeper into the images I bring to you. We're a family-run business. It's myself and my husband here in Nottinghamshire. We design and make everything on site here in the office. Whether it's colouring or crafting, whether it's cards, mixed media, or you're just looking for something a little bit unique, a bit different, then please come and join me on my shows on Ho Chanda. Hello, afternoon. Hello, you. Hello, you. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. How about good. you? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good afternoon. Hope you are as well at home. Welcome along. It is Hachanda. It's Monday, and we're going to get you sorted with some wonderful dyes, actually. They're a Dutch company that we've got coming up for the next hour. So something a bit unusual. Yeah. Creelies. Creelies. Yes, yeah. Creelies. Um, a beautiful company that does uh, dyes and masks and a few stamps, too. Um, Elna and Elise, who... Um, Lovely, lovely lady, lovely bubbly um, Dutch lady, a uh, mathematician who works out all of these, so they're all precisely, precisely, uh, all mathematically worked out. They all work brilliantly, they really, really do. Yeah, and there's a bit of design and this is really yeah. good. There's a bit of something for everybody in the show as well, it's not just one theme or anything, but I've got to warn you, if you like the look of these balloons, mm -hmm. these are limited stock right from the outset, we can't get any more of them either at the moment, so when they're gone, they're gone for now. Eight day uh, extended delivery on everything, because it's coming directly from the Netherlands for you. Uh, £12.99, already we've got lots of interest in this, this is going to sell out very it's soon. Is, isn't it? Yeah. I predicted this morning that these and the stuff of cars, the balloons, because they're just so unusual. Yeah, and they just say celebration, don't they? They do. Me? You know, you can stamp into them, you can emboss them, you know, you can do them in different colour cards. And because of the way they're done, you can cut out the shadow, so you could overlay that, you can have the shadow in a different colour underneath, you can do them in pattern papers. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do them in, you can try doing them in acetate yep. and glue and like, glitter. Like that? Yeah. That's a glitter shaker card. Yes. One and then the funkiest do the balloons with them. you can do. Yeah. How about that? And that's so. a cross-touch for Hello. Uh, £12.99 gets you those. And it's 11 dies in total. So you've got the twirly bits for the string. You've got the different sizes of balloon. And those are, they're not sound waves or anything. They're actually the, <laughs> the little shiny shadows that yes. you can have on the side of the balloon, yeah. which work really well. They're going to go quickly. Uh, one, two, three, one, three, oh. Yeah, that was the one I was making this morning with them. I promised I'd finish it off. Yep. So there it is, finished look. Fabulous. That's at uh, 10 o'clock this morning it was, if yeah. you watch back on So I made Rewind. the box which sold out, but there's all it finished with all the balloons, and you can just see how wonderful they look. Now, if the little ones aren't up your street, you want a big balloon, we've got these, and we've got a few more of these, but I reckon these are going to sell out as well. Another uh, fabulous thing. Yeah. I looked at this and thought <laughs> balloon bunting as soon as I saw Absolutely. it. Yes. That was a great, great idea, this balloon bunting. You could put, put initials put, on. Yeah, put letters on. Yeah. Um, now, these are obviously made by our Dutch friends um, over in, in, uh, in the Netherlands, and this actually is uh, Dutch for hurrah. Ah, oh, hooray. So, yeah. And, and then, that's what it's about, isn't it? It's all about, woohoo, you know, a celebration. Congratulations. That's what that means. Yes. Get facilitated. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Um, there we've got these little balloons yeah. and the large balloons together, which work really, really well. But this is a big die that you've got it here. It is a big Three die. Three dies in total. This is, this is how it is, look. Yeah. It's okay. I keep doing this in my in red, and I've got red on, pink on. But there's your big, so that's the main die. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then you get the other one with all the stitching around it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, which fits perfectly over the top like that. And then it's, uh, it's, it's like we did with the small ones. Mm -hmm. You have got the die to create the crescent moon, which gives you for your, sh your shadow. Love it. Now, this is under £10. Again, delivery in eight days time that is a great price for that it really is and you can cut multiples out to create a whole bunch of them yeah you can of course be very very arty and use them in this way as well and put, put lots of different designs in the middle of the balloon or put letters on them spell out someone's name or congratulations yeah. or something for balloon bunting yeah i mean for, you know for a newborn baby card anything like that you know i just think they're unusual yeah. you don't see many of them about balloon dies about they won't deflate either 
No, that's true. <laughs> now, next, we've got for you the mandalas. Now, this is a bit unusual in that you've got three different mandalas in different sizes. One is a die, one is a stamp, and one is a mask. So you've got all three sorry, of Dave. them. Sorry, All three of them for just £10.99. And this was a good seller earlier on today as well. And yeah. what can you do? Because they're all <coughs> different sizes. Yes, so, so the large mask, we asked for the mask or a stencil as well, so you could even draw in through that as this one has been done. Um, you can use it against your backgrounds. I'm going to show, hopefully, if we get around to it, I'm going to show you a, a lovely technique with that. So you can create it on one of your backgrounds. You can use it with a circle die anyway, mm -hmm. you know. That would also work on the balloon. There's a card actually at the front there, which yeah. has actually got this one's the balloon. There we are. Okay, to create a pattern on the balloon. You see how yeah, good it lovely. is? Then you've got this, and this is a wonderful intricate die. It's they're great, this. And again, you cut it out different, you know, again, you can cut out different, snip different pieces away, and you can stack it up. And you can paper piece with it if you do yeah. different colours or whatever. That's yeah. easy to do. And then the stamp, which is a smaller version again, is great for creating backgrounds. So you've got a really good. They work independently, but it's also good to have that, that complement with each other. Well, 40% of that went in the earlier show this morning at 10 o'clock, so if you fancy getting that set of three, just 10 99 is all it is. I mean, you'd pay that more than that for a die, wouldn't you? You'd certainly yeah. pay that for a stamp, uh, and you'd probably pay 7 or £8 pound for a mask. So, a great deal. 115102, you write a number. Now, um, Chocolate Brock, of course, is your company, yes. and you actually supply the stamps for... We make the stamps for Annalise, Annalise. yes. So, these are Chocolate Brock stamps, gorgeous quality, but look at the florals you've got here. You've got your Dahlia, with the butterfly and the iris with the bee as well. Top they, quality rubber. They come ready mounted and cushion mount. Good. Uh, so they're ready for you to go straight away. Okay, and if I show you a couple of things that we've done with this them. This is clever. You want to pull that. Watch that. Okay. Oh, cool. Hey, how does that work? Ah, that's a, that's a magic card. Look, where's the colour come from? <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm confused. Uh, it's all in the technique. If you actually look on YouTube, there are ways to do these kind of magic cards. Isn't that great? That is really confusing me. I, I hate yeah. being beaten, but I don't know how that's done, <laughs> but that's brilliant. So, okay, have a little look on the internet. You might find out how that's done. There's the one with the butterfly look. Yeah, the croissant. I think that's beautiful, that croissant. But again, you know, croissant, dahlia, call it what you like. You know, it is a dahlia, but, you know, you can do whatever. Again, mm. it's your stamp. You colour it, as I keep saying, colour it to whatever you want to do. Okay, and it stamps, they both stamp beautifully. Twelve ninety nine the price for both of them, not each. Seven four eight one oh nine. Let me go down to our next. Now these these are the opposites basically. You've got these beautiful stems that go one way and then the other stems go the other way. Uh, and they've got little hearts cut into them too. Yeah. These are these are really um, essentials to have because you can use them in so many ways. Exactly. Great to work with the flowers that we've got. Great to sound after stems with flower heads on. Great to act just with greenery. And all these little hearts pop out and you create your own um, confetti with them and for shaker cards and things, they're just brilliant. I've got an apology to make. I didn't think we'd sell out of the small balloons quite this quickly, but we have. They have gone. Congratulations if you got them. No more calls for those. We've got the big balloons still, but the small ones have gone. If you've gone for those, go for the big one as well, because it will work together really well. But no more calls for 123130. If it's in your basket, you've got the last one. Please check out with it, if you could. Not surprised. OK, now the flowers that we showed you uh, that work really well with the stems, I mean, the next flowers we've got here for yeah. you are these, aren't they? Yeah. Now, the beauty about these is that you've got... Okay, the large one on its own to start yep. with, okay. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the three smaller, which comes a set of the trio. So they could layer into each other. They all do, because yep. they're all exactly the same shape, just different sizes. And then you've got these two, which then are great on their own, mm -hmm. but then you can cut them in coloured card and they layer over the top. I like it. So you just get a totally different look with them. These, this one is lovely because this is cut out of that foam around. Oh, okay, yeah. If you feel yep. it, it's the, the soft Anna's foam. And foam around, yep. yeah. So you can use that. I mean, how pretty is that? Beautiful. So it's not just for carding, it's not just for paper. And we have know? got a freedom price on this as well. If you're a freedom yeah. member, which I know thousands of you are now, only $14.39, uh, otherwise it's $15.99. But $14.39 for freedom members and no PMP either. So you are getting a lot for your money there. And these are the sort of flowers you'll use again and again and again and reach for so many times. 296785. Then we're going to come on to some matting and layering sets for yeah. you that are a little bit out of the ordinary. Normally, matting and layering sets can be quite a pricey investment. These these are going to be affordable and they're slightly different. These mm. are open scallops, aren't they? Yes, they are. These are 12 dies. In all of these, there's 12 dies. I mean, I don't quite know if somebody could work that. I haven't done that. Work that out for me in, in gallery, please. What 12 into each price is? Each one. In, each That's die about, comes um, out. It's about 150. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. 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 About 152, something, like that, yeah. something yeah. like that. Which, for you know, for this intricacy, mm -hmm. and 
158. Thank 158. you very much. That's from our lovely producer up in the gallery. Um, at the end of the day, I know that kind of the very basic, but to get this intricacy, mm. uh, I actually did a card um, with them, uh, which appears to be somewhere, but it seems to have gone somewhere. I think it's there, actually. A floating card there. I did it oh, with a stamp. One. Oh, right. But I used it to create, to create the floating card. So you can see all that intricacy. You can make that into lace. Yeah. You know. That is just so fine. That's, that's cut on 160 paper, so okay. that tells you how fine that is. And, and just a word, as these are coming from the Netherlands, and you're wondering, oh, are they going to work in my machine? They work in any machine. Absolutely. Absolutely any machine, whether yeah. it's a Gemini, a manual machine, yes. doesn't make any I difference. I always bring the Cuttlebug on, because I like it to show you that you can actually work with these in these smaller machines that people still have. Good, yeah. You know, there are some techniques you probably need the Gemini for, for some of the more intricate ones, mm -hmm. but yeah. Work with all of those. There's those balloons again, but they fit into uh, one of these frames beautifully. We're busy for everything. 18.99 gets you all of you. 18.99 for those dies. That's exactly. ridiculous. Yeah. And again, matting and layering. You know, it's one of those things you don't have to do any measuring. It's all there for, and they create beautiful frames. Remember. And not just for matting and layering. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say frames as well, yeah. and also for apertures. When you need an aperture, you can rely on those yes. to do it. So it does about three or four different things. Yes, absolutely. Same with the next ones, but this is more of uh, a scallop, a normal scallop. But this, there's the scallop. Okay, so there it is. Look, as it's done on its own. Okay, like that. But then, if you have the open scallop with it as well, and lay it over the top, look. Oh, you they're can the same then, size. they're the same size, so they fit exactly. So you can create different cards and different looks with those too. Perfect. So clever again, use of them. clever use. Yep. These are great as well. Again, use them to make frames with them, stacking it and use that as a frame. I think there's one of the cards. Look, you see, you can use to put words in. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody used it to do a card earlier on further down the counter. So you don't have to use all of them. You could just pick out yeah. a couple of sizes that are right for the project yeah. you're working on. Also, if you put foam pads yes. or gel glue, which is more dimensional behind those, you can end up with almost like a pyramid. Yes, really yes, effective. you can. Absolutely. There's beautiful things with these, you know. There There's another one just yeah. quickly before we move on. Looking almost like a postcard, uh, like a, almost like a, a postage stamp edge yes, to it. Yes, absolutely. Really yeah. Lovely. Eighteen ninety nine. Then that's also for twelve dies, and then the last one is a straight sided, but it's got your dots in it. It's got like yeah. the little perforations, and it's got the beauty about having these perforations is that it makes a lovely pass for two cards. So it, when you cut it out, you know you get the edging. You know, mm. so again, it, you know, you think about using the negative as well as the positive. You know, these are fantastic. Again, use these for fr use these as frames. Yep. Use these as again if you want to do a sentiment. Yep. A great stamp on your sentiments. Absolutely. On these, There's you know. so many uses yeah. for them. Straight probably, edges every time. They're probably <laughs> the most useful dies you can ever own, to be honest, without being too much of an over exaggeration. I think they are. Uh, Eighteen ninety nine, three nine five, nine four four. The big balloon. I've got to warn you is now limited stock. Uh -huh. So that's going the same way as the small balloons. Um, it's a lovely size. You can make bunting with it if you wish to. Uh, also, you can um, use it maybe on cotton. You could actually cut through one layer of cotton if you wanted to as well. Uh, but predominantly for cardstock, absolutely perfect. 999 119 961. Okay. Okay, right. I'm going to show you this very briefly because if it's limited stock, but you do need to see, to, need to see how to use it. That's the main thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take a piece of paper and I'm just going to cut. I'm going to cut it. You can cut it. So I've got an A5, okay, which I'm going to be able to get them both out of the A5 if I want to. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show you the one with the stitching, okay? So straight into here. And you could add your little, at the same time, you can add your little um, shadow piece, you know, for your little, um, take that over. So just straight in. And all that's doing really is it's giving you like the reflection of light. Yeah. So it makes it look 3D. It does. And the other thing about it is it's put a different colour underneath it. Right. So, which is what I've done, is to put a different colour underneath and then you get something that matches the paper you've got, so that gives you that extra shadow. Yeah, lovely. So there we go, look, there we see it. How's that? Perfect. There we go, Dave. Look at that. And of course, if you want to be a little bit arty with the colouring, make it lighter on the side where the yes. light's reflective and yeah. darker on that side, that'll make it look even yeah. more 3D. I suppose if you wanted to, you could even dome it a little bit. If yes, you, you could if that. you wanted to do with your film, absolutely. Yeah. What I've done is, so this is the card that I'm going to do, okay. Right, I'm going to be demonstrating these flowers, I think, hopefully, unless I'm depending on what we've got left. Mm -hmm. But, here's the flowers. Right, now then, this is Mylar, which we as Chocolate Brock are hoping to bring you blank so you can make your own stencils. Genius. <laughs> so I've made this out of the Mylar, okay. Yeah. And that's what stencils are made out of, Mylar, yes, if you haven't yeah. heard that name before. Yeah, so I've made this using, so just putting so many on, running it through and then running it through again. And not only that, but I've also got all of the little... Ah. So Which now you've got masks. I've got masks as well. So you get your own masks and your own stencils when you make this. But the reason I did this for was to show you partly how good these dyes go through the mylar, mm -hmm. but also to show you what I did was I then put it through and did it as an embossing. 
Ah. So can you see? So it's, it's white on white. I don't know if you can pick that up. If we angle it forward, you should get a shadow. Mm. So, yeah, look, 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 there you are, look. See? So, so that... So mylar is an, an embossing folder. Yes, yeah, so I've made an embossing folder for out of the flowers. Right. And I've embossed the balloon. Brilliant. Okay. Yep. So let's put, now then I've taken up an A4 card and instead of doing it, because it's a big balloon, I wanted to make a statement. Mm -hmm. So I've actually folded this, folded, fold this into landscape as opposed to a portrait. Okay, so here we go. I'll try and put this together because I'm, I'm sure this, if it's gone or if it's getting that way. It's not going to be around for too much longer. <laughs> Less than 10% of the stock remains. So the next go. few of you, we're into single figures of availability. The next few of you that put it in your basket will be lucky, uh, and it'll be a while before we get it back, I would imagine. So, so a bright day, I've actually done this one to be the colour underneath and the white over the top because I quite like that. Now yeah. then, we also got the strings in the little balloons, mm -hmm. and I have got the little balloons here. I'm sorry they've sold out, but you, you know, if you've got them, congratulations. And I've done the same with this balloon. Look, can you see? I've mm -hmm. also embossed that. And it's see. not just a certain type of paper that will, will emboss, you know, any type of cardstock should emboss, yeah. no problem with the mylar. Yeah. And watch this space for mylar coming um, uncut, so you can make your dies you've got into stencils, yeah. which would be amazing. Yeah, that's the whole idea of it, mm -hmm. so, okay, and that's some of the mylar there. That's oh, right. there. I mean, it's not much to look at until you die cut it and then it becomes a stencil, and then you can emboss with it, you can ink through it, all sorts of things. So, yeah, where, did, where else do you get you know, plain mylar from? Us is the answer for the future. <laughs> so my small foam tape. Yeah. Okay. Because what I want to do is to give this just a little bit of dimension. Could have got a larger one. Well, yeah, I thought, you know, but you know, you know what I'm like, Dave. Understated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, a larger one is much easier to mess about with on the television than filling with a small. Right. This is the bit because I'm finding that adhesive in this weather is really sticking to itself rather than doing what it should do. Just like us, it's melting. God, yes. It was 20 21 this morning when I set off for here. It's about 32 now. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it, yes. That's a moan. No, we shouldn't. We're very, very lucky. Okay, so there we go. So there's that one. And then I've done the, let's say, the small ones. Yep. So let's just... Now... Dawn has very kindly let me try her glue, because I've never ah. tried this, and I've heard it's wonderful. So. Oh, it's got rave reviews. Yeah, so I'm going to give it a, a whirl. And then I just want a bit of foam on that one. Now, I think the last one of these balloons is in someone's basket. Um, I think it's a technical sellout, isn't it, now, on the large balloon? Oh, wow. If you've well, got it, congratulations. Well done. We have sold out now of the small and the large balloons, 119961. You will we'll have... try and get it back, but it'll be with you just after You will week. have so much fun with these, you really will. So, uh, when I've done this, I can do another demo. Yep, great. But let's just, okay. And then what I've done is this last, this last um, string. Oh, someone's uh, decided to not go through with it, so there's one left. Someone's, uh, it's gone. <laughs> there it was and there it wasn't. <laughs> so, literally, I'm being very naughty. I'm going to use a chocolate block stamp just to finish this off. And you get the drift of it. If I can, there we go. And remember, you can shop by brand if you want to. Even when Leslie's not here, if you want anything from Chocolate Baroque, just have a look on the website, achanda.com, put Chocolate Baroque in the search bar, and all the stamps that are available will come up. You can order them at any time. How's that? How go? Love it. How's that? A fabulous celebratory birthday card. There you go. So sorry the balloons have gone, but uh, it was kind of inevitable. I hope you got what you wanted. But we have still got lots of other dies in the show from Creelys. Um, look at the website, though, because you'll see everything that's there. There's the matting and layering dies. Um, maybe you've already got some straight-sided rectangular dies. Why not go for the scallop ones to add a little bit of difference to your matting and layering or your frame making or your aperture cutting? Um, if you're, again, cutting out little tiles to put sentiments on, those matting and layering dies are absolutely brilliant. They really are. The flower dies, the set of three sets there for 15 dollars just over a fiver each, 533 each set, that one. And they just work together so beautifully well. They're proving very popular. They've got a freedom discounted price of 14.39 delivered. So all that's on the website. And the chocolate brock stamps, of course, that have been made for uh, Creelis, they're there. And also these are there as well. Now you may think to yourself, well, what am I going to use those for? They're going to be surprisingly very, very useful. Whenever you're doing flowers and you want little stems or branches or whatever, they're going to be great. And they've got tiny little hearts as their, as their leaves. So all that's there on the website. 
Right then. Right. Demo okay. number two. Number two, yes. So this is still we're, in stock. We're going to use the masks with the matching die and stamp okay. for this particular one. Good. Okay. And what I want to show you with this one is actually how to use your mask as to act as a resist. Right. So this is something different to what you would normally do. So again, I've got one 160 gram paper, which we bring to the show every so often. And I've got my mask mm -hmm. and my Versa marking pad. Now, this is a sticky, sticky job, this one. Right. Uh, I will warn you. So, but I think it's worth it. It's an, another way of using, it's actually converting your stencil into a stamp, okay. almost. So we've so. converted our dies into stencils. Now we're converting our stencil into a stamp. Yeah. Right. Come on, Dave, you know me well enough now. I've got, to just, I've got to just, you know, take it to the nth degree. Because, yeah. you know, when you get these things, you want to show out all the possible ways of using Absolutely. them. Absolutely. You want to get value for money, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So, here we go. So. Now, Karen has just emailed in to say um, she's got her balloons, which she's obviously very excited about. Uh, does the large one cut through felt? It will, but you'll need to do all the precautions you do need to do with material. And if you've got a Gemini, it would be better because that does have got the pressure to cut through felt. Right. So you need a good pressure machine because obviously felt is like a lot of, of like doing it through copy paper. Mm. The actual material bends rather than cuts. You might find you have to run it through a couple of times depending yeah. on the machine yeah. you've got. But if you've got a Gemini, it shouldn't be a problem a at Gemini. all. Gemini. No. But anything that's got a lot of pressure on it. So I've got my Versa Mark ink pad here. You can see why I'm saying it's a sticky mess. Because mm -hmm. I'm pressing my, turning and pressing my stencil into it. And I'm making sure it's nice and gooey. So here we go. So there we go. So that's all nice and sticky. Okay, so this is just basically an embossing ink that you normally yes. use, isn't yep. it? So. so pop it onto there. Another piece of paper underneath. Overneath. Just wipe my hands because they're a bit on the tacky side. Okay. Okay. Otherwise everything will stick to you. Everything will stick to me, yes. Uh, now dry them and so I don't then wet everything else. Right, so brayer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you get more pressure with a brayer. Okay, so you want to be rolling quite hard over the whole thing. Okay, it won't move because it's kind of sticky, so okay. it's sticking to the paper. Now, paper's better for this. A smooth paper is better than a card because a card, if a card has um, a lot of um, either chalk in it, which I've talked about before, or if it's got a, a texture to it, then it won't work as okay. well. So, so um, what sort of paper or card would you recommend? Sheen stamping card would be good? Yes, I yeah. yeah. Anything that's got a good smooth finish mm -hmm. or just a smooth paper, smooth 160 paper, which is what this is. Okay. okay. All the papers and cards that we stock will be on the website too. Yeah. So if I take that off, what you actually get, can you see? I don't oh, know if you yeah. can see that. Like a hallmark or a hologram. Can you just to say... Watermark, that's what I was trying to think of. I yeah. don't know whether or not that's... You yeah, can you just, just say that. see that, can't you? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to take my white embossing powder. So here we go, white on white again. Mm -hmm. Now I won't have got all of it. I'd have spent a bit more time and also the heat in here doesn't help. Okay. But I think you can more or less see, Dave. Yeah, you can see where it's stuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's looking good. A little bit around the edges. I've kind of done a bit of a double. It's jumped a little bit, but not enough to. I'm going to cut it out, so that's fine. Could I ask you to yeah. possibly do the honours, if you don't mind? Yep. Thank you. Right. So let's heat this up. And it's just another way of using your stencil. Absolutely. Or yeah. your mask, whichever way you want to do it. I wouldn't have thought of doing that. Putting Versamark ink on the stencil <laughs> and then acting it almost like a resist. Now, the mandala that you're looking at here, the stencil. The, um, the stamp and also the die, 40% of the entire stock went before the show started and we're busy for it right now. You get the whole lot for £10.99. You pay that for a die, wouldn't you, nowadays? Yeah, it's really good value, isn't it's it? amazing value. And it's such pre so pretty because, again, there's so much you can do with it. You know, it's not a... And I wanted to show you it's not a one. Now, again, I don't know if you can catch that on. I love that. Let me show okay. everybody. Look at this. There we are, look. Can you see the way it's picking up the light? Look at that. No, tone on tone, I love it. Yeah. Mm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm now going to take a sponge and I'm going to take some inks and 
do a little bit of colouring, shall we? Mm. So let's just kind of just, and you can go as strong as you wish. So where it's gone in, in the embossing powder, that's now acting as like a resistance, yep. repelling the ink. Yeah. I've got one I've done earlier and cut out, but you can see I just want to show you the, the general thing of this. And don't be afraid to go colours together because obviously they'll they'll mix and match. And when I first saw that mandala, it made me think of like a cathedral window. Yes. You know, like stained glass yeah. or something. Yeah. Again, you could stamp this onto acetate and do all the glittering behind mm. it. You know, that would be wonderful to see and wonderful to do. Now I'm rushing this, but I've got one, as I say, I have done earlier. But you can get the idea of mm -hmm. what I'm achieving here. Of course, where your colours mix and match, you get a different colour. It's really popping, the, the white embossing, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm. And then take your baby wipe and just polish it, and that takes off the excess off the... And there you go, look. Really there lovely. Your... How pretty is that? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? And very subtle with the distressing. Yes. As well. mm. So what you took, take it from there and now I'm going to use the die and the actual. So I've got a card here. Just jammed itself into the mm. Oh come along. <laughs> Sorry folks. I hate it when that happens. Oh, have a go. I think it's just having its it's gonna have its moment. It wants more than five seconds in the spotlight, I think. Let's squeeze that, will it? It was, yeah. I don't remember it being that when I put it in. There we go. Okay, right. So I've got a card. So there it is now, cut out. Look, okay. And that's what it looks like once it's cut out. Look. And you know, you wouldn't have thought that that was a stencil. You'd have thought that was at least a stamp and a big one that would have probably cost quite a bit of money. But because we used it as a stamp in effect with the, um, the the Versa ink on it, it's done a great job. Is that pretty? Yeah, a really good job. Okay, so what I've done next is now that this actually, I do suggest that this does go through the the uh, Cuttlebug, but it takes a few passes because of the press, okay? Mm -hmm. So I've actually done gone ahead and done this. But if you've got a Gemini, a Gemini or if you've got um, the um, Big Shot or any mm -hmm. of those that have got a heavier pressed roller, mm -hmm. then that's what it looks like. Look, that's the die. Okay. And there's the pieces look cut out from it. How intricate is that? Very intricate, actually. And that's out of cardstock in both. That's our black cardstock, which is 250 GSM. Right. So perfect. yes, it shows you how it cuts. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here's a little stamp, which again is a perfect replica of all of that. So it all coordinates together very well. Yeah. So this is a clear stamp, this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to put it on the block, and I'm going to create a background with this one. So let's you only do rubber stamps and chocolate brock, don't chocolate you? Chocolate yeah. yes, yes, yeah. Okay, so, get rid of the ink, and a bit of dye. Now then, again, if you're creating a background, just random. So I'm actually going to put a piece of paper underneath, just so that I don't, you know, get it on the rest of the card. Okay. And I'm just going to stamp anywhere, okay? But I'm going to do, you know, one-off bits as well, so you get it lighter and darker. Mm -hmm. That's second generation. Second generation. And it's just a nice way of... And you don't have to worry about where you're stamping, because you're creating your own background Look paper. how crisp it is as well. Isn't that lovely? Very, very crisp. Yeah. Now, we're getting busy for these mandalas. Um, you're loving them. And at 10.99, you don't choose what you get, you get the lot. You get the stencil. You get the die and you get the stamp and half the stock that we have available wow. of this is gone. <laughs> and remember, everything will be dispatched eight days from today, direct to you from the Netherlands. Okay, so one more, I think. A little bit there. And let's just do one more at the top of there, like so. Okay, yep, so there you it. go. That's just as random. Very nice. But that's as crisp and as clear as the, as the die cut. Mm -hmm. And it all works together so neatly, doesn't it? Isn't it? Yes, I think it looks makes a nice. One thing you don't do, Leslie, is put your ink pad upside down in the glass mat. <laughs> <laughs> could have been worse. It could have been somewhere else. Right. So now we're going to put this together. <clears throat> now what I've done is I've actually cut out black and white because creating with this is quite pretty, really. Mm -hmm. I've also got somewhere a couple of flowers. Yeah. Okay. Which I did from the previous. So, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on here. Okay. First impressions of Dawn's glue? Like it. Mm. Like it. It's good stuff. Yeah. So, 
Let's pop that over there. And I think that really is very effective, doing the resist like that. Mm -hmm. Now then, <coughs> I'm actually going to take, this shows you, this will show you how good this is, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of stabbing with it, just here and there to catch it. We yeah. get the fine little applicator with the glue as well, so it's yeah. great for intricate jobs I like, like this. this. Yes, it is good. I'm not quite sure how to use the three different sizes of the mandala shapes, I'll be honest, but this is working very well, isn't it? Yes, and this, and uh, there's, uh, you know, once you get it home, you'll think of loads of other different ideas. But I wanted to show you how to, um, how you can get the most after com combining them. So, right, so now that I've got the, the black one, mm -hmm. and to create a shadow, Ooh, nice. I'm going to, you stack them together to match, and then you just move it down and slightly to the left. Drop shadow. Drop shadow. And that's just enough to give it oh, to like stand that. out on mm. the white. That's really cool. Okay, I like that one, do you? Yep. So let's have a bit more go with the glue. Yeah, I'm liking this, Dawn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's lost that tube. <laughs> <laughs> that's never going back there again. That's staying in. <laughs> <laughs> again, I don't want to glue it everywhere because I want to give it the impression of that loose light feel so yep. it's not stuck jammed down on the card and that's another thing we, we tend to sometimes glue things to the hilt you know we tend to sometimes put glue on absolutely everything forgetting that you know sometimes just having that little bit of freedom mm. with it not being glued down actually helps and works as long as it's attached yeah. it's not going to fall off and you see how that stacks beautifully in that center look yeah and picks up all that but little bits have arisen off the page yeah. a little and bit and then so you've, you've, got got the, you've, got, you've got the shadow as well and then these are the flowers from the um the um the flowers, flowers set, 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 yeah. set in, okay and what you can do is you can just take a okay you know and do that to fold it mm -hmm. okay but what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to pop that in the center pop that in the center of there because mm -hmm. all these flowers remember are the same shape they're just different sizes so they yeah. stack together really nicely and then I've bent that one as you can see yeah. and again I just use the same colours of um, distress inks around the edges, offset it slightly, like so. Yeah, it does grab Dawn, you're dead right. Mm. <laughs> Three second hold, ten second grab, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's what, she, what says. she says. That's lovely. And then I would just put sentiment down there. But there is your That's three. beautiful. That's how to use the mandalas, or one way to use them. You'll probably, I'm sure, come up with other ways. But they are such good value at £10.99. pence From the Netherlands, they're Creelys, and it's 115102 if you'd like to add that to your order. We've already had a couple of sellouts. Let's remind you, though, of another amazing investment, but to potentially here today. You know, matting and layering dyes normally are very, very pricey. You can spend, I can remember seeing sets for like £35, £40, not so long ago. You're getting these rectangular matting and layering dyes for a fraction of that. They really are so affordable. This set has got the perforations. This one's got the little dots on the inside edge and the outside edge as well, both sides of the cutting line. Uh, and they're $18.99 and you get 12 dies in total. Now, if it's up to you. If you're making frames, these are the perfect dies to use, whether they're a quarter inch, half inch or one inch or whatever. You, if you use the outside one and then use maybe the fourth one down, you then have a frame of about probably an inch in width. Uh, but yeah, then you can mat and layer with them. You can do inverted cards, pyramid cards, make fantastic little um, signs that you can then, of course, stamp sentiments onto if you want to. So they're really, really useful. $18.99, half the stock is gone. There, of course, is your demo board. But there are some of the cards that we've used with these dice to give you an idea. Aren't they lovely? There's your balloons that we've sadly sold out of. So you can you know, jump a few dies if you don't want to have them all uniform. You can jump them and make them slightly wider for the borders and so on, and frames. There we go, look. Pop up, that's one of um, Chocolate Brock's dies there with the bumblebee. Very nice. So that's the first set. The next set of matting and layering dies are these. Now, these are the scallop ones. This is the solid scallop. And they work together well with actually all of these three sets kind of coordinate with each other really nicely. There you've got the solid scallop with a couple of layers on that one. Uh, we can then actually, if you wanted to, put the solid scallop and the open scallop, which is the next set we're about to show you together. That's what uh, Leslie did with this. So you can see it's stuck at the top. You've got the solid scallop at the bottom and then the open scallop on top. And it's exactly the same size, and it lets the colour peep through the uh, the scallop. 
if you want those 12 dies. So it works out to about £1.50 or thereabouts. £1.58, £1.58 per die for those. And that's 054992. The next set is the solid scallop. So same idea, same size, but this time we've got the, uh, sorry, this is the open scallop. So this is the open one, so it's got the outside uh, scallop edge, but of course it's got the actual openness to the centre of it. If I drop that in, you can see, there we are, look. So that is your open scallop. Here's another one that's got the open scallop frames. Very busy for this, and if you try to cut this out with a, a pen, or a, sorry, a, um, like a craft knife or a pair of scissors or something like that, it would be virtually impossible to get them so precise. These layer with these perfectly. 60% of these are gone, the open scallop, £18.99 again. Extended delivery from eight days from today, 327813. And actually the Spirelli that you saw there just a second ago, that's just a, a technique that's rather cool. If I just lift that up, you can actually wrap thread around the scallop if you wanted to, and it all just goes into the centre of the card. That's a really nice touch. It's almost like sun's rays, isn't it? Very nice. $18.99. Then we go on to our flowers. And here they are. Now, these are three different sets of flowers, but they all work together well. That cuts out the block shape. That cuts out the decorative detail. And, of course, you can then put one in front of the other if you want to. And then you've got your large single flower uh, die there as well. Now, these have been put together, made out of foam around. Anna's firm around, which is absolutely superb stuff. So if you've got some of that at home, yes, these dies will cut that, no problem. I've uh, got a Freedom price on this as well. So if you're a Freedom member, £14.39 is your delivered price. There they are layered together in two tone colours. Um, there they are coloured with like a, probably a foam pad, I would have thought, or something like that, to create that, uh, that effect. There we go. So darker on the edges, slightly lighter on the centre. Makes them look very realistic. And those are the shapes you get. So that's the block shape, that's the outline detail, so put the two together and you get an effect like that. And then of course you've got that one as well. All of them together, 15 99 296 785, again delivery from eight days. The stems that are next, now these, you look at them, you kind of think, well what, what will I do with those, what do they do? Well they go, one set of stems goes one way, the other set of stems goes the other way. And what they basically give you are little twigs or twig effect. And you've got little hearts on the end there, so they're really cute. And you can use the cut out hearts if you want to for confetti. There we are, look. Aren't they lovely? £10.99. And there they are, look, that's what you get. So you get the cutaway hearts, and then, of course, you get the two branches. Four in total, two go one way, two go the other. £10.99. Then we go to the stamps. Now, these are the stamps. There we are, look. Now, these are made by Chocolate Barot. So you know that you're going to get quality rubber impressions every single time. They're mounted onto foam for you as well, so that is how they're going to come. They can go straight onto a platform or onto an acrylic block. You're going to get your iris with the bee, which is that one there. You're also going to get your butterfly with the dahlia as well. So those two together are six fifty each, which is a bargain. They're really, really good price at £12.99. And I'll show you quickly a couple of cards. Very simply done. Uh, this is just like a um, simple black and white stamp, but then of course you've got a slight grey shading around the edge, which is rather lovely. Uh, onto some designer cardstock. That stamps beautifully well. And then if you want to colour them in, of course, they colour in an absolute dream. Look at that one. Isn't that lovely? 748109, and that's 1299 for the two stamps. Then we have the mandala. Now, the mandala is three things in one. You've got the stencil, you've got the stamp, and you've also got the mandala die as well. And this board shows you everything, actually. So there it is being inked over it. We've shown you already how you can use, like, a Versa Mark ink to create, like, a resist, and then you can emboss over that as well, which was a lovely technique. You could just use some of it. You don't have to use all of it. You can actually, with a fine liner, draw around the inside and the outside edge of the mandala, and you'll have that effect as well. Uh, there's the die, of course, cutting out a perfect mandala, and then you've got the stamp. But they're all different sizes, so they work together very nicely. That's ten ninety nine. Now, nearly 60% of the stock has gone on the Mandala. 115102 is your item number. Now, I know the prices in this show are really, really low, but if you are thinking about buying some things today in one order and your price is going to be over £60, your spend is going to be over £60, that will allow you to have a flexi order. And Leonie's going to tell you more. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. 
when you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. OK, thank you, Leonie. Leonie's back tomorrow, by the way, as well. Looking forward to seeing her. Now, um, Leslie's with us, and we've got some fantastic stamps for you. Now, these are, are not branded chocolate baroque, but they're actually made by you. They're made by us, yes. The same machine that yes, produces yeah. chocolate baroque stamps. Yeah. So, um, these are stunning. They're lovely. They will print absolutely brilliantly every single time. Phone mounted already to go onto a block. Yeah. And away you go. Right, so I am taking the very first of these, this particular one, OK? Yep. With all your little... Uh, perforations. perforations in. I suppose if you wanted to put embroidery thread through that, you yes, could do that. Yes, yes, you? you could. Yeah. It would be lovely. And actually, it's actually, if you look at that card at the front, do you remember the old spiral that you used mm. with with fabric with yeah. uh, threads? That's using the curved ones and doing your own little patterns. Yeah. So again, you can use them as templates for that as well. Fantastic. It's called. What's it called? Is it spit uh, uh, Spirelli? Sp no? sp Spirelli. Spirelli. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I did say it earlier on. I pulled out my head yeah. again. Then. <laughs> okay. So, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to, I'm going to create a frame. So I've taken the seventh, you know, if you want to count from the middle, one, two, three, seventh and the ninth. Okay. You could do the seventh and the eighth, but I wanted a slightly wider frame, so you get a very narrow one. Well, this is it. You can choose how big you, you want your frame to be. You can choose what you want to do, you know, yes. You've got, you're in charge. So there's so many different permutations yeah. on this. And, of course, they work just as well that way as well, portrait and landscape. Absolutely. And, and, and you can use them for photographs. I mean, if you're mm. doing a lot of... These, I think, are brilliant. If you're doing a lot of scrapbooking and you want to do mounted photographs, yeah. These are just perfect. Yeah. These are also good if you want to cut your photographs out. Yes, absolutely. You know, because we all go to the supermarket and get them printed off, don't we? But then there's an yep. area that we want to cut out. Maybe we didn't frame it properly when we took yep. it. These are perfect for doing that. And how many of us have cut and cut and cut till we've ended up with a postage stamp because we couldn't quite get it straight? Yep. Okay. And you'll then have little perforations around your photos, which is yes. quite unusual. Yeah. So. And there's going to be a lot of photograph taking this summer, I think. Yes, I think there is. I've just, you see, I've done it again. What I didn't do this morning was put that, because I put it on the edge, I didn't reel it through full, full enough. So that's driver error, it's not die error. Right. Um, it's me. There we go, look. It will cut out. Mm -hmm. I probably needed a gem there just for a little because of in the middle. So that's my fault, but it, it's, can you see? That yep. would be, uh, and I have done it because there we go, look. I'm going to have more time. So that's what you're going to get. So you're going to get the middle mm -hmm. and you're going to get the frame. And okay. the middle's important because that's what we're going to stamp with. And you've got the perforations on the inside edge and the outside that's edge exactly. of the frame as well. Yes. So it's lovely. Okay. So don't, that's me. And as I say, sometimes the cuttle bug does really good, but sometimes you do need the heavy pressure machines mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. But these dies are, well, you can see how clean that's cut. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I mean, although it's only a small detail, it just makes all the difference, doesn't it? Having that little dotted detail all the way around doesn't it. Doesn't it? Yeah, Beautiful. I like it. Okay. So, I now have my, my my inner, okay, from my frame, and I've got my stamp already. So, and I always like to stamp a larger stamp sideways on, so then you can get it cleanly on. Okay. So lots of light tapping with the ink. Mm -hmm. So this is the iris, so, and this I've worked out, this one fits just perfectly into this size 7 frame. Right, good. <clears throat> so I've done that work for you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. There we go. Oh, look at the detail in okay, that. I'll let you to show that, Dave. And that's something that Leslie certainly prides herself on, and you can see why they are such popular uh, stamps. Look at the detail. It's even got shading where it should be, so that gives you an idea yeah. as to how bright or dark the colour should be when you're colouring it in. The B is wonderful. I've got loads of yeah, bees yeah. in my garden. I you can reckon who designed them as well. Mm. Sue. So, oh, was it Sue? Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah, Sue was commissioned to do them. In our garden, so. we've got a massive lavender bush at the moment. There's about 100 bees in it at any one time. Oh, They're wonderful. OK, approaching... <clears throat> 60% of the wow. stock of the stamps gone now, very popular. Twelve ninety nine for the two, so you're getting six fifty each basically for the dahlia and also the iris. Right. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do all the colouring in this, but I wanted to show you how you take two pencils and you can get all that shading in just with the two pencils. Okay. 
So I've got a blue pencil here, and I'm just going to always, as I always do, which is in circles, which if you watch Leanne from Crafter's Companion, she will explain the same thing. And that is because if you're doing it in circles, you're less likely to gouge into the card. Because mm -hmm. if you gouge into the card, you take all the tooth away, and then you can't add any more colour. And what's the, the cardstock you've used here? It's very, very smooth. This is our, again, this is um, our white cardstock. Right. Um, that I've used. Um, do we stock it here? Or? We, I do bring it to the show, right. yes. This is this is our white card, our luxury smooth card stock. Okay, so that'll be on the website if you want to have a little look. Uh, if it's in stock at the moment, yes it will be. But I can't remember if we sold out the last time we had ah, it. okay. Well, if you have a little look, you'll find other smooth card stock on there as well if it's yeah. not available from Leslie, so... It's just this, because your pencil just glides over the top of it. Mm. So again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but I just want to show you how very briefly how you can create shading and only do this one flower. How you can add shading to your with two just two pencils. Okay, so so say don't ground if you if you do it backwards and forwards like you did as a child. That's how you tend to grind into the card, and how you get to. What type of pencils are you using? Are these? I need these. These no. These are a poly like a poly color, so they're right. like an oil based pencil. Okay. Um, Something else I'm trying to try and bring, but you know, as it is. So then I'm going over with the violet, and I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But just by going over the top, you see how you're getting the shading in mm. without actually having to shade. Okay. Now these so. stamps are proving so popular, now we're actually using them, and you can see the detail that you're getting from them. Anyone that loves their flowers and bees, I love bees, I hate wasps. I, I hate wasps as well, yes, I think we all feel the same way. Yeah. The beauty about this is great for decoupage as well, so you could stamp this several times. Just yeah. think how you can make that front petal stand. It would be beautiful, wouldn't it? And you get two stamps, of course. You get the daily as well as the iris. This is the iris one. Yeah. So there, look. Now, I don't know if you can pick that up, Dave, but you can see there, just taking one pencil over the top of the other. Nice. How you get that shading. So I'm going to move on now to... There it was, and mm -hmm. there's the one I did earlier. Excellent. Okay. So, you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. beautiful. Yep. I mean, it's a lovely image, you know. And all the detail really is in the stamp. All it you've is. done really is just add a little add bit of colour. Add the colouring, exactly. So, so, to, to, to the, so, that's it finished off. Right, piece of card again. Okay. And now then, this is masking. Now, this is really strong masking tape, but I'm not worried about that because what I really want to use it for is to just take this because I'm not going to use the bit because it's going to tear because it's so strong it's going to tear okay. but that, I don't matter about that okay if you get the really ultra stuff but in this heat even masking tape is deciding to you know and I'm no. going to take <laughs> yeah so okay I'm going to take now the stamps approaching 70% of the stock gone. There's enough to go around at the moment. If you're quick, we've still got 10 minutes or so left on the show. So we'll update you if it gets very dangerously low. But um, yeah, 70% gone yeah. for both of those. Yeah. And you don't have so, to worry about a foam on the back. It's done for you. Yeah. So I've got my, my blue here, okay. And I'm just going to go over the top and I'm just going to create here. Okay. Oh, I've used the wrong ink. I've just realized I've used the wrong ink completely. Uh -oh. don't, oh, okay. It's not a problem. I'm thinking, I didn't use, I used a brush with that. <laughs> there we go. Right, so these are the Versafine Clairs. I've not seen those before. No, they are lovely. Again, something else I'd like to see if we can get on here. So, forget all the mess underneath. I do have one I did earlier. Hmm? <laughs> these are the Versafine, these people that make the Onyx Versafines that we use mm -hmm. in that one. And also they make the, um, the Versamark as right. well. Yep. But these are a pigment, but they blend and colour like an ink. They, they, they are waterproof, so you can't mix them as watercolours. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking two colours, I'm going to blend one over the top of the other. And blending brushes you'll find on the website as well, yeah. if you like the look of these. Okay, and again, you see how the same principle as doing it with the pencils. Mm. I've now created a purpley effect. Ignore the blue bits underneath it. Okay. What's well, actually covered that now, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It looks as if it should be like that anyway. It does, doesn't it? You know, a little bit of random license. <laughs> now, I'm going to go back to my stamp. And I'm going to ink it up. Because I want to create a background. Okay. Okay. So, 
So starting with the edge, middle for diddle as they say, mm -hmm. and I'm just pressing in the middle, and there's my pattern look. So don't always look at your stamps as being able to use them in one go. No, you can use just part of the stamp yeah. quite easily. Do the other side so it matches up. Okay, get in the middle. See, that's where I go wrong, because I do something next to it. I should do what you've done. Yeah. So you if, you've got, if you're doing three, do either, out, out, either outer edge. And, and then, then you know where to put it in the middle. To balance yeah. the one in the middle. Good tip. Because otherwise you end up with more card or less card, depending yeah. how you've done it. And then you can just roughly kind of eyeball that as being centre-ish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like that. Good. Now this is going to tear the card and I don't mind, I expect that, okay, not worried about that, but I do get that edge, turn it around, and then what I would do is, which I'm not going to do now to show you, but I would literally cut that out, mm -hmm. and then you end up with that. Lovely. Okay, so that's my strip. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to put it together. Now, a way of making this look as if it's 3D is to go back and take the same ink, take the darker one, okay, and just take a sponge and just run it along the edge, okay. Oops, not too much like that, Liz. that's a bit too strong. Never mind. I wanted it to look more like a shadow, never mind. <laughs> you get where I'm coming from here. Mm -hmm. And these smoothies as well, they're from Creative Expressions, aren't they? They're on the uh, website as yes. well, they're really good. Yeah. And they go to a point too, so you can get right into the tiny little yes, details. Yes, you can. And also get stuck up like I just have. There we go. Right, so... I will take... So let's use the ink again. Now, I've got some good news for you in a second if you've missed out on the big balloon. Oh. We've got two that have, uh, oh. that have now bounced back. <laughs> now, I said that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna, killed they, it. They have gone. Sorry. You have to announce just, these I'm just, things. I'm just playing games with my producers. <laughs> <laughs> you just know, don't you, as soon as you've done that, somebody you've been sitting with a finger on the button. Well done, everybody. I, I was got supposed all to tell those. you that in a minute or two, but I thought, oh, I'll just tell you now, give you a chance to get in. So, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, well, one of the things I would like to tell you, I think you were showing earlier on that um, Be Creative are, are going to be at uh, Gateshead Stadium. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we're going to be there too. Yay! So, Chocolate Brock and Leslie fans, make sure you get to Gateshead. Um, we'll show you maybe the tickets before the end of the show, because you can buy those in advance now from oh. our website. That's going to be a good one. Look at that. This I've just gone and uh, ink. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. But however, hang on, do you know what? How to there's rescue always, the there's situation. There's always something you can do with it, isn't there? I don't believe I did that. The inky, you know the inky prints come free. <laughs> oh, what a... Yes. Never mind. You're still going to see it, but you're not going to see it as much. There you go. Look. No, we'll never notice that. Yeah, man in a galloping horse, as my grandmother would say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. There we go, look. Now, the only other thing to do now is, actually, I would have put thin foam on this, but I'm not going to do a lot of it, because I'll just show you, basically. But you don't have to do a, um, a frame. I've done it the reverse way on, if you know what I mean. Normally, mm -hmm. you would make that stand out of the frame, mm -hmm. okay, which is what I should have done originally. But you can actually just make the frame stand over the top. Very easily. Just nip your double-sided foam into two, so into it's, two, thin, so enough it's thin, thin enough. Into two, so it's thin enough. Yeah. And um, the jumbo foam rolls. I'm pretty sure we've got those in stock at the moment. I think Dawn's got them in her show, so we'll find them on the website. This is starting to look like right, my craft room a mess. <laughs> mm. I don't think any of us do this when anywhere that isn't the same. I've so. only ever seen a very few tidy craft rooms. Have you? And apologies if yours is very pristine and tidy, um, but uh, most of the ones I see are... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's... Uh, Works in progress, it, put it that way. <laughs> Do you know what? It's a hazard of the job. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So that now just sits nicely in there. Oh, well it would if it wouldn't stick to me, it's the heat. Stick. We'll give you details of that Gateshead event actually, as we've talked about it in a second. So if you want to get your tickets in advance and check the dates, make sure you can come. We'll do that in a minute. And then I would just do exactly the same one down here, just to balance it up. There you go. Yeah, lovely. Using the chopped up rock stamps, you, of which you get two. That's the chocolate iris one. Chocolate made by us. They're Annalisa yes. stamps. They're Annalisa stamps. <laughs> they're the create, clearly stamps, but made by chocolate rock. Yeah. So if you want those two stamps, there's your iris with the bee. The dahlia, of course, as well, is there too with the butterfly. You get both of them for twelve pounds ninety-nine p, and those are the stamps that you get. And don't forget to add fingerprints for authenticity. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> right now, the Gateshead event. Here it is. It's on Saturday, the eighth of September, um, and we're going to be there along with uh, Leslie. Leslie's going to be there with her stand as well. Gateshead International Stadium, Nielsen Road, Gateshead, and a ticket, if you want it now, in advance is only £4, and it's on Saturday the 8th of September, so a few weeks away. Uh, we'll be there, so you can come along and say hello. Free parking, lots of demos, makes and takes, over 25 stands confirmed at the moment, maybe more to come. Uh, 243 283, you write a number if you'd like to get your ticket now. Yeah. So it, will be, it will be more money on the gate. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of us local people there, Crafty Individuals, I think, Chloe's going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's quite a lot of us from the that area are going to be up there i'm away again i don't know why every time i go away it's on a on when he, there's an event he does it deliberately. i don't i don't, don't. <laughs> i really want to go anyway <laughs> let's have a little look i always love doing those ogies right let's have a little look at the matting and layering dies then um there they are these ones are the double dots so you've got the kind of perforated edges around a straight edge and there they are on uh, leslie's board there Okay. So you've got perforations okay. either side of the cutting line as well. Which is the one I've just used yeah. to do the frame on that last card that we did. Excellent. Then the next one that we've got for you, this is the scallop edge. And this is the solid scallop, but it works really well with the open scallop, which is also available in just a second. This is 18 99 for all 12 dies, 054992, and there that is. So it's, like a, it's almost like a, a postage edge. It can be a postage, postage edge, almost, yeah. yes. And what I did actually, can I just show you very carefully, I'm not, I haven't got around to the demo, but if I can just show you what I actually created with this, so it isn't just that. Mm -hmm. With the flowers, I actually used this die here, the one of the, the about 50 so this one in, and I actually made a window box look. Oh, right. To put the flowers in. That's nice. So that's just a piece of white card cut out. I trimmed off the sides and the bottom scallop, mm -hmm. sc uh, scored it, and then tinted it, and there's a window box to put your flowers in. Love it. Brilliant. So, so that's the... they're not just... Flatting That's the solid lane. scallop, and then the open scallop is this one just here, and these will work together really well. So you want to go for both of those. Um, one can be behind the other, if you know what I mean. So if yeah. you wanted to have like this effect, like uh, Leslie's about to show you, there's a solid scallop, there's the open scallop. Put them together, they're exactly the same size. You end up with that little wink of red coming through the opening just there. 1899 327813. Then we still have the flowers available as well. You've got all these de there are three sets of flowers. They work together well. You've got the solid outline to cut out. And then, of course, you've got the decorative detail too. So you can layer them together as this board shows you just here. So all of these are 1599. You can layer them all together to create a lovely three dimensional flower. 296785. We've still also got these beautiful stems with the hearts at the end of them. And these, as you can see, the hearts just pop out. So you've got like confetti there potentially as well. We've got the positive, we've got the left hand side and then the right hand side. So they're only 1099, 975120. And finally, we've got the stamps from Leslie and of course Creelli's branded, but actually manufactured by Leslie's company for them. And it's all foam mounted as well. And then the stencils. And then the stencils. Don't forget the stencil, the uh, fantastic mandalas down the end there. We've got the stencil, we've got the stamp, and we also have the die as well. And it is there for you. All three of them, they were only about um, 12, 13 pounds. 10 99 actually, even better. 10 99 for all three of them. Thanks, Leslie. Thank you. Good to Thanks see for you. everybody that buy them. Okay. I'll see you a bit later on this afternoon in a couple of hours. We've got pink journals coming up in, in just a second. or the pink pig journals, I've got the pig bit. That's coming up next, and then we've got Creative Storage Solutions in the hour after that at four o'clock. And then later, I'll see you for the one day special final call with Dawn Bibby, that's at five, all coming up here on her channel. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples Crafts and my passion is in card making and three-dimensional 
uh, paper crafting pieces. I wear a family run business and I just love making three dimensional pieces and things that come to life. As well as using our products for card making, you can also use them for scrapbooking and mixed media and mixing some of your own products that you've already got in your crafty stash. I'd love you all to join us to watch us on the channel and see the demonstrations and the hints and tips that I can bring to you. Um, great for new crafters and experienced crafters as well. So make sure you don't miss the Dolly Dimples craft shows on Achanda. Kalal All Purpose Glue is a solvent based adhesive and is fast drying with an incredibly strong bond. This wet glue can be used on paper, card, cork, wood, fabric, glass, and is perfect to use with your coordinations cardstock. This fantastic deal consists of four 100ml bottles. To stock up, go to hochanda.com. I'm Paula Pascual from Tonica Studios. I have been paper crafting for the last 21 years since I discovered the joy of making my own Christmas cards using papers and cards that I had around and embroidering into them. I started using Tonic products back in 2004 when I got my first guillotine from Tonic Studios. Since then I have been hooked on their products to make sure that I get perfect cutting every single time. I love paper crafting because in a very short amount of time I can create a really beautiful piece of artwork that I'm very proud of and I can then give it away to my friends and family. I love being on Hotanda because then I get to share all the techniques and tips that I have learned over the years. So join me for my tonic shows on Hotanda. Hello there and welcome back and boy have you chosen a good show to tune in for because of course mm. Joe, you're here with these fabulous <laughs> albums that you're chatting about Lovely. and I don't know if you caught Joe's show earlier on but you were very busy, busy busy lady. We had a very very busy show which is, you know, to be honest quite understood because these are superb. These yes, are really are. Now yeah. we're going to be bringing you a whole host of different kind of bases for you to build your designs on. So whether you're into your journaling, whether you're into your planning, whether you just like getting yourself organised with regards to all your crafty bits and bits. If you've ever been in the situation like I have, when you can't find a certain colour of paint or something like that, and you've gone mm -hmm. out and you've bought something exactly the same and then come back and you've got two of them, yeah. then we could help you sort that Definitely. out. Definitely. Definitely. We've all done that. Oh gosh, over and over. Now we've got <laughs> Freedom Members discounted prices as well. I'm sure you've already seen that one up on your screen there. We've got lots of different sizes as well. Now the first book that we're going to be looking at oh. is this particular one. I'm going to get Joe to explain yes. what we've got in here. But what was the update with that one? Approaching half the stock. Oh mm. my goodness. Yeah. Like the size good. of this one. They are a really, really good size. Now if you are thinking of having a little go at journaling, mm -hmm. um, this is a good size to start off with. And that's the, that's the inside of it for a start. But the outside equally, it's a really nice space to, for you to have a really mm -hmm. good go at a yeah. technique that you want to have a go at. Now, um, the thing, what we've, these are actually new today because you will notice if you didn't tune into the first hour, normally what we do is we bring you the Pink Pig journals and they have a hand, um, handmade, hand, yeah, hand yeah, hand yeah we'll, we'll be there. coming so up I'll to just, those. In it. Yes, please, that really, go, yeah, that just like it. this. So it's handmade paper and each, and every one is individual because it is handmade. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful paper. But the thing is, Hayley, all I do with I say all I do with what I do with them is I completely change the covers anyway. Okay, yeah. So we chatted about um, whether we ought to bring them plain for basically for us crafters to use. Yeah. Because of course the history of Pink Pig is that um, they were first brought to the artist crowd mm -hmm. through um, the owner of who owns Pink Pig, he was a student himself, realised that they needed a really good um, album to, to work on with excellent quality paper. Just a very, very brief history. Um, the paper is actually Amelie paper. It's okay. made in the Lake District mm -hmm. in Kendall. And then the paper is then sent to Yorkshire where the actual books are put together. Okay. 
and it's, it's a big like family. Card pages, it's a, though, isn't it's, it? It is. I don't. I, do you know when we say paper, yeah. it really, really grates me because it's actually what we would call a lightweight definitely, cardstock. Definitely. But it's um, fabulous for all types of artists, mediums. I have thrown all sorts of things to, onto it. Lots of um, moisture, so lots of water, lots of uh, different content of of products that, of, that are water based. I've put alcohol pens on. Mm. Um, I've used sparkle medium pens. I've used the all the that's obviously the sprays that we've got on today. The paints, all sorts of things. I've tried on these, and it takes them all because mm. they were originally for the artist and not the crafter. Yeah. Obviously, we're getting a really, really good product here, which should really be an artist quality, mm -hmm. which of course it is. So, little memory book there I made, that's my Nanan. Oh, <laughs> When she was 21. Oh, so it's quite adorable. Uh, we did a photo transfer on that. I think we did, um, did that either on the last show or the oh, one before. Okay. It's quite interesting. And then really just um, collaging bits and pieces, um, some texture paste on the background there. And, you know, you can really make it make it whatever ever you want to do. Because we've got the grey board covers, they obviously are a little bit cheaper as well. Well, the thing is, you need is that lovely. good base, uh, as you mentioned there, yep, because super. you need something that's going to allow you to yep. add that moisture that's not going to buckle and twist no. and this is phenomenal it's, it's superb yes. isn't it this is i've got to say i've used gray board all i think all the years i've been crafting mm -hmm. because i love doing that sort of thing and i like making books and i like making little crazy things and mm -hmm. different things like that and this i've got to say is has been one of the best quality gray boards i've used up to now brilliant yeah we so well worth a go now if you're a freedom member guess how much you'll be paying for these individually as those three books there you're going to get all three of them for 10 pounds and 79 pence but as right. a freedom member break that down and we're talking about is it three pounds and 60 pence per book and of course we're talking these larger books here the a5 yeah. books Brilliant. and of course it's called a landscape um a book there but of course it could be portraits absolutely if you, to. you could easily just and of course with the grey board the covers actually being as strong as they are they yes, stand on their own perfect. they don't buckle under even if you've thrown so much moisture at them anyway mm -hmm. you know they actually do stand up on their own and which is superb so really it's up to you which way that you no, do use we them. are incredibly busy for those but before you check out your baskets approaching half the stock has gone of those before you check out your baskets though please Ooh, do have a look at yeah. these i <laughs> think this is one of the most useful size of little books it is. for getting me organized because as i mentioned earlier on the amount of yeah. times i've doubled up on colors of I've done, it myself. And paints, yeah. I've done it myself and we have so many people that come in and see us and come to workshops and things and they actually come in with say for instance a distress ink that they bought the week before yes and they're coming back and say, oh can I swap it obviously it's all sealed up yeah. still yeah of course you can swap it for another color but if they had their little book like this you see they wouldn't have to oh, and for going around there? well this one is literally I've, 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 done, I've actually done this in the break because we were just chatting about the different lusters of colors I did oh, have these perfect. done already so that we can just have a look at them but I, I thought, oh, we'll just decorate this with doing something with it in this oh, hour as well. So let's have a doubt. I'm having a Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Which ones does Joe own? Oh, look at these. And what a good oh. idea, because literally, if you're yeah. collecting these, yes. then perfect. They yeah, and also, you see, that's right, because um, the same colour on white cardstock looks completely different. Of course, yeah. On black cardstock, because they're lustres, you see. So, of course, that gives you an idea, and it also gives you, say if you're working with a particular paper, for instance, mm -hmm. you can then bring that paper in, into your project and maybe you sort of think well maybe it's got a lot more green in than yeah. what it's got in the purple in or the pink in you could maybe lay it against it or do you know no, things no little idea. things like that yeah um it's quite nice to have and also you know things like your distressings how many is that there's oh gosh there's so there's many you could have you one could dedicated little, for each area that's of right crafting, couldn't you yep you can do your little techniques in there it's like with your sparkle pens how mm. many different techniques you can do with sparkle pens it's superb isn't it but look at the size it sits so, in the palm yeah, of your hand exactly. there so it's going to fit in your little crafty bag without yeah. any issue at all isn't no it? problem four by four now you're not going to get one of these no. you're not going to get two you aren't going to get six of these or loads <laughs> of them so lots of creativity and of course they're like little brag books as well mini they photo are. albums they are now um i'm sure you know but um we have got a little giveaway Oh, okay. uh, for this show, which I made earlier, which was actually the um, the little book. I am going to finish the back of it before I send it out, I promise. And uh, the reason why I'm mentioning it is because, obviously, these little books and the grey board, mm -hmm. mix them both together, the 4x4s and the grey board, makes oh. terrific gifts. They nice really, idea. really make some really, really lovely gifts. And it's just uh, using all those little different things. And because of the affordability of both items, mm -hmm. you're actually going to... Uh 
you go and make a nice little profit if you well, sell your definitely. bits as well. But they're just so useful. They're so yep. cute as well. Yep. Now, if you want to get hold of these Freedom members, you've got discounted price as well. £13.99. 5637122 if you want to get hold of those. I would definitely consider adding those in alongside mm. the A5 ones. But guess what? We've got more grey board. Yep. And this has proved to be popular. <laughs> now, I know when I have shows when we have bumper bundles mm. of a grey board, it's yep. always popular because it's obviously it's, it's perfect to, as a base yep. for what you're wanting to do. So, um, first of all, I'd, if we can just show a couple of little bits mm. that I've made. Now, this is using this grey board, but basically what I've done is I've just put some pieces together okay. and I've stuck them together using the method that we did this morning with the tape and then just put in the piece of board. Oh, right. So what I've done, I've made can't myself. The it's, no, you can't, can you? Because I've, I've put the, um, like a, a masking tape in between so okay. that you join them quite nicely. And, and what then, time was that? that so uh, back? What time did I come at? 11. 11 o'clock. So if okay. you want to, yes. But this is, um, I've used the that's crafty um the mediums the, i've got the crackle paste we've got the um sand paste which we've actually got on the show we'll be playing with that shortly some of the luster sprays and bits and pieces so i had great fun doing this these are ingrid stamps as well but also it's a storage it's a storage clear, solution yeah. so i've got my eight by eight stencils in it uh -huh. so um so they're my eight by eight that's crafty stencils so and on the side i've got that's crafty i can stand it up on my shelf Perfect. and you've had fun making it mm -hmm. And it's a and it's a practical purpose Perfect. as well. But something more oh, look at this. more um, for your home decor, such a simple thing. But these squares are grey board. Clever. They're all grey like board. You see. So of course it takes on the moisture of pastes, the moisture of of inks and and paint and everything else like that, and then pop it on a canvas. Now two thirds of the stock have gone with these as well. You are going to get twenty. Sorry, forty of those boards. Oh, hold on. We've got oh two packs. Yes, of course. Yeah. So you've got forty boards in total. Come to in two different packs. But look at that home decor pieces. You could be making mm, these. So a couple of little holes in there, a bit of oh, ribbon. Yes, yeah, good to go. Yeah. I haven't done the back because I wanted to show you that it is the grey board. Okay. Okay. So wow. this is uh, something that I made um, out of two pieces. Oh, this is just clever. two pieces out of all those that you get. Obviously, papers out of yeah. uh, out your stash and just some embellishments and bits and pieces. But you can see it ties up nicely. Open it out. You've got a little shopping list there. You've got your pencil that I've covered in the paper. Mm -hmm. Little thing there if you want to put. I've just put tags in, but you can put receipts or anything. Nice idea. Keep it. On the Do coffee like table, that. bits and pieces, two Just pieces. Two of those 40 sheets yep. you're going to get. What's happening here? We've got a bit of embossing going well, on. Yes, I thought, well, what else can we do with it? Because, I mean, you know what we like. We like to... 